Good morning. Before we start, oh, look at my hair. Before we start, why are you laughing at me today, Dan? I'm being horrible. Oh! <laughs> that shouldn't happen, should it? Uh, that was funny, the delay on there, isn't it? So, I, 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 I don't know why he was laughing at me. Anyway, good morning, good morning. How is everyone today? Got a full old day today, haven't we? So, before we start, let's do the early bird. There we go. Tweet, 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 tweet. Would you like five metres of this blue fabric? Well, you can have it. Should be £37.90. Uh, so, that would be £3.79 a half metre. Uh, how much is it going to go to? Oh, oh, look at this. Look at this. So, why are we being horrible? Why are we laughing? Am I being horrible? I'm painting you to be a horrible person. You're never a horrible person. £29.90, £2.99 and a half metre. It's five metres. Five metres. Now, it's our regular... They call it backing fabric. It's not backing fabric. It's our regular 44-inch uh, wide, 100% cotton, uh, quilting weight. I'll show you it in a second. £29.90. So I'm confused, Dan. Don't worry, don't worry. Right, uh, OK, look at this. Be careful, be careful. Now, I've not got as many of these as I'd normally have my early bird for some reason. But five... Look, Dan, five metres. Five metres you get. Yep, there you go. A £29.90. It's our regular Rose and Hubble um, crafting cotton or quilting weight cotton. Uh, be careful, be careful. They're flying out. Now, remember, once you bought this and you've checked out, that's your PMP paid for for the day. So whether you come in and get a long arm quilted Gracie, whether you come in and get a pair of pyjamas, whether you come in and get some scented walnut. No, they're not walnuts. What are those round things we've got in Kim's house? They're nuts. They're not walnuts, though, are they? Cherry pips. They're cherry pips. She's been sitting in the back chewing her cherries and spitting them in a the bag. That's what you're going to be buying later. I know. £29.90. Right, be careful. Be How many baskets? Right, there's ten left once you've all checked out. Ten left once you've all checked out. Oh, my word, there's loads of you there this morning. Uh, Jan says, morning, gorgeous. Morning, lovely John, says Diana. The other Jan says, morning, John, everyone. Oh, remember to get up this morning then, did you? Turn it on. Um, uh, where are we? Claire says, good morning, John. No, Margaret says, morning, John, team. Graham, miserable here this morning. Good job, there's something on my telly that brightens my day. Oh, you're watching Ben Shepherd. Uh, oh, no, he's not until later now, is he? Because he does that thing with Kat Dingley now, doesn't he? Lulu, well, good morning. Have a lovely day. Working from home all week so I can watch while I work. Yeah. Uh, Lulu, work. Uh, let's see what else is in here. Uh, Jeanette says, good morning, Lulu. No, I've done that one. Oh, no, one on my bottom. Oh, I've got my big telly. Hang on. So excited for cutie frames this morning. I've measured my space. Hoping to make, persuade my husband. Will, it will fit. Gillian, it will fit. It will fit. It will fit. I know how big your house is. It will fit. Um, be careful. Two left once you're all checked out. I've got to get these done before you all sold out. Morning, John. Team, lovely shirt. Thank you, Sue. Morning, John. Loving the shirt, says Louise. Thank you. Claire says, please, could you wish my gorgeous son, Jonathan, a happy 17th birthday? Jonathan, he won't be watching. He'll be in bed. Happy 17th birthday. Jeanette says, morning, John. Scott. Oh, if in case I've forgotten. Um, nice to see you on this grey morning. It's, Ben's just been out for a fag. What's it like outside? Yeah, what was it? Oh, medium, he says. It's medium outside. Um, I have the cutie frame, and I'm excited to see the demo on the show today. I love mine. Oh, brilliant. Uh, this is going to sell out. It's going to sell out. Helen says, good morning. Off to work. Off work this week. Trying to tidy up and declutter. Ready for getting two puppies at the weekend? Oh, uh, check out. There's two left. There's two left. Going to leave that with you. Right, let's look at today's menu. Here it is. Gracie Cutie Quilting, right, hang on. Grace Cutie Quilting Frame with Samantha Williams. It's fantastic, I can't tell you. She's here, she's ready, she's got a lovely jacket on. Nine, oh, nine o'clock, we've got Six Penny Memories with Kim Suleman. She's been slapping the makeup on all morning. Uh, 10 o'clock, we've got The Essential Guide to Pattern Making Book with Brecca Harrison. Here it is, the book. It's fabulous, so we love it, we love it. We're going to do, uh, sadly, no pattern paper. And it's all about the pattern paper. The whole book is about pattern paper. No pattern paper. Uh, then we've got 11 o'clock, more Six Penny Memories with Kim Suleman. Then at 12 o'clock, we've got... Now, lots of people, lots of people have messaged me going, look at how you've spelt pyjamas, John. You don't... It's American. It's an American... So look, Fran Pyjamas by Closet Core Patterns with Rebecca Harrison. Here they are. We've got some beautiful, beautiful fabrics coming up. Uh, can I tell you something? The first Gracie's sold already. We haven't even seen it yet. We haven't even seen it yet. The first one's gone already. Uh, there are three ways you can get in touch. The first way is by email. 
studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. Second one is Facebook Live, which those I've been shouting out. Uh, Claire says, thank you for that. I'll show him later when he gets up. Delia says, morning, John and team. Happy Tuesday. Lovely and bright here today. Gillian, it will fit, says Jeanette. I have mine in the bay of the dining room on a four foot table. Uh, there you go. You see, you've got people even doing my job for me. Uh, and then the third way is go to the website, www.sewingstreet.com. What you do is you go to the website, there you go, top right-hand corner, watch the show live. Picture on the left-hand side, you can send a message there, write a message there, and they're the ones that... Ben! Anyway, oh! It's a funny little picture, isn't it, then, of the Gracie cutie there. Anyway, anyway, uh, have a look, have a look. So we've got that in the first hour. Then we've got Kim Suleiman uh, with her brother sewing machine and their gingham striped cotton... It's, oh, now we've got lots of Savile Row wools and things like that. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so this is all, oh, now this is all Kim Suleiman 9 and 11. 9 and 11 is there. Uh, it's all there on one hour, but she's doing two hours and everything. Then we move on to, oh, there they are, there they are, cherry stones. Oh, they've not even got a smell on them. They just spit, spat out cherry stones. Because we've got things sp smelling of rose, look. There, 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 there. Buckwheat, buckwheat with rose scent there. I don't know, was he? Anyway, then we're back to Rec Harrison's there. We're going to be doing the book. Wherever the boot might be. There it is, 15.99, fabulous book. Uh, and then the next hour will also be her as well, won't it? Because we've done some sort of... Can I tell you, another Gracie's just got... I don't know how many we've got, actually. How many have we got? Oh, OK, right, have, keep looking, keep looking, don't come in. Because this is all your pyjama fabric here. All of your pyjama fabric coming up there. I'm on the move now. I'm on the move. Laurie says, good morning, John and team. Great shirt. Have a lovely day. Um, right. Shall we start then? <laughs> Samantha, Sophie, Gracie, give us a hug. <laughs> she's all nervous because she's not been on telly before. And Kim Suleiman said, you will look after her, not you? So I'm going to give her the hardest <laughs> time ever. I'm not, I promise. No, I promise. no you won't. I know. Right, so before we start, another one's just sold, just so you know. My goodness. Um, <laughs> just tell me who you are, where you come from, what you do for a living. So, obviously, Samantha Williams. Yeah. And um, I come from J&B Sewing Machines. Yeah. Which is a family-run business, and we've been around for 60-plus years. You haven't, um, though, have you? No, no, no. If, if so, I'm looking good. Yeah, obviously. you are looking good, yeah. Um, but we've recently become the distributors of the Grace Company, which is where the Gracie comes from. Lovely. But as well as that, we specialise in sewing machines, fabric, haberdashery, industrial machines. And you work there, then, do you? Do? Yeah, And yeah. are you part of the family, then? Yes, I am. Oh. So, <laughs> it's like 12 years ago, I came across Simon, which is Rob's son. Yeah, Rob's, Rob's the owner, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And um, so... I you came across him? Yeah. <laughs> what, yeah. in a pub? Were you through talking? a friend. Oh, through a friend. friend, yeah. And I've been with him for 10 years, so... Yeah. And then oh, no, sorry. No, no, no I've been, been with the business 10 years. Yeah, 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 I've been yeah. with him a lot longer. Oh. Yeah. So you are part of the family then? Yeah, pretty okay. much furniture. So what is this then? What, what in, in, in short term, because we're going to spend an hour talking about it, obviously, yeah. but what exactly is this? So this is your home-based quilting Frame. Right. So you can use your domestic machine, mm -hmm. so whatever machine you've already got, so you don't have to purchase one, to sit on top of this carriage yeah. and enable your long arm quilting. Okay. So the first question is, yeah. does it arrive built? No. It does come in a box. In a box? Here's a picture of the box. Yeah. Now, you can't tell how big that is, Charlie. You needed somebody <laughs> standing next to it to see the size of it, really. Oh, Dan wouldn't have his picture taken. <laughs> okay, but it's a small. It's it's not big. The it, box. No, is it? I can carry it. Yeah. The biggest part of this frame is actually your sewing machine. Okay, which you've got already. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's the biggest and bulkiest thing. Okay, am I restricted by? Can it be any sewing machine or? Ideally, we always say the bigger the better on the throat space of the machine because right. it just enables you to have more of a work area. Yeah. If you have got a smaller machine, it will work, but you will just be moving the quilt a lot more. A lot more. more. Yeah. So, so we've got my machine on there, the Elna 680, yeah, yeah. but you could have, we sell Juki here, we yeah. sell Husvana here, yeah. we sell uh, Brother here. Yeah. So they'd all, they'd all fit on it, basically. Any domestic sewing machine. Yeah. As long as you can lower your feed dogs with free motion, which every machine can now. Yeah. It can go on there. Okay, so it arrives in the box. Yes. Is it made up? No. Is it difficult to make up? No. So it's a lot easier than IKEA furniture. Okay. Other shops are available. Uh, yes. <laughs> um, but 
usually when you get your flat pack furniture, you have a bit of a row when you're putting it together. Yeah, and you'll uh, end up with two bits left it, over. Exactly, end, don't you? yeah, or you're missing one. Yeah. Um, but with this one, obviously, there is a couple of screws. There's a lot that you've got to do. You've got to make sure it's level. Doing yeah. it on a flat surface is obviously key. But the instructions are very clear right. on what to do step by step. What we'll do is we'll look at we'll look at them carefully when we go over to that side because my overhead camera's on that side at the moment. But you get this whole booklet with it. But also there's a support system. Oh, if you definitely. get stuck, you can ring Rob, can't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Because we're family run, obviously you're at the heart of us. So yeah. you've just got to pick up the phone and we'll be happy to help. Brilliant. So it comes in, <coughs> you make the frame, yep. right? So this is the basic frame. Now it's not heavy, it's not heavy at all because you came in <laughs> with it under your arm, didn't you? Sort of thing. But then these two bits are separate, aren't they? Yes. So if you wanted to be able to take this down because you've done your quilting yeah. and you want your table space back, all you've got to do is you take your machine off. So these two here, that's it. That bar then just lifts up. Oh, yeah. So you would then take your sewing machine off. So right. Oh, so that's it. holding my sewing machine. That's gone through. Yeah. You'll have a look at this, mix. We've got one set up over there if you have a look at it in a second. And that just keeps it from obviously rolling back. Yeah. And then you've got your carriage here where your machine would be on. So yeah. you just simply lift that off. Right. Can I also just point, sorry, can I just bring that yeah. back down? These aren't fixed, right? Because earlier Rob was setting up and he went, oh, they're in the way a bit. You can move the, my, mine's a bit creaky, I think <laughs> it's my wrist or the thing, but you can move the handles yes. to suit yeah. where you want so to do it. So some people quite like them up if they're doing more precision work. Yeah. Um, but you can adjust them to yeah, how you're comfortable. This then is your base carriage. So again, that just simply. And it says on it, on. front and yeah. back, so it's, you can't go wrong. It's proofed. Yeah. <laughs> And then you've got your frame. So your frame there is simply just resting on your table. Right. Next question. How yep. big does the table have to be? So you want at least four foot by two foot. For the table? Yeah. yeah. So as you can see, this base here is the main thing that needs to be on your table. Yeah. If this bit here is slightly overhanging, that's fine. But it's just that sort of that, rectangle so this bit base here. Yeah. Needs to be uh, that needs to be sturdy on, on the your table. table. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then and then how much space? So I don't really need. So I don't need any space that side nope. of it. So that table could be against the wall there, but you need space for you to stand on this. Well, Hang on, I'm oh, going we, the other way around. The other way around. Oh, you stand yeah. on that side. Yeah, yeah, so this could be against the wall. Exactly. Of course, because the handles are there, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, have the handles against the wall, everyone. So you, but this edge yep. could be against a wall. Yep. And then that edge, you need just room for you to, to stand, stand and, and maneuver. Uh, yes, like so that. as long as you can move left to right and maybe come out slightly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Yeah, but who, uh, you're not going to put it in your galley kitchen, are you? And also, this is not heavy at all. No, nope. is it? It's very um, light. Yeah, uh, it's light, but it's not flimsy. No, it's not flimsy at all. Then you get all of these, these blue things on here. There to, we'll show you in a second. There to clamp your quilt in place and things. That's aren't right. They? Yeah. Um, the beauty of these, obviously, because you've got square bars and then these clips are sort of, they've got that lovely curved edge to yeah. them. They allow you to tighten the quilt, so they quite tension it as oh, well. Oh, brilliant, brilliant, so brilliant. it does save a bit of tacking. If you didn't want to tack your quilt, yeah. the clips will hold it in. Perfect. Now, uh, uh, oh, yeah, sorry, the graphic's not in. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Graphic's in. Because they're already selling. I need to sell it. They're already selling. <coughs> £799, five-way split pay. Uh, uh, there are nine in baskets now, nine in baskets and three checked out. So please, you know, uh, we haven't even done anything yet. <laughs> Can I just also say to you that our, our split pay, no interest charge whatsoever, because we do it in-house, it's not an outside, what's it? Um, and also, we don't charge you for the service of a split pay. Five, I've said that, five-way split pay. Ben's just gone, five-way split pay. <laughs> Five way split pay. I don't, can you not look in here at the same time, Ben? He was looking elsewhere, he said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a man he can't multiply. Well, <laughs> inverted commas. £799, five way split pay. Fantastic. Right. Oh, you, oh no, you spoiled the surprise. <laughs> Charlie. Right, let's go over. Let's go over. Let's go. Right, let's go over. Uh, you who from Islington, Becky Alexander. Oh, is this one Becky Alexander Frost Scott? She said, Becky Anderson is one of our makers, yeah. designers. Uh, it's really easy. Uh, she says, uh, hi, John and Sam and team. I love my cutie and the little rebel. Yes. What's the rebel? So the little rebel is the new addition to the family. Oh, OK. So we'll talk about yeah. that later. It's really easy to put together. Now, listen, if Becky Alexander Frost can put it together, <laughs> you can put it together. Right. Now, I'm just going to put this uh, on the shelf uh, over here because I don't want to knock it off the table while we're doing this. While I'm here, before we start, I'm coming up here with you. Uh, can we look at this from the overhead? Is that possible? Yeah, it's just coming over now. Just so you can see all the instructions. So look, everything that's included. So you can, uh, when you unpack your box, check them all yep. off to make sure you've got them all. 
Then you've got, ooh, hang on, how to, it's very, very, even I could follow this. Do you know what I mean? It's very, very simple to put together. How long did it take? A couple of hours? So you're going to give it at least a good hour or so. Oh, oh OK. Uh, yeah, 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 because obviously you need to make sure that it's all level the first of time course. you put it together. Um, yes, so that's the most important yeah, thing is that it's definitely, level, isn't it? Because right. your machine, you don't want your machine running away. OK, so now, so as you can see, we've got it the other way around this time. I've got the handles here. So your machine sits on that platform. Yep. Does it, apart from this bar going across here, does it clip on? Yeah, so we have these clips. You get four of them. So yeah. They sit along the carriage. And as you see, so you just unclamp them. Yeah, hang on, and there you then, go, they're perfect. There you go. And then once your machine's in place, just pop that in and then close that clamp. So it just gives your machine a bit of extra support on there. Yeah, brilliant. Um, and then, and then, right, so, so we've got the machine in place. Yeah. Feed dogs are dropped. Yep. <clears throat> we've got our um, um, brain bouncing foot, darning foot, yeah, darning foot. I, I got there eventually. It's too <laughs> early in the morning, isn't it? Right. How do I then get my quilt? Uh, first of all, how wide is it? So the frame itself is four <coughs> foot. Right. You can quilt up to any size quilt on there. Right. We can ask about that yeah. later on at the moment. Um, and how do I get the quilt onto here? So with these clips, I'll just show you a bit here. Yeah. So your quilt is not attached to the frame in any other way apart from these clips. Right. So when you take these off, you'll see that your quilt is just completely resting. So you just lay it on top of those two bits? Yes, yeah. of course. So obviously you have your extra backing and wadding. Yeah. So they're held in by the clips when you first start off. And these clips come with it? Yeah, yeah, everything yeah, comes yeah. with it. Perfect. And, and then, then you just snap that on over the top. You can see how that automatically creates does it, it, tension, yeah. doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. So that's how it's on the yeah. frame. And then you've rolled it up and those clips just have gone round it. So this is my excess that I'm not working exactly. on. Exactly. So you haven't got loads of it hanging down it's not or anything like you that. You can get to your handles nicely Perfect. so you haven't got anything in the way sort of stopping you. Lovely. Um, and then do I start? That can't be it. That is it. So I always use my foot control. Right. Is that... This, right, yeah. I said this, because um, Samantha said, oh, I need somewhere to put my foot pedal. I said, wouldn't you press the button? She went, John, the <laughs> pedals... Uh, the, buttons round there I don't want to keep reaching round to press it yeah. so I'm going to use my foot pedal right exactly um, so we always set the machine speed you want sort of anywhere from the middle up yeah a lot of people panic and think oh it's too quick but you need the speed because you're moving quicker than you would think yes and then once you're on your foot control yeah right that's not moving on its own obviously Samantha's now, literally, you've not gripped the handle, you're just gently guiding. I've got it, sort of two fingers and a thumb on there. Oh, there you can see. You can see, look. Well, that was going to be a quick hour, isn't it? Because it's that's so easy to set it, up, isn't it? It's so light. How brilliant is that? So then, right, OK, so <laughs> I've obviously... What's my work depth here of how much I can work on? So, good question, because that all depends on your throat space. Right. So, if I trim my threads here, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to bring the machine as far forward as I can, right. and it will actually stop me. So, can you see that there? Oh, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so, if you were free motioning in, because you get such in the rhythm. And yes, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I always sort of limit my area, and I put a bit of ribbon or a bit of, like, quilter's tape across there, just right. so I can see... Ha where you're going, yeah. yeah. Because um, the last thing you want to do is, oh, and yes, the and then, and yes, exactly. Yeah. So basically, my throat space on mine is eight and a half inches. Yep. I can do sort of six and a half inches from, because I've got that yes. and I've got the needle finishing here. I can do a six and a half inch Definitely. band, and then I'd well, we'll do that in a second because we'll, we'll move on. So literally, I could just quilt right the way across yep. the four foot. So it could. <clears throat> Yours starts here. You can start all the way so up here. If I you? bring that just across there, so because you've got the carriage and the machine, yeah. So see how you'll never get your needle, obviously, right here. No, so of it course. It does come in quite a bit, and you'll have the same on the other uh, end. Of course, yeah. So right, okay. While this is out, yeah. Just. Uh, oh, okay. Once you've all checked out, this win single figures. What? Once you've all, we're only eight, we're only twenty minutes okay. in. <laughs> Um, right, my next question is, so if I've got, it's fine if, my, if I'm doing a lap quilt like yeah. that, 
What happens if I've got like one of my William Morris quilts, which is twice it the width? Much bigger. Yeah. Great, right, good question. So what we're going to do is... But they all have to be good questions. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the last time yeah, I'll say Can it. I just say, you're brilliant. You're <laughs> doing so well. Thank she you. was so nervous. And she's not taller than me, by the way. She's standing on a box. But um, um, she was so nervous about coming in and everything. And I was like, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. And Kim had said, oh, we'll look after you. But I don't need to. You're just brilliant. Thank you're you. fantastic. You should do it for a living. Oh, no. Right, OK, so, so we, we've done... Say we've done... OK, okay. now my next question is, would you... Because it's on here already, would you do that six inches or six and a half inches, however much you could do, and then move it up? Or would you move it that way first? I always go across. OK, so, so you've done all the way across yep. as far as you can go. But I've got another, say, four foot of, of yep. quilt. How do I... Well, that'd be a big quilt, wouldn't it? But you know what I mean? Yeah. So say, for instance, I'm going to move the machine just yeah. so you can fully see. So if I'm at my finishing point of my quilt here... Yeah. And I can even keep my needle in there. Yeah. Okay, so as if I've just finished. I'm going to take these Okay, two needle front stays down. Needle this, stays yeah, down. To yeah. move along, because yeah. you can't be rough with it. Right. So take them off to release the, the bottom part of the quilt. Yeah. And I'm going to take these two front clips off, and they are very easy. They just come off. Simple, pull across the bar. Okay, quick question. Yeah. Yes, Dukies will fit. Dukies are brilliant yeah. for this, because you've got your 11-inch throat space, That's or whatever, right. if you want the big ones. So Dukies, and especially the Dukie straight stitch one, is brilliant because that's de designed just to do straight stitches. Exactly, stitch, yeah. So the, the quality of a straight stitch machine, obviously, it's got yeah. high power. Yeah. It is. But if you've got one of the big jukies as well, yeah. that fits on here, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. So these will actually fit up. So we sell like the long arm machines as well. And on this frame, you can have up to a 19 inch machine. Oh, crikey. So any yeah. domestic. So, no, we don't sell a machine that exactly. goes that big. So yeah, exactly. So any domestic so machine. Any domestic, but the, so the yeah. really is the bigger the better. Exactly. Because you won't get a domestic machine with 19 and a half inches no. at throat space. No. Um, so yes, if you've bought a big dukey, if you've got any of the big machines, yes. And it, it'll take the weight, won't it? Yeah. It's because like I said, it's not, this isn't flimsy. No. Because I've seen some frames like this that are like two, like they look like two brushes with a, <laughs> and a bungee jump and everything. Yeah. Bungee jump. You, and I just think I wouldn't want to put my machine no. on there. Whereas this is f lightweight, but yes. it's sturdy. Oh, definitely. Isn't it? Because obviously it's a metal base. You've got the grippers on the, the bottom of the frame. So it's not moving no. anywhere. So it, it is very sturdy. Um, the frame then also extends out. So obviously at the moment, because we're using this machine, it's only this big. But this will actually oh. extend out to warrant you having the bigger machine. So oh, just and sit, and then just pull the bars. Johnny, out. pull this end. You pull that end. Are we all right? Look, 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 look. Oh, so you can make this. So yeah. it obviously goes another two inches then, because I've, yeah. I've got eight inches going to. Two. So if you have got the big dukey machine, you this just, could be. Yeah. But then are my handles? I, I can I still get to my handles. Yeah, of course you can. So on the handles, right? You have got this screw here. Yeah. So just undo that, and you extend your handle. Oh, out. brilliant! So it all can sort of grow with you and <coughs> upgrade. It'll still work. Okay, I just need to tell you, I've got too many people in baskets now. If you want this, you need to check out because there's too many in baskets. Right. Okay. Uh, okay. Right. So hang on. So so we, uh, should we push this back or yeah, leave this where yeah. it is? So, so I lift. Just lift that. Lift that hand. Yeah, that's it. And then you just push it back. What number in. were we on? So if we put it on six. Six. Yeah. That'll be perfect. Right. Then clip it back down. That's right. Right. It's so easy. And on the film, right? So I when I, when I knew I was doing this, and I've been away all week, so I couldn't come in for a meeting or anything. So I looked up a film, and there's two blokey blokes. Are they American? Yeah. <laughs> putting this thing up. And do you know what? It's the easiest thing to put up. And those two men do not do it any oh, no. I, 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 They're most of the I'll designers. I'll have to do one. <laughs> no, you should do... No, no, you should do one. Because first of all, I didn't believe they... they no, this, this is me, right? This is me. They, they weren't the... I just didn't believe that they were quilters. I want to see somebody who, who can quilt and everything yeah. do it. But they were kind of like... Going, that's right, isn't it, mate? Yeah, that's right, mate. Yeah. Oh, really? and, and it kind of made me think... No, it wasn't you, when you don't say me. <laughs> but it kind of made me go, oh, you've made this. Like, I watched you and Rob come in yeah. this morning. From that film, it's almost just you'd think you'd yeah. need two people, oh, right? Oh, right, OK. Because it's the two blokes standing there going like, oh, 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 oh. And you know what I mean? And it's kind of, you and Rob came in. Rob kind of didn't really do anything. He just sat over there, didn't he? And he <laughs> put it all up and everything. So it can be made. Like, I always worry being 
uh, on my own at home, like if I buy something, yeah. like an IKEA furniture, sometimes I think if you're putting a bookshelf oh. together, I need somebody to hold that in. Yeah. But actually, no. you could do, you did this yeah. all, uh, one person would do this on your own, right? And set it all up and put it in place and everything like that. I don't know where I was going with that story, but anyway, the two, you need to remake the film basically. <laughs> right, so we'll take this off, just yep. one of you, taking these off. Yep, so we've taken those two off there. And then I'm gonna keep this one back clip on and take the other two off. Okay. Okay, so that enables me to kind of still stay attached to my frame. Okay, so just take that off. And then we've also got the same here. Right. Okay, so now you can see that- well, Don't I fall off the edge no, of the block. I, I, I could see. So I'm still attached, so I won't lose my place, so I'll still get my nice straight line across. Yeah. And all I need to do now is just slowly pull that all the way across. Oh, uh, I was thinking, how's she gonna get the quilt because with everything yes, still exactly, attached. Yes, exactly, exactly. So obviously you're doing it gentle because you don't want to put too much yeah, force yeah. on your needle. But that, because you've got the you clip very holes well in there. You do it very gentle. <laughs> gentle. Gentle. <laughs> right, okay, so you and pull it, it across. Slide across. So however much quilt you had down so there. So if you had eight, another four foot of quilt going there, yeah. you could pull this right the way to the end here, could yeah. you? And, and then, then that would bring up uh, bring up the whole so yes. all of this i presume you'd roll up and put over the edge of there yeah. and then the other four foot is on the we'll frame clip it on clip it on yeah. and you then do that for and foot. you carry on exactly where you right. are so you've then done a whole row the whole width of the quilt yep. eight inches or whatever yes. of stitching yeah. <laughs> then you'd come back to the this end would you or would you then how would you well, then because you obviously then want to do the next eight inches yeah don't you? so it does depend so when I watch like the software and the automation do it, obviously that is a brain behind doing all that quilting. And they would start all the way and go across and then come back down on themselves and go in like that zigzag motion. Oh, okay. And the reason being, so if there's a slight shift between your wadding and your backing, you warrant it coming back. So rather oh. than you going all that way. Yeah, so don't go that way, come back to the beginning. I'm only yeah. used to as a dressmaker. If you're making a skirt, you will start at the top, sew down, then you don't go on the next one, no, you go, go up. Uh, yeah. you, you start at the top again. And yeah, because I suppose down. it's shifting it. Yeah, up, exactly. It? So yeah. this, you go all the way across, move it up eight inches, and then come yeah. back your forefoot that yeah. way, then move it that way, and then do your forefoot that way, yeah. then go down the next bit. Exactly. It, makes yeah. sense. it totally yeah. makes sense. Because right? if you take your quilt off and it's a bit. Yeah, yeah. It, it shows you've gone all in that one direction. How brilliant. How brilliant is that? Right, just a quick update. Quick update on this, right? How many people are going to miss out? He's just doing the maths. Ten people are going to miss out. Ten, we've got ten. Now, we didn't just have four or five of these. Because <laughs> normally when we do long arm shirts, it's, we have four or five of them, don't we? We had double, where, big, big amount of these. But, we're big double figures of these, right? And there's 10 more people got them in the basket than we've got stock of. We're only 28 oh, minutes yeah. past. What are we gonna do? Uh, anyway, right, so should we, let's fix it. So, so if, we, if we now show how we're gonna fix all of this Put back it all on back again. together. Yeah, please, yeah. Okay, so obviously because I'm still attached, yep. I am just gonna come across now and sort of piece that back out. Let me get my handles free so I can move my machine down, yeah. see? And then I need my smaller clips to go on the back. So oh, so that's a small, small. Oh, yeah, that's the side one. So these clips, you will see, they've all got cutie written on them. Reason being, you need to be able to see it. Yes. Because it's got these grooves in here to help support with the bungees. If you put them on backwards, they don't do half of their job. Oh, okay. so you always have it set looking yeah. at you saying cutie. That's right. So if I put that on there... And I hear it was named after Rob, is that right? He thinks so. Oh, OK. He likes to tell a couple of people that it was named yeah. after him. But <laughs> we'll just let him think that. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> he won't be here. As if they got the sound on in the other room. <laughs> He's... Kim, is the sound on in the green room? No, oh, he can't oh, hear that us, that's right. He'll, be, he'll watch it later. <laughs> <laughs> Right. So the reason being for those clips, so this here is all the excess quilts. So yeah. even if you've done half your quilt and it's all rolled up. Yeah. So by here, you do get these bungees and Yeah, okay. and they come with it, don't they? Yeah, Are they, they attached or do I have to attach them? So they, you actually have to put them in that bar. So that bar that goes through your throat space, yeah. you actually feed them through that bar. So that's part of the setting up process. Yes. And then they stay there forever. They stay in there. Right, so okay. there's like a metal clip on yeah. it, put it in and it kind of locks itself into okay. place. But that then will just come up and over and hook in Lovely. To that groove to help. Oh, and you can make excess. it tighter because if you if you're further down here You've and your quilt's getting more, fatter, yes. you need to be able to let it out Definitely, a little bit, yeah. don't you? Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. So it just helps to keep it all nice and neat and out of your throat space. Yeah. 
Okay, and then there's not really one on that end there. Oh, it's so easy. And that's, oh, and this is why you need QT facing yes. towards you, because otherwise that, that ridge wouldn't be there. No, so it would be, you yeah. wouldn't be able to clip yeah. it into anything. And then we've got our last one on the end there, which is... So you get all of the, these all come with it, don't yeah, they? Yeah, so you get three of the back ones, and then you get two of the large front ones. Yeah, well, you wouldn't need any more and then, than that, would no. you? No. And, and then how many end so ones do I get? Oh, that's off your end, that one. Yes, yeah, so you yeah. get two of them. Right. Um, so they're used in two different ways, they are. So okay. if your quilt's overhanging, obviously it'll support the excess quilt down there. But as well as that, you can use them for the bungees to support of course, yeah. the extra bit there. You don't get any bungees with it, but you can get the bungees direct from you. So yes. Samantha and she'll yeah. sell them to you. I'm just going to adjust this bit because it's okay. not straight immediately. Yeah, watch the block. I so easy to do, isn't it? So easy to do. Yeah, and you just bring them all up and over. Make sure you have brought them all up because, right. and this is speaking from experience, so what I've done in the past is if you leave one of these bungees dangling down, there's a chance it can get caught on your machine oh. and actually pull you back when you're sewing. Yeah, like, well, it be, would be like that, like yeah. a bungee jump, exactly. wouldn't it? Be like <laughs> and I've done it. I've done it. Yeah. So there you go, bring all that. And then you've got the front here, which you use your big clips yep. for. And again, cutie facing you. And I'm just going to pull that quilt and you can see when you put that clip on, it does it tension. It creates your tension, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And then I've got that one on there. Oh yeah, push well. that further up there. And again, cutie facing you. Oh, I need a little bit more. Need a bit more of this way. Can, can you slide them along? Or do yeah, you, have to take it off? you can pull it across. Go on, I'll let you do that then. Oh, yeah, bit of muscle. Bit, bit of muscle. Bit. There you go, and then pop that one on there. So that is now back supported. Yeah. And you've just got this excess now of everything that you've not quilted yet. Yeah. So you just want to roll that up. That's where, you, if you've got an eight foot one, that way you might be able to want a friend to come and help. But <laughs> then literally this bungee just comes round, and because you've got the cutie facing you, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me, you've got that ridge there, which has just held all up. That doesn't need to be tense, though, does it? Because you're just no. holding that out of the way. That's all that one's doing, isn't yeah. it? It's just keeping just it off your lap your so you can get your handles. How brilliant is that? Now, so you've done just a meander. Uh, how, if I want to do other patterns, yeah. can I use... Uh, it with a ruler. Can I use ruler feet yeah, for this? Yeah, yeah. So as long as your machine's capable of doing it. Yeah, so you've got, you've got to have the ruler foot. I mean, obviously yeah. you need the ruler foot and everything. Yeah. But so this isn't the only pattern I can do. Basically. Oh, no, no, no. You can do whatever you wish. So whatever you would normally quilt with, yeah. without this, like on your machine or whatever, yeah. you can do it. So if you've got the... So actually, this would be really good because it, normally if you buy a long arm quilter, yeah. well, you'll know this, you have to buy long arm quilting rulers to go with it because they're thicker, yes. aren't they? But this way, you're using your domestic machine. Yeah, so you're not going to waste all of the rulers. You might have got your Shirley Parr ruler or an, any of the rulers that you might have, right? You can just use them. As long as you've got your ruler foot, you can still use yeah. your rulers on here because you're moving it round. I mean, you could... Now, can I fix it in place? If I don't want to move up and down... How am I... Because if I'm using a ruler... Oh, no, no, you still need it to move, don't it, you? Push to. Yes, you'd yeah. have your ruler. Obviously, you'd have your base on your machine. Yes. Have your ruler, and then you just glide... Yes, of course, it, yeah, yeah. As I'm, you would. Yeah, yeah, as you would with a normal... And then you'd leave it, move the ruler around, and then go off yeah. and do the ears or whatever you're going to do with that. Oh, I've just, I'm so excited. I've broken my, my <laughs> earpiece. It's just snapped behind my head. Hang on one second, uh, and then I'll get an update. Now, the other thing is, is can this frame grow with me because I've, if I buy this today, which a lot of people have done, I've bought this today. Oh, right. Okay, so the 10 not checked out, but how many in baskets? 27 in baskets. So 17 people are going to miss out now. And I'm sorry to keep going on about that. I just don't want you to miss out on it. Um, so say I've got this and I've got my rulers and I've got this and everything like that. What happens if I want to do, because on a long and quilter, you can buy pantogra pantographs. Yeah. I know I haven't got pantographs today, but can I turn this into a pantograph machine as well? Yeah. So what you would Not do... Not machine, sorry, frame, 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 frame. So yeah. your handles at the front, yes. they would just unscrew right. and actually go in the reverse of the carriage. So I don't know if you can see oh, the back that, there, Can we see the back of the... the two holes? Back of the, cam uh, back of here, at, back at the bottom of here. That's it, those two holes right at the bottom. Oh, you can see in the middle there, the two yeah. holes there. So your handle goes on there. And you would stand at the reverse of the machine. Right. So then you would need a bit of space. But then you could... Yeah, yes, out. but then you could just move it yeah. out from the wall. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So you'd stand at the back and you would have what we call a Gracie laser. So it's a battery power with laser so it'll work with any machine yeah. so it hasn't got a I had particular... laser treatment on my knee yesterday <laughs> is it the same thing Maybe. <laughs> no, no. anyway don't bad. try fixing your knee with your sewing <laughs> machine laser so obviously we haven't got these today these are things but people can 
See, next time you, you come on, with it. we could maybe yeah, do that side. Because like, obviously we're going to have to come back again. I, they I get, think so. They get it all sold out. <laughs> so, so you can attach, you attach, maybe you attach your laser to your so machine. So the laser will actually go on to the side of the carriage. Right. Okay. okay, and again, you've got all the instructions for that. Yeah. The holes are already in the carriage ready for So them. it's all so, ready to go. So yeah. it's like it, you've all, they've almost designed it. With to adapt. A, adapt uh, yeah, yeah, adapting in mind, yeah. So you would then stand at the back. Your pantograph then would go along the base of your table. Right. So in that clear, hollow space of the frame. Oh, oh okay, yeah, yeah. And then, obviously, if you're using your foot control, just make sure that's at the back. Yeah. Is the machine on the same way around then? Yeah, keep the machine exactly how it is. And you will not be looking at what you're sewing. So you're but, well, no, but you're following your pantograph exactly. anyway, aren't you? Exactly, so you don't want to look at this because you'd no. go wrong. So you just follow your pantograph all the way across and then move it how you would normally and then move your pantograph to adjust. How brilliant is that? Oh, got a message quickly and then I've got a question as well. Uh, morning to you both. Brilliant machine. Can you do so much and leave it or should you complete the quilt? Uh, excuse me, Susan, there's no such thing as a dumb question. So, if Susan's got as far as you've got, yep. and then she's going out for cocktail with the girls and everything, can she just switch the machine off and go? Yeah, yeah. Just literally how you would normally, if you were in the middle of a quilt at home, yep. normally sewing on the machine and you would leave it, it's exactly the same. As long as you're happy to keep it up and have that space. That was going to be it, my question, yeah. right? So a lot of my ladies and gentlemen sew in their spare room. Yeah. So as long as they've got a level table that's four foot by two foot. Yeah. They can do it. Now, we had, didn't we have a message earlier saying I have it in the bay, in my bay window, my dining room, so you can just slot it in there. But if I want to, should we go, oh no, I won't go over there. How can I store it? How do I store it? Because we've obviously taken the two trays off, the one with the handle and the one that your machine sits on, yeah. and they could just stand up. Are they able to stand upright? Yeah, yeah, just keep yeah. them upright. And then what's left is the frame that's on that table there. You can, you, there you go. So that's what's left. Yeah. Now, Rob said earlier in prep what he would do is he would literally... Come on over. Uh, he would literally... Because look... Oh, that wasn't me. He would literally <coughs> sit it like that, put it up against the wall. Yeah, so that's... <coughs> I've got a lot of people who actually put like L brackets up on the wall and they'll hang it up on the wall. Um, oh, that's a brilliant idea. Because it's so light. <coughs> well, it's only, the, it's only the weight of a, of a, a, a decent ironing board, it, isn't it? Yes. Exactly. So uh, where we go, where we film um, pavers and, and threads of life and everything, we've got uh, ironing boards on our dressing room. And you can get like a... Um, it's kind of like looks like that and then a hook. Yes, and I know. You could do that with this, couldn't yeah. you? And just hook it against the wall... Don't put it on the back of your door, but you can put it on the wall. Yeah, definitely not on the door. A what rail? Oh, a guitar hanging thing. Yeah, maybe if you've got one of those. But, but, but basically, now, it, but what happens if I'm only going to use it, say, not that you're going to, because you're going to get addicted. If I only use it, say, once every six months, can I take it back to pieces and put it back in the box? You can. If you're happy to dismantle this back down, yeah. by all means. I wouldn't do it as much as it come out of the box. Right. Obviously, keep your bars as oh, long yes, as yes, they yes, are. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So it can take, it can go down into smaller, yeah. if so you want to. I think, though, screws. once you've got... Now, let's go back, because I've got another question. If I've not got a quilt, say I've just got the front of a cushion yes. or something this big, yeah. can I, even though this is long arm, can I quilt that size on this machine? Yes, yeah. so what I would recommend is put in, like, a bit of a cloth leader of calico all range oh, I've got calico coming up later. Yep, that's good. <laughs> well done, you didn't know that. That's good, yeah. So, so what? So, so you've got your cushion cover here. Yeah. You, what, pin or so yeah. some calico like that much yeah, calico? Yeah, a, a good five, six inches yep. across the top, down the sides and on the bottom. So you're actually making it bigger than the actual cushion cover, yes. yeah? Yes, only to allow you to go right to the edge of that, of that cushion cover. Oh, yes, because if you just put the cushion cover on, you, you can't get that far and you can't, well, you yeah. wouldn't come, you'd be all right no. going widthwise, but you wouldn't be able to get to the top. No, of so you would have to have something there to clip under there. So as long as the piece of calico is the, that the size of your throat, say, going to the fullest, yeah. right? So if you put at like eight inches maximum and then do a small border, small border. I, I, well, actually, I'd put, I'd put the same thing all the way around because you want to roll, roll it, it up yeah. there. And also you want to get your bungees because it's middle there. You come and buy your bungees from you and then and have then your just... bungees at the end to keep the whole thing yeah. tense. So you're able to do tiny pieces piece of work as well. Yeah. You've just got to make it that little bit bigger to warrant your clips. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. of course. Oh, fantastic. Uh, right, there are nine left. How many baskets? 28 in baskets. These are going to sell out. These are going to totally and utterly sell out. Um, I don't know what else there is to say, really. <laughs> and we've got 20 minutes to go. But it's, I mean, you've been fantastic. I oh. thought I'd have to molly coddle and look after <laughs> you, but you are absolutely fantastic. <clears throat> so let's just go through the whole thing again. Oh, hang on. Question. 
Uh, morning, I have my frame on the back of my sewing room door. Oh, oh I just said, don't put it on the door, put it <laughs> on the door. The only thing I'd be worried about was that Paula. The only thing I'd be worried about is I'd swing the door open <laughs> like that. Yeah. And, and it might, you know, kind of wreck the, it'll wreck the wall more than the frame sort of thing. Because, you know, like, when I first bought my house, I couldn't open my front door all the way because there was a radiator on this, big radiator on this wall. Oh, so, so you could go like that and go, hello, can I help you? And people thought <laughs> I was really... worried. <laughs> 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 hello. Um, right, so... If you buy it from us today, it's £799. You get it on five-way split pay, no interest charge whatsoever, and we don't charge you for using split pay. You buy this from us today. So, now, they come out from your warehouse. Yes. When will you be going down the post office with them to send them? So, as soon as we get all the information, yeah. we would ring up the customers and have it sent out the next day. Okay, so make sure that when you place your order, your phone, most of you have got your phone number on the thing, but make, it's a phone, not an email. We can do either, but usually we prefer Okay, so they'll, you'll contact them, them yeah. and say, right, we've got your order, Mrs. Smith from Manchester. Uh, we're going to put it... Now, it doesn't go in the post office. You don't want it down to the post office, do you? We're going to give it to the courier tomorrow. Yes. Expect delivery tomorrow or the yeah. next day or whatever. If that day didn't suit them, they can say, look, I'm not in until Friday. Can you send it up for Friday? Yeah. So we'll always accommodate them. Perfect. Sick family-run business, you see? Mm -hmm. Like ours, really, isn't it? Uh, so that's that. So that's buying it. So then once it arrives, it comes in this box that Charlie's taken a picture of. That box there. You can't tell how big that box <laughs> is, I'm afraid. It's not even in here anymore, is it? No, nope, don't worry, don't worry. Uh, it's not big at all. Uh, it will only take one of you to set it up. You open the box, you take all the bits out. I'll just put this on top of my sewing machine here. Oh, yeah, sorry, I have to wait for that. I've only got one overhead over here, so there you go. Look, in the magazine, in the brochure, this is a bit of a tattoo. I know. <laughs> a list of everything that should be in the box. So the first thing you do is unpack your box yep. and see that you've got all of those bits. And then... Once you've checked, you've got your bits. Actually, what I would do is I'd make a cup of coffee. I wouldn't, I'd get the bits out and see them on the floor and everything. Then I'd have a cup of coffee and I'd read and it. And then you'd go through it. Because you're going to see, that so you'll think, why, should, why have they done that there? Well, I'll do this bit next. You'll okay. see why to, they've done it in the your order. Yeah. Because you might think, oh, I'm going to put these clips on now. I could do these clips now. And then later on realise that they're in the way to do yeah. something else. So do it in the order. Have your cup of coffee. Read through it. Uh, and then... An hour and a half later, two hours later, yeah. it's there. What you need is you need a, t a level table. Yes, it's got to be a level surface. Oh, yes, of course, because it would, it would roll, wouldn't yeah. it? If it was slightly uneven, it would yeah. roll, wouldn't it? So um, it's got to be on a surface. It's got the sturdy uh, frame, four foot by two foot. You then build it. There's only 11 left. How many in baskets? Oh, seven left. Seven left and 28 in baskets. Come on, come on, come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's have a sellout before she goes home. <laughs> Uh, it's got a long way to go. You have to stop at the service station. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's now six left. There's now six left. And now 28 in baskets. Uh, right, OK, so you open the box, you put it together. Yep. You've got all your clips. You've got everything in place. You've got your quilt. I would do a practice one. What I would oh, do definitely. is I'd just make get some calico or some, just some fabric. Or, I mean, this is lovely quilt, but just put, yeah. put some squares together. Not your best quilt. Do not get your best quilt out the and do it the first time. <laughs> And just practice, because this, even though it's, old Ben said all morning, he said, oh, this is satisfying. Oh, this is satisfying. He's like, kind of move, oh, this is, because the, it's so smooth. That, what do you call this bit here? This, so this is at the upper carriage. The upper carriage is so smooth because it goes this way and this way, and it goes this way. So you can go any way, can't we? Back, side to side and backwards, back like that. So you can create any, imagine writing your name. You could write your name in this if you wanted to and everything like that. But I would just make a faux quilt sandwich. Yes, definitely. And just have a go at it and get used to it because it's your muscle memory, isn't it? And relax, shoulders down. Glass of wine. Now, glass of wine. Yeah, it helps. We're only up past 10 in the morning. No, but it, help, it helps you move. <laughs> now, we've got it obviously on a standing up table. Yes. <clears throat> can it go on a sitting down table as yes, well? Yes, it can. I'm just thinking because I have a few ladies who are in wheelchairs. Yes. And whenever we sell things, the first thing they say is, oh, I can't use that. But yeah. this, it just depends on the height of your table, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. So what you'd have, obviously, you may want to adjust those handles upright so they're not sort of nudging into yes. you. Yes. Um, but as well as that, you also get the clear view then of the needle as well. Yes. Because every machine is different. Of course. At yes, the yes, front yes. here. So obviously, if you're sitting down, you've got a completely clear view. Yeah. Ra relax your shoulders. Yes. Uh, what we mean about the handles is, I've got this carriage here. That's what they look like normal. But you're saying we can, can, can does that go right the way up if yeah. I wanted to. You see, so it can go. I, I, can I get a bit of 
WD-40 on there. We, we didn't screw it, but yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, but basically, whatever's comfortable for you. Yes. Because flat out like this might not be what you want. You know what I mean? It might be that you the way we sit, the way we... And if you're, if you're sitting, you think your knees are going to be close to that. Yeah. So it is oh, better yes, to Oh, yes, 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 yeah. But you're not going to hit your knees with it. No. You'll be fine. You'll be absolutely fine. So we, we've put it up. We've got it all ready. We've done our practice quilt. We're ready to go. How do we... Well, no, let's, let's pretend we've got our calico, our faux one. How do we just, for people who might have missed it earlier, yeah. how do we attach the quilt to the frame? So when you've got your clear, your clear um, space of the frame, you've got your bungee clips here. Oh, I'm undoing the front one. Should yeah. I be doing no, that? No, take them all off. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. what I'll do, I'll take the quilt, the quilt completely, completely off. off. Oh, yeah. Oh, you've got time. Yeah, and I'll show time. it to you empty and I'll show you some little tips. That Brilliant. I, oh, fantastic. I've learned. Yeah. So take all those bungees off and then just pull them back. Oh, there's only four left. Four left. And how many baskets? 31 in baskets. When can you come back? Wow. <laughs> Whenever you want me. OK, that's fine. <laughs> so, so are you basing... I asked this earlier. It's not Cardiff, is it? I might put you in No, so we've got... Our head office is Newport, which is the bigger premises with all the yeah. racy things. And then we've got a shop in Cardiff, which is more just the sewing machine. and. So how do you know sound. chocolate... Uh, chocolate. Sandy chocolate chip cooking. <laughs> so she's been a customer of ours for years. It was, really, it was only really weird because she was up with filming with me in Warrington yeah. this week. And she suddenly said this way, Baba, uh, J&B. And I was like, why do I know? And I said, oh, oh. <laughs> and I couldn't fit. And I'd read it on my sheet before which I went Sophie. up there. <laughs> and it was... Yes, I forget. <laughs> And I was like, I was like, and I said, oh, we'll talk about that later. And then we were so busy, yeah. we never got a chance to talk about it. Because then I was coming in this morning, I thought, oh, should I? Because Sandy Chocolate Chuck is a, it's not really, that's not a real <laughs> no. name. It's Masashi ch Chocolate -ch 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 Chip Cookie. Anyway, uh, so she worked with you or she's just one of your customers? Yeah, she's been our customer for years, but she started doing some courses with us. Oh, wow. And the customers. They love her. her. Yeah. They love her here. But obviously the minute I knew I was on here, because I knew she had been, yeah. and she's obviously on here. Sandy, I need some help. Oh. Help me. And she was great. You know, she gave me a great big boost. She did that. She did that. Uh, uh, I've got my own platform. And she did a, a, the, our very first live so, oh, so really? along this week. And it was brilliant. Everybody just loved she her. Is and she just gets on with it. She yeah. does it. And She's calming as well, isn't she? Yeah. Like the course she'd done with us recently, it was a fantastic course. But everyone on there completed it and they were so happy oh so it's great yes yeah, she's, she's very giving it. right so this is my frame yes. i've put my sewing machine in place yep and you've got your clips and the clips on there and remember this bar goes across your sewing machine there so that's holding your sewing machine in place as well as the clips here are holding onto it right yeah and then when you've got your quilt obviously you're going to place that across your frame yep and then clamp it in but before i do that i just want to show you a bit about these clips yeah so because you've got the square bar, mm -hmm. and this now is just speaking of experience with the customers and what they struggle with, yeah, yeah, yeah. How, can, how I can help them. So this bar and the clip just fit on there perfectly. Right. But once you start turning that to sort of give it a bit more tension on your quilt, it can become difficult to come over. So can you see it's coming over? Hang on, we just, if you just move that arm there, right, if we point to that bit there, so what, what's wrong with it? So if you're coming over this side of the bar, yeah. where you've got the biggest part of the bar, you can do it, but... Oh, I see what you yeah. mean. Yeah, yeah. Or if you put both hands on there and try and pull it off, you're putting the pressure on. Yep. So you just need to turn it slightly and it'll then slide up. Yeah, like, don't force it, is what yeah, you're saying. Yeah, it'll just come up this side of the bar rather than that sort of diamond bit and it'll just... Okay, now, if I am too rough with it and I break it... I've never had one break. Oh, fine, okay. Never. End of question. Um, and, we take them to the shows and we yeah, chuck I've them got in the back training. of the van. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, um, I can't think of what the plastic is called, but it's, we've never oh, had Oh, that's the first thing you've not known. Rob! <laughs> Next time you can't get, okay, Rob, what's the plastic called? <laughs> but basically, it's a hardware. It's not... Yeah. 37 in baskets and two, two left. Two left, two left, two left. If you want it, you need to check out Ben, so. Right, okay, so uh, it's good, sturdy plastic. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And, then, and so, the, so the tip was, don't force it. That's it. it. Don't put all that this pressure is square on there. And that's a, yeah. Yeah. Everyone sort of goes, oh, I can't get it off. Yeah. But it's just release it up and it'll it'll yeah. slide at the bar. Lovely. And then you've got your quilt. One left now. So you're just gonna place that over the frame. Yeah. And obviously I have sort of sewn across the top, so it's anchored into place. So you've not sewn on the quilt. You've just uh, where the calico and the wadding. No, not the calico. The backing and the wadding are. You've just machined across. 
just yeah. to make sure it stays in place. Yeah. Yeah. This then, every layer is, I haven't basted it, there's no glue, it's just simply... There's no 505? No, nope, nope, nothing on it at all. I yeah. just made sure it's all nice and smoothed out. And then on the back, we're going to put those smaller clips. Yeah. Oh, I haven't got any of those. Oh, we have. Bigger clips, aren't they? All there. Which ones are that then? These ones. Okay. There you go. So it's 39 in baskets. There's only one left. There's only one left. Better get work. Get on to Rob. <laughs> and then I'm going to put the... Oh, the, on I can't get you any more today. I, I've just found out I cannot get you any no. more today. So if you want that last one, you need to check out. There right. You go. And then bigger clips on the front. That there we can leave because it's only on the back. Oh, OK. So that would go on if I had a bigger... If you had yeah. the full four foot width yeah. on that. OK, right. What do you need? What are you pointing That one's at? the back one. I need the bigger one. Oh, is it good? <laughs> Yeah, so that doesn't need to go on there, but I'm putting it on. Oh, oh. done it wrong. <laughs> done it wrong. Oh, I can't get it off. Cutie facing you. Yeah. That's it. There we go. Okay, and then obviously that one. Yeah. On the front. And it's so all it's nice two and big ones on the front, three small ones at the back. Yes. Why is that? Um, so the big ones here, obviously, what are giving that extra tension yeah. bit there. If I put them on the back, they'd actually be a bit wasted. Okay. Um, so it just... Like Ben. <laughs> you can grip it in a bit more. And then all your excess quilt there, you're just going to roll it out. Yep. Out of the way of your handles. Use your bungees that are underneath and anchor them into that slot on that groove. And there you go. Lovely. I've, so I've not used any... Oh, our back ones. Well then. It's got, uh, well, it's got relaxed now, hasn't the, it? No, that's a good tip, actually. So you see on the bungee, you've got all that excess yep. there. So if you don't... So what I... Again, speaking from experience and telling all my bad habits now, if that is dangling down, yeah. you think that's coming quite far into my quilt. You can sew that into your quilt. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, easily. If you get carried away, yeah. There used to be one with a bit of pink thread going through oh, okay. there. Oh, that, that was mine. That was yours, yeah. Well, we learned uh, by our exactly, mistakes. Exactly, exactly. Uh, it was fun. Sold out. Sold out, sold out. With how many people missing out? 40 people missing oh, out. Wow. Okay. <laughs> right. We're just going to put the L in the machine in now because um, obviously uh, we need to move on. Right. That's not the price of the L, though. Just double check. Right. OK, so we've got the clips on. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I missed the whole t trip about not sewing over it because Ben was telling me it's oh. <laughs> What do I do with that extra bit there? So with that bit, on the back you've got that sort of clip there yeah. and you can just pop it. Oh, so it's actually got, they've thought of that as well, so it's got a clip. Yes. Don't leave it dangling like yeah. that, clip it uh, in. You need all that, because obviously if you're going to do the bigger quilt, yeah, you're going to have big bulk by yeah. here. Yeah. Um, bye, yeah. Bye. Oh. <laughs> 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 the dolly clouded. Another tip at the back. Yeah. So what you can do, you would initially think to roll your quilt like this by here once you've gone through. Yeah. Um, we find that if you fan fold it, it actually stays nice and flat and takes up this wasted space of the machine. Oh, uh, rather than that? Yeah. Yeah. So you're not going to get halfway through your quilt and all of a sudden you've started with an eight-inch throat space and now you've got three. Yes. Because you've got all that. All there. that bulk there. Yeah. So fan fold fan it. Fan fold it upwards rather yeah. than backwards. It'll stay flat. Whereas if you roll it, it's good. It's okay for the first or the second. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it I think if you were doing one this size, like a little lap one this yeah, size, you'd be fine, fine wouldn't yeah. it? But if you've got... I have got one hanging up there. If you've got the, the big one... Yeah. So that's a really big It would tip. really just roll and take away your throat yeah, space. Yeah, because this is wasted yeah, this, exactly. at the moment. There's no need it. for that on this, yeah. is there? Because you need that normally if you're at home rolling them yourself and, you've got and it all forcing it through and everything, yeah. OK, so we've done that. F drop the feed dogs. Yes. Uh, go put the foot on, the darning foot on. Yep. Drop the, the, the presser foot and we're ready to go. Yeah. With the cutie frame as well, in the box, you will get a load of different cables. And what, cables? Yeah. So they are for your foot control, so the extension leads for your foot control. Oh, I hadn't even thought about yeah. that, because your foot control actually plugs it's in all the way over all there. there. Yeah. So if you just used it as normal, you'd kind of be dangling off the floor. We, and we have trouble, well, we have trouble here it. anyway, with it going from the machine to the floor small. anyway on yeah. this high table. So you actually get the extension cable that goes from the back of the machine to plug your so foot your pedal foot into yeah. so that you've got, a, and it goes underneath the yeah. machine so you've so got enough So we've length. got, I was sort of under the carriage, it comes down here and then our foot control is actually starting at the edge of the table. Yeah, you can't see that no. from there, I don't think. No. But it gives us a lot of room to be able to move. That's fantastic. They've thought of everything, yeah. haven't they? Yeah, and that comes with all of them and you get like different cables for every machine. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Again, anything else? Oh, I could that keep going. But no, 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 we run out of time, <laughs> run out of time. Anyway, so we've sold out. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'd love you to come back because you were absolutely oh, brilliant. Um, 
you'll get a phone call in the next... So what normally happens is what day of the week? Tuesday. At midnight tonight, they coagulate all the, the, the boxes and everything like that. So then you will get all the people's information. Oh, now, it all depends on if you've just paid full for it, they'll get it tomorrow. If you've paid um, split pay, it's tomorrow. But if you've paid PayPal and things like that, different reasons. It, yeah. So it'll be staggered. I only know this because when I sold my Threads of Life here, we got some names the next day, some names the day after that, some names, and it all depends on how you've paid for it and things like that. But within the next few days, you will get a call or an email. Yeah. Will it come from you? Well, it'll be one of us. It'll either be myself, Rob, or Nicola. She does a lot of the sending. Oh, it'll be Nicola. So, yeah. Nicola does all the work. Nicola does all the work. <laughs> so uh, you'll get an email saying, what day would you like it delivered? We're planning on giving it to Courier tomorrow. And you go, yes, that's fine. Or no, I'm not in till Friday. Or yep. I've got to have it delivered when my husband's at work. We know that one. Um, do you know what I mean? So they'll deliver it as and when you need it. And then once you've got it home, if you get stuck on anything, you just give them a call yep. and somebody will answer your call. Nicola will answer your call <laughs> and, uh, and sort you out there. Listen, I've got to say goodbye. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you ever so much. Oh, I've had fun. Uh, what are you saying to me, Ben? OK, if one does pop back into stock during the day, it won't. Uh, <laughs> we'll let you know, because there's that 40 people have missed out, but it has sold out now. Um, safe journey home. Thank you very thank much. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being brilliant. Uh, got Kim Sullivan next. Anything could happen in the next four minutes. We'll see you back here. She's got all sorts. Uh, Savile Row wool. She's got a funny looking flower on the desk and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> I'll see you in four. It's a nice flower. <laughs> <laughs>
Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app. Now, Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with split pay. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Kim Suleiman's here. Hello, Kim Hello, Suleiman. How are you? I'm all right, thank you. How are you? Fine, okay, thank you. You see the difference from when she walked in this morning. Rebecca Harrison didn't recognise her. She'd been to the <laughs> put on her makeup. Yeah, but li Lippy the and the foundation. <laughs> anyway, how are you? I'm absolutely fine, thank you. Yeah. You're very subdued today, all right. Am I? Yeah. Oh, Normally you're so loud. <gasps> Rude on so many levels, right? We're so many stunned. levels. <laughs> right, we've got loads of goodies show. What we're going to do is we're going to show you absolutely everything that we've got for sale, first of all, because all of your demos include bits of everything, don't they? Yes, so we thought we'd show you everything that was sale for nine o'clock and eleven o'clock. And the, it is like a crafting retreat. I'll just turn Ben down because he's very loud. Right, so we're going to start. No, no, it's my. I had to go and psh, 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 my earpiece. I lost them completely. And that's so it's my fault, not Ben's. Right, so we're going to start with this. What is this? So this is Holland and Sherry Savile Row wool fabrics. Lovely. So basically, when we originally started having clothing, all our fabrics were wool. As you know, I'm telling the expert here. Yeah. Touching you as yeah. well now. Point, point. you've got your lovely shirt on. My lovely see. shirt on. And obviously you had like a winter wool and a summer wool. Yes. So what we've done is we've brought together 10 of these fabulous swatches. And if you if you were to sew all of these Oh, no, together, we're on the big one. We're on the big one. The big, yeah, yeah. big blocks, big blocks. You get 10 in the pack and they are 39 by, I'm going to, 36 by 29 centimetres. If you sewed all these together, 
it would equate to, um, I think it's about half a metre. Yeah, okay. half a metre of fabric. But so don't forget, wool's very, very wide as well. Very, so, very yeah. wide. Look at all these. So you're going to get an assortment of the pack. Now, the lovely thing about these is the stickers are still on. These come off very, very easily. Yep. But here, for example, this is 100% wool worsted. Yep. Is that how you say it? Uh, worsted? Yeah, wool worsted, yeah. Now, you most probably said, going, why on earth they got £79 mm -hmm. out of that? That's how much you pay for a metre, well, a, a, a half metre metre meter fabric in Savile Road. That's yep. how much wool is. Yeah. That's how much these wools would cost you if you... But, well, no, I'll tell you why, right? So, so you have got contacts that used to work in Savile Row. Yes. And these are the sample books that the tailors in Savile Row have. And they get new books every year or every right. season and then don't need these. So normally these just get thrown in a bin, right? So these are proper, the, the actual McCoy. So mm -hmm. the, what happens is, say Hugh Grant went into, a, into Holland and Sherry and said, I want a suit making. They go, oh, of course, Mr. Grant, what would you like? He said, oh, I'm looking for a really lovely big window pane with a balloon. They'd find the samples and go, this one. He goes, that's exactly what I want. So instead of having bolts of fabric of every single fabric, because that would cost an absolute fortune, they have the, the, the swatch book. It's like when you, you choose wall. Well, do you still choose wallpaper from books? I don't know. I don't but do you know what I mean? Like in the old days, we used to have wallpaper books and you choose your wallpaper and go into the shop and want, want 12 rolls of that. So then they'd say, right, Hugh, you need five metres of this for your suit and they would order the five metres of, of that fabric. So they don't hold the fabric in the... Because a lot of the tailors That's work right. in a tiny little room, mm -hmm. don't they, That's in Savile right. Road? Like, just a little, little space where they just sit and sew. And, and they do literally sit on, sit on the hands and, you know, kind of cross-legged doing their hand stitching, things like that. So these are the real samples. So you're not paying anywhere near £79 for this today. Um, this price is phenomenal, I need to tell you. £17.99. So you're getting yeah. 10 of them. You get 10 of these ones. So these are 36 centimetres yeah. by 29. Now, you could make an absolutely fantastic lap quilt. With oh, these. yes, totally. Absolutely brilliant. But they're good for a plique, unusual oh, applique. And that's things right. Like that, All they? sorts of projects. So behind, I've done a quilt um, using the large blocks, uh, the medium blocks you would also, which we're going yes. to come on to. Yeah. I've got a cushion over there, the star cushion. Yep. I've got the uh, circle cushion on the top. I've done heat wraps. I've used the embroidery machine. Whatever you want to use them for. Yep. The joy of the large ones is that you can do a bit, so Because I have, we have them. got medium, like these, I'll show you. I've got these sizes as well, which are also really, really popular. But if you need a bigger space to cut out, then these That's are right. perfect. Now, are they random? So yes. you're not necessarily going to get that green one no. in. It's just you get 10 pieces yes. of wool from Holland and Sherry. That's Look, right. Still on the back. Still so, on the back. So you, you'll also get the, the majority of them, if not all of them, will still have that information on. Now, that's quite nice to keep so you yeah. know what you're working yeah. with. Because one of the samples I was doing had wool and silk in. Oh, wow. Yeah, so some of these are absolutely brilliant. But you actually got that, the, the provenances there. Yes. So, yes, the provenance, the provenance darling. No, and also, you know, the reps who are going abroad, for example, they're not wanting to carry great big pieces. No. They want the Savile Row fabrics. Yeah. And so they'll take them in their suitcases, yeah. travel across to Saudi Arabia so the people who can afford yes. So, So these. what would happen is in the actual books that you wouldn't, these ten wouldn't be in the same book, basically, because you'd have your different weight wools, you'd have your wool and silk book, you'd have your, like you say, your winter weight, your summer yes. weight, your, all your different weights, or all your different mixtures, or your herring bones and things like that. So if you were to go in and look at a Holland and Sherry book, you could get all of them looking, oh, that's a lovely weight, that it's one. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful. What so is that one? They're that absolutely one? stunning, these. Uh, but you'll get a random, a random, you'll get ten See, of them. So this must be a wool, this is still the wool worsted, but it's a lovely light one, that one. Yes. And yes. they work beautifully together. I mean, they're an absolute joy. You couldn't, even if you're buying wool for applique, it is so expensive. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. And also to be able to just get that much, you don't often get that no, choice just to no, get that much, no, that's do you? that's right, that's uh, right. Adam Baker's, um, Adam... Brooks, sorry, Baker. Adam Brooks, Baker Boy hat. Yes. All the different, imagine all the different sections mm -hmm. in a different I one know. of those. Be, be absolutely beautiful. fantastic, wouldn't it? Yes. So think home deck, think dressmaking. These larger pieces are just superb. Brilliant. Absolutely, absolutely brilliant. fantastic. Loads you there, 17 pounds and 99 pence. Oh, now, now look, I've missed out lots of questions from the last day. If you've got any questions for Kim, just get them in. Um, oh, uh, Shirley says, good morning, John and Kim. Denise says, oh, the cutie frame's gone now, Denise. It's sold out. It was £799. Sold out now, I'm afraid. Uh, right, so that's your large one there, £17.99. Then we go... Now, this is a... 
I've got three sizes left. Look, one, two, and three. Okay, they've called this one a large one. Yes, so we called those the large blocks because they were, they, they're huge. Yes, yep. this I'm just is, gonna, while you're yes, doing that, I'm just going to yep. blow my nose So there's here. 39. You're going to get an average of 39. Some people may get slightly more. And again, these are the books that the reps would carry around or that you would choose your, um, your suiting fabric from. And these can be a little bit oh. of a mixture. Oh, one there have you been in there chopping that one? Possibly, possibly. <laughs> <laughs> I waste nothing on these ones. No. So can you see, you're going to get 39 different ones. And the sizes of these ones are 22 centimetres by 16 centimetres. Brilliant. And oh. I'm, I know, look at that, it's gorgeous. And again, on the back, you've got your all of your labels. So yeah. you've got your provenance there. Now, the, some of them, um, these large ones, tend to come glued in here. I was going like to say, this. this is how they will have been yeah. in the book, because what yeah. they do is they come in a hardback book with the, and the spine would have been mm. along there. Just be careful when you get yours out the bag, because that it's not sharp, but it's... No, it's it, it is glue. It, yes, yeah. it is and what I, And I do. actually don't waste anything. I'll, I'll show you on, on my next one here. Can you see, as I'm doing my applique, I keep it in, because it's quite nice, it's keeping it all together. Yeah, and yeah, I cut okay, out what yeah, I yeah, need. Just cut, your bits out, yes. just cut out the bits. So you're not going to waste anything. I keep all. I you have won't a bag. get that one. Don't no, worry, you, you won't. won't get this that is one. mine. <laughs> this is mine. So you, you're going to get 39 of these larger ones, and you can do so much more with these. That, I bet that, I bet oh, that went to Paul Smith. Do you know what I mean? Paul yeah, Smith did a set of series of suits gorgeous, like that. Just yeah. aren't they? So again, they're assorted. You may get, you know, you, do, you don't know what you're no, getting in the No, no, exactly. And in fairness, we don't know what... I love these ones. These now, that's ones. a bit like the one that was in that bundle, that's right, wasn't it? Yeah. That's right. Look at these. So again, for applique, for patchwork, it just means that this size, you can do, again, a little bit more with them. You've okay. a little bit of a, an option. You could make a lovely quilt. 39 of these. Oh, yeah, yeah, for 17 99 You want to make a fabulous quilt with these, aren't you? Or a, a bag. Yeah, a bag. yeah. I've made a bag, actually, in the pattern that we've got coming up. There's, there's a bag I've made, and that used the small ones. Look. Look. Because you can quilt wool as well. What have you got in there? I've got style filling. Style filling there. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah. I met the lady from uh, Visalina at um, Sewing for Pleasure. Oh, right, she came right. over to introduce yes, herself. Yes. Yeah. Janet. Janet. Exactly. Yes, yep. Yeah. Met so many people, you know, know when you said, that, oh, I've yeah. said that, and I can't remember her name. Now. <gasps> Look. So that's all because you think, oh, well, that would be boring greys and browns and everything. There's oh. all sorts of shades in there, aren't there? And I love mixing and matching with these, I'll be honest with you. I just think they're just absolutely gorgeous. And they're a delight to work with. On your sewing machine, just use your normal stitch. Yeah. If you, if you, and because fabric is fabric, it depends on what you've, you you put behind it. So that's, the bag's got style Yes, it. yes, yeah. And all I did there was I've pieced them together and then I've laid it on the styleville and I've just done my, yeah. my, my um, use it as one stitching. piece of fabric absolutely yeah. yeah so it's entirely up to you how Gorgeous. you want these it. all seem to be 10 ounce ones in this book don't they, they do but you could get one as I say that one's yeah oh, it's it's 10, 10 ounce yeah but yeah I, yeah exactly you think it's random you'll get but they're all they're all beautiful they're yeah. all fabulous so it, okay it's moving it's on to the medium large. size now yeah. Again, this is from... That's mine, do <laughs> Thank you. So this is the medium, so you're going to get a minimum of 39, and these ones are 22 by 11. Yeah. So obviously we're just going down a little yeah. bit. But again, they're very usable. So I did the... No, I did the quilt out of the large one. Yeah. That quilt came out of the large one. Um, the cushion, the star cushion, and the smaller cushion will come out the medium yeah. and the small Lovely. easily. So again... You've got all of Oh, yeah, that's these, on. isn't it? That's, that's the, the size, one that you, yeah, you say, yeah. yeah. And you can see mine was And also, different. look how different they are. Because these, mm -hmm. these could be either or, either or yeah. you know. And they're all totally random. Yeah, they're lovely because I love that one, you see. Mm -hmm. But if you are doing applique, I love doing applique on felt. Now, there's a, a company in America that I've used over the years, and they are so expensive. Mm -hmm. The wool is so yeah. expensive to yeah. buy. I mean, you're talking about then I was buying a tiny little bit, yeah. and it was costing us $25. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So to get these at twelve ninety nine, you have got so much to play with. I know, twelve ninety nine. Yeah. Um, also, this takes me back to when I was in films, and we'd do a James Bond oh. film, or we'd do Notting Hill, and we had to have all the suits made and everything. Right. And we'd go to uh, Savile Row and right. just sit... 
being treated like stars, looking through the books, <laughs> going, oh, what do you think Hugh would like this? Or do you think, you know, who would like, uh, James, would Pierce Brosnan like this one or whatever? It was just, I lo used to love it. Do you know what, what you always, always think of wool as being really thick as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. of course it's not, no. so the summer wind Oh, some drapey, yeah, lovely. Yeah, really drapey and yeah. nice and cool as well, uh, isn't it? My friend Daisy uh, mm -hmm. made her wedding dress out of wool. Did she really? It was really strange when she said, would you do my wedding dress for me? And I said, yeah, yeah, of course I will. And we went to go to the first fitting, she went, this is the fabric I want. And I was like, not silk tulle, I didn't make yeah. it. Anyway, it, it was made by a tailor. And it was exquisite. It was like a cream wool worsted, heavier than that, but yeah. like those ones we had there, yes. uh, completely and utterly fitted. And wow. it looked amazing. Wow. Well, as I say, traditionally, everybody wore wool. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. You, you didn't have all of your, no. your different fabrics. That and people think, well, wool, it's so hot, it's too hot to wear, no. it's too hot to wear. Wool's brilliant because it keeps you warm in the winter and cool, cool in the in summer. Cool in the summer, yeah? exactly. Well, yes. So this so that one there is your twelve ninety nine one. Could make a nice patchwork jacket out of that. You could. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Mm. The sewing bee. Actually, how uh, wide? How wide? I think you could do the sewing bee one out of that one. I would then so. little one. No, I love these ones because these are just little cuties. But this one, I did the circle cushion. Yep. And you'll get. You wouldn't get the stars out of that one. Um, but you could. You could make a smaller. In fact, the bag. I use this size yep. for the bag. But there's nothing to stop you sewing two together to create a bigger piece of fabric and then cut, oh, there you go, and then cut a star out of that. Exactly, yeah. that's right. Now, with some of these, you might get them so they're attached on the original holdle, okay. holdle, hold, screws. I keep the screws as well. Yeah, oh, do you? Um, oh, yeah, yeah, right. I, when I'm putting things together. So th they've all got their labels on. So these ones are about t um, 10 centimetres by 11 centimetres. Yeah. Look at these. And they're just 39, oh, minimum of 39 oh, love for those them. two, aren't they? I haven't seen this one, otherwise this one might have gone. Yeah. <laughs> so you're getting a minimum of 39 swatches in here and for 10.99. Yeah. It's just amazing. Now, you would easily make, because in the pattern, you'd easily get two bags out of this. Mm -hmm. No problem at all. There's a lot of fabric here. Yeah. Just have it in your stash for oh. when you occasionally need something. Oh, look at me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I've got it in my stash, exactly. you see. I, I keep eating into it and thinking, uh, uh, oh, I want to do a little bit of applique. And you might just want a little piece. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, totally. But as I say, applique, wool applique on felt is huge in America. Um, and these are just absolutely perfect. Yeah. And you couldn't go into a shop and buy these. No. These you know, the Holland and Sherry up. No, they're not, no, they don't sell these. You can't oh, buy these. Oh. These are like, we've got these because of, of uh, Kim's contact one, within, yeah. within Savile Row. They only come into one, one place from Savile Row. So there you are, you've got 39. Yeah. And it just... My friend Claire, she makes things from um, Harris Tweed. Right, right? yes. But you have to, she has to buy it from the crofters mm -hmm. and then there's a whole thing about when she makes something it has to come with a little certificate saying which mill it came from right. to keep the tradition yes. of, otherwise yes. people would just be yep. you know and, and it's so it, it's so precise because they they want to keep the, the the businesses open like the little cottage industries up there open and everything and they're just mm -hmm. beautiful and beautiful to work well if you're with working this. on a craft fair or you're working or you're gifting use the holland and sherry labels yeah exactly i would be yeah well, shout it for the up. yeah exactly rooftops because this is savile rule fabric yeah I mean, how many times you get the opportunity? Well, you saw at the beginning, that. seventy-nine pounds. That that first one was. You yeah. know, we're dropping from seventy-nine. Pounds. That's yeah. how much wools in Savile Row will cost yeah. you. Yeah, it's it's an average of around about the hundred and fifty yeah. pound a meter. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. A little bit with my price range, but these. No, no, no. But then, but then, that, if you're having one. a handmade suit, of course. You see, if you think these days, a handmade suit starts at about six or seven thousand mm pounds -hmm. because you're paying for the skill, but you're also paying for top yeah. quality wool. Exactly, things, yeah. that's right. So there you are. So you've got a minimum of thirty-nine of the small swatches so you could your choice is 10 of the big blocks yep. which is a, about half a meter of fabric then you've got your large your medium and your small or you can combine them okay ben wants to do the rulers next rulers right so uh, you've rulers got those there, there but i've got them all out oh there they, the are, there they are so you've got two sets these are hot iron rulers these are brand spanking new right now on the big river yeah these long river. Long river. Long river. Rib, long river. These are considerably more expensive. Oh, we can get that up for you. Yeah. Right. And so, hang on. Which one are you doing first? So, the your large, one. large one here. Yeah. So, these measure at three inches. You see, I've sorted mine out. And you have got five different shapes in there. So, you've got your hexagon. Yeah. 
you have got a circle. Yeah. Now the circles, circles are really hard to do without. Yeah, help. yeah, because you can iron over these. Can't you can you? iron over so these. So they made of that Kevlar-y stuff. It's, oh, these are patented with this company. Oh, so they're we don't know what they're yeah, made of. They're very bendable. Yes. They've actually on they, they, they declare that anybody who copies, they're, they're after them. Oh, yeah, right? yeah. Only, yeah. Only that, because Anna Maria Horner, when she does her quilt kit, sometimes when you, she's got needle yes. turned, she's got things like this that you can iron yeah. over, but they're not as sturdy as this. No, they're, this they're the um, stuff that we sell. Mylar, mylar. mylar. I was going to say, is it the yeah. mylar? Yes. Yeah. So yeah. You, can, you can iron over yeah. mylar. These are great. These are very bendable. So I can iron over these? Oh, they? yes, I'm going to show you. Oh, the yeah, hottest of irons yeah, with all fabrics. So you've got the hexagon, the circle. You've got your equilateral triangle. Yeah. You've got a diamond, and you've got Ooh, the. Oh, good for pentagon. tumbling blocks. Perfect for tumbling blocks. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. So that's in the large. They measure at three inches. These holes here, you could use as a reference with a pen. Yeah. To mark, but I actually, what I was doing, was using them, as I was just pinning through them. To oh, them actually, that's not your price, everyone. That's not your price. I thought that was a good deal. That one. That's not your price. Twenty one ninety nine. Twenty one ninety nine. Twenty one. Five. So you get five. So I, I'm thinking if you do needle turn applique, which yeah. I love doing. You love that word, don't I you? I do. What applique. applique? I love applique. What do you say? Applique. Applique. But no, no, but you tomato, say... tomato, tomato. Eh? Tomato. Yeah, exactly. How do you say tomato? Oh, tomato. Tomato. I say that as well. Anyway, keep going. Yeah. So whether you're using it for um, needle turn, English paper piecing as well, because mm -hmm. otherwise the traditional English paper piecing is you're using your paper. Um, this eliminates that. It just gives a nice, neat, neat turn. Oh, right. you can use or American a, piecing. American be piecing. You don't need any paper at all now, for that, do you? Whilst my stitching wasn't amazing on this because I was doing this in a hurry, when this is the large set. Oh, okay. So all I've done is I've turned it, and just to give you an idea yeah, of the yeah, sizes yeah. when they are they're made up. I'm, I'm holding it up as if the camera's there because yeah. I'm looking. But there you are. So there is your hexagon. Yeah. And there's the hexagon out. So the, the quarter inch seam allowance is is your turn. Is, is your turn in there? So it gives you a, n a lovely neat finish Fabulous. so you can use them on the sewing machine you can use them by, by hand. hand and then the other set so that's the big set 21.99 so the small set has exactly the same oh they're yours I'm thinking no, 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 no. it has exactly the same um, shapes in but these are two inch so there's your hexagon yeah and then you've got your pentagon yeah then you've got your circle then you've got your equilateral triangle and your diamond, diamond. and just to give you an idea here this is the size that these turn out. So is this helpful? Lovely. So there you are. So again, exactly the same, really sturdy. These are the ones I've used. And yeah. I will demonstrate this. And are they twenty one ninety nine as well then, the small ones? Mm -hmm. oh. No, no, we no. want the small, Ben. Come on, keep up, Ben. Come on, keep up, Ben. <laughs> I think the small ones are a little bit, yeah. Here you go. They don't, they're not twenty two eighty four. No. No. Nineteen ninety nine. Nineteen ninety nine. That's brilliant for five of those. Yeah, loved, and I've loved using them as well. Yeah, it's a way forward, particularly when you see how they how easy they are. Fantastic. So now, um, the idea we were going to go through everything before we started, but mm -hmm. Ben, did you say you want to do a demo now, Ben? Do you want me to show you the rulers? Uh, well, no, no. I think I think we should go because because you're going to use a bit of everything, aren't you? Mm, yeah. So let's just, we should but get everything. Everything out, done yeah, and dusted. Perfect. Then we haven't got to worry. You can just get on with your yeah, demo. Then. Perfect. Then you so, Ben, where would you like to go next then? Oh, I've done those as well. Sorry, on the wool. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because wool's a little bit bouncy, I've just gone round and tacked them because I wanted them to stay while I was here. Yeah. But there you are. There's the. That's the pentagon. So it's the small pentagon on the wool. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Next. Next, please. Uh, Savile Row Pattern Collective. I've seen that somewhere. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, is that it or that's it? So that's so when you get it, it'll come in an envelope like oh, that. Oh, okay, but that's yep. what's inside. But inside, you have got there's actually an additional one. You've got four different projects on here. Oh wow! So you've got the um, star cushion, yeah. which is behind us. Yeah. Which is a nice large size cushion. This is gorgeous. This one. Yep. So this is using. So what I've I've wasted none of the Holland and Cherry wool here. Yeah. You see, I can use it for the applique. I've used. All of my small bits yeah. for the corner stones, and then obviously you've got the sashing in between. Okay. So you've got the instructions. And what's this for that. here then? This is just um, a linen fabric. Okay. You could use an Osnaberg, you could use a calico. Yeah. Or got calico coming up in the yeah. next hour. If you had um, anything that's a contrast, yeah. really. To, to so that pattern's in there. That pattern's in there. Lovely. Also, as you're here, the bag. 
that we had oh yeah the bag that we just showed you so yeah. the pattern for the bag is in there as well so again that's using the holland and sherry small squares and i've used the navy and viscose li linen fabric which We've is got coming, coming up, up in a minute as the binding and for the strap. strap and i'm going to show you how to put the d-rings on brilliant on. then you've got the pattern for the quilt which is not which quite finished it? here oh, okay i've got the valise work in progress work in progress because i'm hand quilting this with big stars as you can see. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Um, so it's got the Vlieseline R8. Which I've got there, coming up in a minute. Which we've got on the show. And then I've put a fourth pattern in. What's that on the back? It's then? actually a very large piece of wool that I've got. Oh, OK. We haven't got that. Oh, so well, you haven't got that. that but from. I did acquire that. It was actually being thrown out, would you believe? No. Uh-huh. And I, and I grabbed it. One, two, three. three. And then you've got the heat wrap as well. OK, lovely. Four. So that's your four patterns. In and what's inside in there? there then? So in here are the cherry stones, which we've got which we coming, up coming up in a up. second. So yeah. these are washed, they'll go in the microwave. I said you were no sitting in the green room eating cherries, spitting them in the bag. <laughs> oh, I could do that. We'll do those now then. Yeah. So they're not scented or anything, are no, they? They're no. literally just cherry stones. A, I would never, in, in a heat um, project, I would never put one of the scents in. because. It, oh, it's a heaty one. This is a heat. Right, this sorry. Will, yeah. Or it could go in the freezer as well. Yeah, yeah. But particularly if I was putting something in the microwave, I wouldn't put a scent in. The reason for that is that the oils... Well, yeah, and that means you come to do your lasagna later on. It'd be whatever you're yeah, scented. Yeah, and either. also the oil in the, the scent would actually evaporate. And so, oh, so it's no point so, in even so then, having yeah, it. So, so yes. I, I forgot that was a heaty yeah, one. So that's yeah. the heat one. So you can put that in the um, freezer. You can put these in the freezer or the microwave. Uh, the cherry stones. Okay. So these are all washed. It's environmentally friendly. Ten pounds for the bag. Yeah, get a kilogram, a kilogram in there. A kilo. Yeah. Now remember, P P P is the same. Now, do these come from us or do they come from you? From us. Right, from you. Yes. Yeah. So it's included. So if you came in this morning, you bought the early bird. That comes from our warehouse. If you bought the Gracie, that comes from our J and B warehouse. If you buy anything here, that. But it's still three ninety five for the whole day. You don't pay three ninety five for each delivery. It's three ninety five for the whole day. Excellent. Which is brilliant value. value. So that's the cherry stones for ten pounds. So that was the pattern. So you've got four different designs in the pattern. Brilliant. And then that's what you used to bind it yes. with, was it? Yeah, I used. I use this on the back. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'll be using it on the and I also used it on the background because that's the circle ruler I use there, John. Oh, okay. And I've used the navy um, as my background. Okay, so what is this navy fabric? So then? this is a, a viscose linen fabric. Brilliant. It's very drapeable. Is it viscose and linen mix, or it is, is it a viscose made to look like linen? No, it's a viscose and linen mix. Wow. So it's 150 centimetres wide, perfect right. for dressmaking. And it comes cut? It, it's or... multiple. If you order multiples, it'll be cut as a continuous length. Okay, but it's by the metre rather than the half metre exactly. like we do. So cool. you can have one metre, two metre, three metre, four metre, five metre, six metre, seven metre. You can't have half metres. No, that's right, but it would come as one continuous yep. piece. So it's lovely and cool, very Beautiful. drapeable. Beautiful. Beautiful for dressmaking. Yep. But all I did with the cushion was I put a little bit of interfacing on the back. Yep. And I've used that as the background. And then in the bag, I've used it for the lining without anything in it. So it's lovely and soft. Works beautiful with the Holland and Sherry, as you can see. Yeah. And then all I did for the strap is I've used the Vlieseline Waist Shaper. Oh, and used it that's not your price. I was about to say that's a good price for that, but it's not your price. Go on then. Fourteen ninety nine. That's for a meter, remember. So it's seven fifty for half a meter. Linen and viscose mix. Beautiful it fabric lovely, that one. Really Make sure nice. you check out on that one. We're, we're going to be showing all this for the next this hour and the following hour. So there's no rush, rush. But if anything gets limited, I'll let I'll let you know. Oh, let's talk about the polyester wadding because that was you yes. mentioned that in the in the um, yes the quilt, quilt behind you. So now I'm not a fan of polyester wadding. Neither was I. Okay. Neither was I. But this is gorgeous. I was a quilt snob, yeah. and I am not ashamed to say. I hated polyester wadding and I never ever sold it in the shop until I was introduced to this. This is Vlieseline R80 wadding. Right. It's 100% polyester, but it's recycled. Oh. Now, the thing I had with polyester wadding was it was clicky in my fingers. Yes, and it's catch. If you had and any it catches. Yes, yeah. yeah. This is not clicky. I, I love working with wool wadding, but wool wadding is extremely expensive. Yeah, 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 I love yeah. hand quilting with wool yeah. wadding. This is the closest I've ever come to working with a wool, the equivalent Brilliant. of a wool wadding. wadding. It's not wool. No, it's, it's 150 centimetres wide, so it's very, very light. It's very drapeable. So whether you're using it as a quilt, and this quilt, obviously, you've got your wool properties anyway with the Holland and Sherry. Of course, yeah. That's going to keep you uh, cool or warm. Then you've got this beautiful And if you do wadding. hand quilting, the loft's lovely on exactly, this, Exactly, that's it? right. That I mean, yeah. it, 
the distance, I mean, I haven't done a lot of close hand hand quilting here, but you can see and it's quite a big star. Yeah. The loft is lovely. It's very light. So how do we buy this? So it's by the meter, continuous. but again, it's continuous. So you can have one meter, two meter, three meter, four meter, five meter, six meter, seven meter. So that's 11.99. It's a really good price. And it's 150, it's 152. So it's 150 centimeters wide. Yeah. So that's 60, 60 inches. inches. So it's old fashioned. Yeah, yeah well. absolutely. So there's your one meter piece. So it's a sizable piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you would easily get a lap quilt or if yeah. you're doing smaller projects. But it is absolutely beautiful. And you can see how drapeable yeah, it is. Yeah, but it's got lots of loft, but there's no weight to it at all. No, it's very, very For light. For a meter, this is yeah. really, really it's, light. It's very one. luxurious. Yes, it is. It. That is the word. It yeah. is luxurious. Yeah. And it's not kicky. It isn't. It isn't. As I say, I was, I was the number one would not have polyester out. I would say to myself, why am I making a quilt with 100% cotton fabric? Yeah. I put 100% back, uh, cotton back in. I used to use 100% cotton thread. Why on earth am I putting Putting polyester, polyester in it? Yeah, exactly. in until that was introduced. Brilliant. So where do you want to go next, Ben? Wool pressing mat. So this is... Oh, you've got one there. I've got one there as well. That, it, this is it's mine. It's a new so one. This, you've yeah, got the manky old one. I've got there. the manky one. So this is a wool pressing mat. This is your Savile Row wool. This is yep. what the tailors use. This gets handed down from generation to generation. And once you've used it, you'll realise that you... I mean, excuse the bits because this is a holiday. Oh, that's one that's used, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, your, your pressing is just on a different level So here. let's put that underneath or on top? I have that underneath. This is my iron onto this. So... Yep. Do you have well, a mat underneath it? I wouldn't be doing it on my best table. No, no, All no. All right. Um, what I'll do is I'll put my ironing board up and I'll oh, put it yeah, on so top. Oh, yeah, put it on top of the yeah, ironing board. Yeah, don't go on board. a table. Like, we've got a table here. Yeah. Put it on your ironing board. But if yeah. I'm travelling, I'll use it for travelling because, yeah. look, it just folds up. So if I'm travelling to the workshop and I'll just use it, I've got four layers there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll be able to use it no problem table, at all. Somebody else's table, isn't it? Somebody else's table. No, that's not fair. At uh, uh, 29.99. So it's 100% wool. Yes. Bias bound round the edge. And it is just a game changer with yeah. your, pre your creases, your pressing. With, look, I've got a little bit of iron on there as well. Wax on this one. Yeah. All I do with mine is I get, you know, these lint rollers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A yeah, lint yeah. roller is. I should have possibly done that. Then I've been working with the... Um, yeah, but you're going to work with it again and I'm going to work with it again. You're going to get more fluff on it, yeah. it? just shows it's a work. And actually, bit, I think that's a bit dust off here. I, think I don't think so. Oh, I think it is. I think the dust the clean. Yeah, cat cleaned the tables the other day. <laughs> uh, right, so that's your wool pressing mat. So that can go over there. I'm just working around what I've got on the table. So I've now still got chambray, stripes, threads, uh, an iron-on something. So that, that's an iron-on pressing cloth. It's the most rubbish name ever in the world, oh. right? <laughs> Aren't uh, you an ambassador for Vizalina? I am, yes. Rubbish name. Uh -huh. So what is it? So it's, it is a pressing cloth. So it's an alter... This is mine, again. It's a bit, it's a bit manky. Inside... Yours is very manky. Yeah. Inside... Now, you see, I'd have confused that with a piece of, like, interfacing. It feels like stitch and tear. When you, if you yeah. get this one out of the pack, yes, it feels like yeah. stitch and tear. You get two in the pack. They're 45 centimetres by 60 centimetres. Yeah. Five pound for two. Right, that's number one. Washable. It's not reusable. It's really sturdy. And what I'll be doing with this when I get home, because I was in Islington last week yeah. demonstrating, and somebody cleaned the iron on mine. Oh, nice. Okay, which is fine, yeah. because it protects my iron, it protects the iron and surface, but also it's see-through. So if you're wanting to put interlining or interfacing on anything, straight away, you can see through when it's dry. Ah. When you wet it, it becomes translucent, so it'll give you an Oh, even, so you can wet it as well? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Even distribution of steam yeah. all the way Well, across. I like a muslin, you see. Yes. I like because then you get, you get it really wet, but then the yeah. steam goes everywhere, yeah. doesn't it? So, so what's it made of? What's this here? Oh, God, I have no idea. 70% CV, 30% cellulose. Yeah. yeah. But it is But it, does, it gives you the wrong impression, because on the book here, mm -hmm. it says iron-on, so you think it's going to be a something fusible. that you iron-on, a fusible, yeah. but you actually... Iron on it. It should so be. So you get yeah. your iron and your iron on it. So it's an iron. It's it's a typical German translation, literal. Yeah. It's a pressing cloth, effectively. Two pressing cloths. That's what you need to think of it. And what they've thought is they've put the iron on. Yeah. Yeah. They've literally taken it. They've gone into Google Translation. Yes. They can just, do you know what I mean? And never, yeah. never read. So you iron it. on it. I'll read out the English yeah. thing here. It says uh, cloth for protecting the outer fabric. What? While ironing on fusible interfacings, ideal for preventing glossy spots on heat-sensitive or dark fabrics. So that's what it's for. Mm -hmm. And it's £5 for two. 
So they're both that size, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, and then all you do is when they get a little bit, they make, you may get a little bit of the fusible on, pop them in with your tea towels or your towels. That's all I do with mine. What, they go in the washing machine? Chuck it in the washing machine, then let it dry and start and use it. This has been no. in the washing machine about five or six times. How brilliant. Yeah, yeah, don't tumble dry it. Yes, and it's dry cleanable as well, this one. Yeah. Yep. Imagine going to the dry clean with that. I wonder how they price that one up. <laughs> OK, I've got three more things, four more things left, five more things, six more things left. I've got six more things left. Right, so let's do um, this next then. What's this? So this is a gingham bundle. So you get... To gingham get and stripe. Gingham and stripe. So you're getting five half metres of fabric, 100% cotton. Right. However... Oh. However... They're not 112 centimetres wide, they're 150 centimetres wide. Oh, wow. So you are getting a lot of fabric. So they're all cotton. They're 100% cotton. Now, these ones are already cut, aren't they? Yes, so these will come as a pack. So you're getting half a metre of, of the red gingham, the pink gingham, the green gingham, the black gingham and the pink stripe. The pink stripe. Oh, hang on, there's a however. Not 34.97. Twenty-eight ninety-nine. So we'll one, two, three, four, five. But they're one hundred and fifty centimeters, yeah. sixty inches wide. So that's the, the big difference. So whether you're wanting to make a little flower, I'll put them down there. So yeah. a little flower, or I've done a cushion over here, just to give you a little idea. If I do it that way. So there you are. So there's the red gingham, and I've used all of them on there, and I use the green um, on the bias here. I've used the red on the bias. Um, for the binding. Gorgeous. And then you've used what's coming up next as the front. Which is the chambray, the yeah. little chambray. Oh, you've been very busy with oh, all I'm these, haven't you? Very, I right, so let me, take, <laughs> let me take those away. So you get all five of those, all half a metre of each, uh, 150 centimetres wide. Uh, then we'll put in the chambray. Yes. So this is Tootle Chambray. This is not your ordinary chambray. It's what? Tootle. Tootle, Tootle. the manufacturer. Tootle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tootle. Yeah. Really beautiful. I've made a dress with it as well. So I've used it. For the background, Hang on. The, I think it's... Uh, we both had about each end, that was all. Thing. Yeah. So this so is now. 150 centimetres wide, sold by the metre, will okay. come as a continuous piece if you order multiples. Yeah, so one metre, two metre, three metre, four metre, five metre, no half metres. Should be 24 99 uh, 15 99 eight pounds for half a metre, that's good. It's lovely. It's lovely it's feel to really it. It's a really luxurious one. Yes, total, total chambray. You'll not buy in the shops either. Oh, really? No, no. So I've made a little dress out of it here. Nice. So it's very cool, dead easy to sew. Yeah. But then if you're not a dressmaker, the cushion I made here, I actually just use it as the background. Lovely. So again, you know, think outside the box. Don't think fabric has to be shoehorned in, yes. into a particular craft is it cotton it's cotton yes. yeah 100 percent cotton lovely and soft that one then uh four more things so now what's this shiny thing here so this is called repair and bond so this is going to bond two fabrics together but unlike the back of like your bonder web where it's really um flimsy yeah this isn't it's 150 centimeters wide sold by the meter oh okay so, so this is what we get this we get is actually the piece you get and piece. you're going to never ever waste any piece so whether you whether you're wanting to bond two fabrics together obviously you can do but if you're wanting to do applique and you're just wanting to position your applique pieces rather than using pins yeah then you can just use all your little bits i get a little tub or a little bag keep all your bits and then just, just use little those little blue dots effectively so it's it's absolutely brilliant stuff 5.99 for a meter that's yeah. really good value uh -huh. and look at the size that's a meter so why is it called repair Repair and bond. So say, for example, you had a, a tear in your jeans yeah. and you wanted to put a patch on, then you'll be able to patch the top and the bottom underneath. Oh, do you know what we've been brilliant for? Yeah. So my sister-in-law, Julie, had like, this kind of, uh, not devore, but it was a kind of lacy, see-through-y, yeah. and she caught it on a nail. Now, it was long enough for me to cut a bit off the bottom, uh -huh. but then trying to put it put it on mm -hmm. i tried to stitch it without having any fusible and it was because it yeah. was like this it was flimsy yeah this i could have cut a little piece of this put it between the two fabrics and then yeah. it would because you can't see that no can that's you? right sometimes if you're if you're making a dress or a bodice or something and you have that lace and you don't want it to be shifting around use your repair and bond to position it how brilliant and is this a, is this um oh no i was going to say is this a v-sling but it's not no, it's no, no, your own no no it's um it's, it's, yeah, it's absolutely fab 
six penny memories. Right, now what's this then? Right, you're not going to throw... You see, he's given me the box I'm now not because touching it. the first box he had, right, he decided to split the box and throw them uh, on the The box floor. was already split, thank yes, you very much. Yes, yes, you know, workmen and his tools yeah. and all that. So we've found him a box that isn't broken. Yeah. So in here you have 36 different threads, 100% polyester, and it means if you are wanting to do some hand sewing, top stitch and hand applique, you have just about got every colour that you are going to require in here so how much is on a, how much is on the uh, on the spool I'm, I'm almost sure i'm going to say 100 meters and i'm all, 100 yeah, meters, 100, yeah, meters. Right. 100 meters and they are all made in the uk so it's high spun polyester you know you know yourself have a really good quality thread because as your thread particularly is going through your sewing machine if a thread's not a good quality and it's got those little furry bits all those furry bits are going in that top end of mm -hmm. the machine that you can't get to and it's a false economy. And also, when you're stitching with it, it when it's going through the needle, if it's not good quality, the friction, it, it's going to keep right. breaking. That's right. It? And yeah. a lot of stitching problems, a lot of tension problems is, yes, it could be your needle. Yeah. But more often than not, it's the thread. thread yeah. So this is just a joy to have because you've got all of those. And are they the colours I'm going to get? Or exactly. Are they no, ex you are going to get exactly the same. And I think the box that you'll get is actually more colour coordinated than this. Dropped them on the floor. These have been dropped on the floor yeah, before. Not yes. by me. No, no, not that's in the box. So you've got your blacks, you've got your navies, you've got your beige, you've got your creams. Then you've got the gorgeous uh, neon pinks. You've got a rose pink. You've got a variety of two different green, well, three different greens really. Purples, lilacs, lemons. Fabulous. Absolutely fab. Lovely. Two then, more things then. Uh, iron cleaner, which everybody needs. Everyone needs now, an iron isn't cleaner. Isn't it funny how things like uh, um, a, a, knee, uh, a foot lift on a, on a, a knee lift on a sewing machine I've been sewing for 40 odd years never ever changed yep. this yep. never ever changed it's always no. been exactly no, the same right. thing hasn't that's it that's right and it looks like a lipstick when you get it out and I will do a demonstration later on to clean the iron so you get two in the pack they are absolutely brilliant I have them all the time with me so when you get a little bit of gunge on the um, on your iron plate your sole plate you literally just heat the iron up a little bit what, uh, wipe this on and it will come off immediately. I will show you in a second. Okay, I've got a few messages here. Yeah. Um, Kim, yeah. I thought you were supposed to be retired. You seem to be busier than ever these days from Fiona. Um, <laughs> Michelle says, I got these from the Festival Quilts. I love them. I presume you must be the rulers. Uh, morning, Kim. You're a very busy lady. Saw you at the Stitch Festival, says Julie Vaughan. Um, <laughs> and then there was another one here. Uh, Marcy, oh, Marcy sent in a picture, Ben, of her, the, her chair cover she's made using um, Kim's woolen squares. She'll check it out, check it out yeah. for you now. Oh, so, iron cleaner. Iron cleaners, need to have them. Keep, yeah. keep. When I was at Stitch Festival last week, one of the girls just caught the iron. She was basically, we were talking, she had the iron held on, it singed it, she went into a panic. You're not going to leave that iron for the next person to come along. No, on. no, no. I took this out, cleaned it yeah, straight away. Yeah, you took it out, you didn't do it in the room. Cat, when she cat cleaned an iron out there mm -hmm. in the green room one day, it stunk the whole studio. Oh, out, it shouldn't. It, it shouldn't. So let's, let's do it quite quickly. Oh, so, OK. So what you're going to do, I haven't got a piece of cloth, but I'll just use a bit of fabric. Um, what you're going to do is heat your iron up. Yeah. Don't, the prim irons heat up really quickly. So you don't want it so it's really hot. It's just coming through there warm now. I mean, I don't advocate, you know, be careful that you're no. not burning uh, your hands. Dan, have you got a piece of old fabric there that we could or just a, do this with? Or a piece of a towel, um, what do you call or it? Or a tea towel or something. Or a tissue or something Or blue like cloth. So once it's heated up, then what I do is I turn the iron off. Yeah. All right? Because if you, this is what, what you've done is you've, you've had it on too hot. And then literally you can see there's a little bit there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to move oh, don't do it on your wool mat. It's down there with the fabric. So all you do is wipe it on. And can you see... Could have maybe heated that up a little bit more. Yeah. You're better off being over cautious than under cautious. But I just go around cleaning everybody's irons. And I'll tell you what else <laughs> oh, it does is, you know, um, the old fashioned, what I call the old fashioned coffee plates there. So can you see how it's gone liquid? Yeah. So that bit I had there, I'm just cleaning it off. Look, like that. And that piece of fusible that I had on has completely gone. And I turned, you saw how quickly I turned the iron off. So yep. you don't want to leave your iron. You need to get the, the heat of the iron up just so, and you can see it's transferred the mess. Can you see the black? It's just turned it slightly black on there. So you just want to wipe it on there. Can you see the iron's off at the moment? You can see the muck coming yep. off. The only uh, uh, caveat I would say on it is when you've finished, 
always get your tissue and wipe yeah. this bit here. Yes. Because sometimes, oh, sorry, yeah. master shot. Uh, sometimes a little bit will congeal here, yeah. so wipe there. And also, if you use it as a steam iron, make sure you steam a few times. Because yeah. I once, when I worked in theatre, did that, making a white blouse for Jenny Seagrove, went like that, steamed on it, and all the brown came out of the hole. So before you go back to it, just clean, clean it yeah. through. Yeah. I always advocate that before you're using, you're using your iron again, just have an old piece of calico or yes. a, a an old tea towel and just give it a quick iron over and yeah. just make sure that there's nothing, thanks darling, that there's nothing left on that iron because, like John said, you don't want to transfer that on to... Well, if you've been making a frock and you come to oh, the final pressing... I was going to say, it'll be the final bit that it would yeah. come out on. It wouldn't yeah. be the beginning, would it? And then last thing, last thing, last thing, are oh. your uh, rotary cutter blades. So your rotary cutter blades, I was always told... New project, new blade. Yeah. Okay, and I still I still do that now because there's nothing more frustrating than keep you know chiseling away with your blades. However, once you've changed your blade, then what I do is I use the next slot for cutting wadding and felt, and then when it's not when it's blunt for that, I use it for paper. Okay. So don't think that blades have only got that one use for that project. Always have to. Always have to because if you nick it with a pin or anything, yeah, you, you get two it. there for eleven pounds and ninety nine pence. Okay, I did miss this out. So there's one last thing: rose scented buckwheat. Oh, this is just lovely. So I love it, but it starts my hay fever. Off. Does it? Yeah. So if you basically are wanting to, oh, it's like, oh, it's beautiful. It's that will set me off yeah. now. So you've got it's it's buckwheat, which is a natural product, and then the white bits there are what are carrying the oil, and you've got that. So the buckwheat hasn't got the oil in it, it's no, there's carriers yeah, it's within it. with that, yeah. It's absolutely delightful. So it's an alternative to your lavender sachets. Yes, yes, yeah. Um, use the rose scented. Beautiful, absolutely yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Okay, shut those in there. Right, and we got Marcia's chair and then we'll do, a, we'll do a demo. There's Marcia's chair. Oh, oh my goodness gracious me, that is absolutely beautiful. That is stunning. Isn't, isn't it, it lovely? Absolutely well done, Marcia. How's your Ewan and the boy? He's not a boy anymore. He's a grown man now, isn't he? Who's this one from? Oh, is that waistcoat? I haven't got my glasses on. Oh, I've got my glasses on. Martin and Jill. There it is. Oh, wow. What's this? They've got a little is hat it? to go with it. Yeah, a little waistcoat. And oh, a sorry. Hat. Put it back in. Put it back in. Yeah. That's amazing. Go. I like the fabric yeah. it's laid out. Lovely. On. It's all the dandelion fabric. Lovely. And one more, nice. one more, one more, one more. Oh, another one from Martin and Jill. Oh, there he is. Oh, now I, now I know who it is. Yes, I saw that photograph. Yes. Oh, have you seen that before? Yes, I've seen it on Facebook, yes. So I would suggest that that was the medium, medium or large size box yes. that we had yeah. earlier on would, would make that easily, yes. Make it even easier. If you had the if, large But look. if you tessellated them, then you haven't got any oh, seams, yes. then you haven't got any corners to match. Yeah, absolutely. Right, the large, the large wool back in stock, the one that should be uh, at £79, was it? £17.99. That's the big block. So that's, that's the big, big block there. So I think what we were saying is the large one of these is what the one that would have been used for the yes, waster. Yes, yes. Because there's not enough of that one in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Also 17 99 Right, come on then. You haven't got a few. Kim's doing another hour later on, which will all be demos. But um, should we do a bit of a demo? Because Ben yes. needs to go for a tinkle. Oh, does he bless yeah. him. So what we'll do is we'll use the hot iron ruler, shall we? Shall we? I've yes, got a hot we. iron. We've got a hot iron. There it is. Get the hot iron. So these are an absolute game changer. So obviously, depending, I'm going to use my medium, yep. my medium blocks. You can use it on any fabrics you like. Let's use this one because I like it. And I think I'll do another. And I tend to either keep my stickers, I put them back there, yep. or I have a little book with them on. So what you're going to do is we're working on a seam allowance um, of roughly a quarter of an inch. And I'd rather be over generous than under generous. So is the seam allowance included in the template? It is, yeah. yes, it is. But you're going to cut it, it's typical, like a needle turn applique, you're going to cut it slightly larger. Right. Okay, that wasn't the neatest cutting in the world, but mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. You could start your fabrics if you wanted to. It's entirely up to you. And I'm just going to trim that a wee bit there. It's on the side. So all I'm doing is trimming the fabrics. Now, Depending on the size of these fabrics that I cut off, because it's the wool, it's the Holland and Sherry wool, I will keep them because that could be a leaf or it could be an eye. OK, and we'll just leave that one there. You could use your rotary cutter if you had your board as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So you're going to get your iron on. OK. And the joy of this is that we are just going to fold it over. Oh, sorry, I'll 
the holes. You could, the official instructions are that you would use a pen and um, you could mark your, your reference point. So if you moved, you can go back to it. But I actually found it just as easy just using my ironing board surface or my, the wool mat, which is what I'm using now. Yeah. And it keeps them in place so you can do that. When I'm obviously needing to be there, I'll just move that out of the way. Yeah, of course. And then I'll just pop that over there. And then the iron, the hot iron, as you see, is actually on the ruler here. So I just press it down. And then I like to, I'm a turner. I like yeah, to yeah, turn yeah, yeah, rather yeah. than, um, see, it's so hot. Yeah, but <laughs> watch your fingers, it. watch your fingers. Yeah. Now, it when you come hot. to a co corner like that, you're just going to fold it over. I've got that iron on really hot. Didn't need it quite that hot. I'll just turn it down. The prim irons are vicious when they get hot. Yeah. If it's too hot on one side, then you can always just um, go to the opposite side. So turn it over Which like that. Got pinned, it? Yeah. Again, I like to, to turn. So I'm just going to fold that one in there, fold that round there, and press. Oops, I've just moved it. And that's all you're doing is you're pressing all the way around. Now, the, the wool is a bit bouncier than if, say, I did it with the gingham. I was a little bit mean there. So all you're yeah, doing a bit mean when you see me on that. Yeah, you were holding it up in the air trying to cut it, yeah. there, weren't you? Um, would you use best press? Yes, and at home I was using starch, just good old-fashioned starch. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the best press would be perfect to use. If you've got your, you know, your starch from your supermarket, use that. So then what it's going to do, it's going to give you a lovely shape. And once you've got your shape then, you can either pin that in place, mm -hmm. you could stitch that in place, or... Catherine's bought both sides of these rulers, yeah. she says. They're absolutely brilliant. So there you are. That's it. Got the seam allowance under there. So can you see you've got now a perfect crease? Yeah. So what I've done with these ones is I just tacked them very quickly just because the wool has that little bit more bounce and I of didn't course, use yeah. any starch on it. If I was to use something like your 100% cotton, so this is the gingham fabric, let's do the same. In fact, let's do a circle. circle. The reason I like the circles was, and I've done my circle cushion up there, Needle turning circles. Now, I've had all of the gear, all of the techniques, but to be honest, it, circles are really hard. Yeah. Really hard to, um, to do because more often than not, you get a bumpy edge. Okay. So, what I would say is cut more generously than you, were you know, that you think you, you, yeah. you want. Don't be mean. So, with the circle, the nice thing is you can just and this is using the gingham, you can see, without the starch. You're just pressing that over, oops. And then as I say, I quite like to, um, I like to turn the surface, so if you've got a rotating mat, or you've got the pressing mat, you can see I've got this in, into, um, four. into four, so I'm directly onto the table. And I've used it with the big iron that I have at home as well, but the little, if you have got a little prim iron or a little Oh, the new iron, Aliso iron. I don't know Aliso. where that's gone. Um, I haven't seen I that. I find yet. it. I've oh, have you not seen it? I'll get it for you. No, have you got them in stock still, Ben? I've got a big one at home. We'll get them out. Well, if we have, we'll get you one for the next yeah, hour. Yeah, I'll have a try. So can you see how easy... Oh, oh it's all right. Nearly got me foot. So you haven't got open-toed sandals on, so it's fine. We're not allowed to wear those in the studio, though, are we? No. Well, you see, I'm, a, I'm not a complete rule-breaker, John. <laughs> so can you see how quickly I've done that circle and how perfect that circle is? Yeah. So now I'm ready to, to put that down onto my background and needle turn it. Now, what you can then do... Yeah. ...is if I was wanting to put a shape onto... Where's the... Where's the, the and bond, no, the repairing bond gone. That's not a repair bond, that's your pressing mount, that one. Yeah, yeah. So, a lot of white stuff, isn't it? So, what you could do is if you are wanting to um, use your repairing bond, just pop that on. I've got a great demonstration of the quilt as you go with the repairing Excellent. bond. Excellent, do that in Kim's next yeah. hour. So, I'm just throwing things over there. So, what we can do is rather than having to pin this into place, obviously, I'll just play around with the circle there is I'll just cut a smaller piece of repairing bond so it goes under my circle. I'll be keeping all of these little bits, all right, they go in a bag. Mm -hmm. Pop that under there, pop that into the centre, 
no pins because once what happens is when you have pins your pins distort so yeah pop that under there that is going to keep that in position and now i can go back to my traditional needle turning and needle turn all of that underneath Fab. oh because it's and held in place it. by the little bit in the middle yeah and i don't have to have my my um my needles my pins out so there you are fantastic and look how how gorgeous that circle is as i yeah. say when i've done circles you know i've used it the traditional method where Stop picking I've, your I've, nails, I, no i had a little bit i was had an orange before and i had a little bit of orange down there oh, please. yeah yeah a little bit orange. orange yes um you know where, where you've done it over the card and what yeah, 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 but yeah what happens with anything else is the card or the even the plastic the mylar sometimes well the mylar's not this no. Nowhere near as no. sturdy as that. And, is and it? this is so sturdy and, and will retain the heat. And you can see that the wool obviously takes a little bit more, um, a little bit more pressing, but by just simply tacking it like that, yeah. it means it's right. I think I do it with, with good steam as well, the, the wool, yeah. because yeah. the wool takes it. And if I have my clapper, right. yeah. I'd steam it and then yeah. use my clapper, and then you get a yeah. really, yeah. really yeah. sharp Actually, I was, edge. I was thinking about that the weekend when I was away, thinking if I'd had the clapper, yeah. then you're going to get a lovely edge there as well. Yeah. And then there's the repair and bond has now held that in position. So, so it's I not going to move so anywhere. So it's not going to move anywhere. Fantastic. Right, so Kim will be back in uh, an hour's time uh, with more demonstrations using mm -hmm. the things we've got on the table. Uh, now, the machine that we didn't use this hour um, is the uh, Combi machine, isn't so, it? So this is the um, Brother 2750 sewing machine. It is a combination embroidery and sewing machine. You get two hoops with it. Yeah. The two hoops that you get for your embroidery side of things are these here. So you can see you are working. Shall I put them on the overhead? The, you're working with a yeah. good size. Shall we, I tell you what, because we've got two machines. Mm. Should we have them both out in the next yeah, hour? Yeah, why don't we? talk about whether you get a combi or whether you get a, an embroidery That's machine. right, because the, this particular machine, you know, you're talking about with the um, frame that we had earlier on, you've got a lovely throat space here. Yeah. You haven't got a, a, you've got a nice viewpoint if you're wanting to have the machine on the side as well. Of course, so oh, that's for, something for else to think on the frame. about. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Brilliant. Um, uh, now, Rebecca is going to be using the... The FS250, 250. so the, yeah. She's going to be using that the next hour, so you can see the other brother yeah. machine during the next hour. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you with Brecker in five minutes. You'll see her in an hour. Hi, I'm Becky. I'm the soft craft expert for Crafters Companion. Um, I come from London, and I've been sewing pretty much all my life. I particularly enjoy doing embroidery, I'm really keen on that, but I've, I've, my background is um, dressmaking and also sort of patchwork and quilting. Um, so I do an awful lot of sewing for all sorts of different things. I suppose once you start sewing, you start doing lots of other kinds of sewing. So I particularly like got into needlepoint um, during lockdown, but I suppose embroidery is probably my real passion. My mum was a costume designer, um, so we were always sort of surrounded by bits of fabric and material and ribbons and that kind of thing. And I was always making teddies um, and my doll's clothes as a small child. So it was just something that was quite natural. And in fact, I've got so used to being able to sew, um, it's just become a natural sort of part of what I do. Um, I'm always fiddling around with fabric, as my husband puts it, um, making something new, um, trying something out. Always measure twice, cut once. Um, I'm a great one for not doing that and I always regret it. And making sure that you've got an iron to hand is really important. I use a tiny little, um, sort of almost like a travel iron that I have right next to my desk when I'm working so it doesn't take up too much space. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days.
Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Rebecca Harrison's here. Hello, Rebecca Hello. Harrison. Hello. Uh, she's just taking her sewing machine off the desk. You're not planning on doing any sewing? Oh, it's, well, you know. <laughs> we'll see how it goes, shall we? How are, oh, what's wrong with your voice? You've got the I John know. Scott voice. I've got the John <coughs> Scott voice. I know. I'm absolutely fine. No sore throat, nothing, just... It's tree pollen. I know you were it's saying that this pollen. morning. Well, that, mine was yeah. started two weeks ago, and it came in, had it for four days. I've got a little bit of a niggly, I don't know if it's a hay fever or cold now, yeah. but... Oh, you need to take care of yourself. I will. What happens when you move to the countryside, isn't it? Uh, yeah, you get, yeah. You get everything. Uh, did you stay over last night? Did you drive up this morning? Oh, no, no, I always drive up. Oh. It's only just over an hour. Oh, is it? Yeah. And it was light this morning. So, I know, it was so nice. Trouble is, on Sunday, when the clock gets so used to it being light when we drive in, then on Sunday when we're driving, because I'm, I'm in on Sunday, it'll be dark again. Dark again morning, for a bit, yeah. won't it? Yeah, because the clock's gone yeah. forward, so it's dark when you drive in on yeah. Sunday. Is it Sunday? I always, I never yeah, this Saturday it, night. This Saturday night, night. Good Friday, uh, Easter Saturday. Yeah. Oh, that messes with your <coughs> sleep <coughs> out. Huh? What, what? That messes with your sleep pattern. Oh, tell me when about When you've it. got to be also, up I panic here. that the, I've got a digital clocks, and I think, oh, they'll just jump forward. But I, they don't. Sometimes I, they don't. They don't, do they? you see. So I have, I have about four alarms set around the house. Cause... <laughs> What's the matter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what would have been... <clears throat> yeah, yeah, so what will be six o'clock on Sunday will have been five o'clock, so it'll be darker. Yeah. When you drive, like, okay, I drive into work at half past five, right? You, yeah, no, but you put your clock forward now, which means it's really half past four, so it's dark still. They're trying to tell me it'll be even lighter. No, Not no. yet, it won't. No. No, I heard no. two voices saying it. Anyway, doesn't matter. We've got a fabulous book. Now, you know how much Rebecca and I like a pattern making book, and we love a pattern making book that makes it tote. I trained for years to be a pattern maker. She trained for years, she, the cat's mother, she. trained for years to be a pattern maker. <laughs> then they bring out books like this, which think anybody <laughs> can do it. Anybody should. I've always gone about, oh, I'm a, I'm a pattern cutter. Oh, I'm a pattern cutter. Oh, I'm pat for 15 pounds <laughs> Yes. My two years at Wimbledon School of Art were an awful lot more than £15.99. And yes. then all the years afterwards, because you never, ever stop learning, do you? Never, never. Never, ever stop learning. So I've got a copy. We've only got two copies of this in the whole building. There's more than two, obviously, in stock. This will come... This will come directly from... Uh, the, uh, oh, it's a search press. It'll come directly yeah. from search press. It's not coming from our warehouse. It will come from uh, search press. Right, so shall we have a look at it? 
for 1599. Now, Joe Barnfield and Andrew Richards, I was just having a look to see if there was anything, um, anything in here of where they were from and everything. So um, I'm presuming they went to Bath Spa University and City of Bath College, but I don't know anything else about them because I couldn't see if I'd written a book like this. I'd have a whole I page wrapped. John yeah. Scott was this, that, the other. Yeah, I don't know why there isn't anything at the no, beginning. No, but, but it's anyway, been nice. uh, it's beautiful. It's a lovely book. Now, it's all set out in sections. So you've got the basics. You've got your drafting techniques. You've got your pattern development. You've got your designer maker. Now, there are no patterns in this book. Don't expect at the back. You know, normally goes to the back page. Go full size pattern. No patterns. No patterns. You make your own patterns, but do not be frightened. Do not be frightened. So look, the basics are what tools you need, what the fundamentals of a garment are, and then other considerations that when you're dressmaking, like interfacings, support, layout, cutting, and the order that you make it. Then, about what? Okay, so then you've got drafting techniques here, which is the taking measurement, basic blocks, pattern design essentials, dart, now dart manipulation. We've got an expert of that on here. <laughs> not me, not me, you I'm talking about. Um, creating your own pattern blocks, twirls, fitting, uh, oh, rub off pattern drafting. I don't know what that is. Then you've got your pattern development here. You've got gathering, pleats, sleeves, collars. So basically every single thing you need to know. Pockets. And then at the end here, you've got design development. This is where you go after you know what you're doing. So let me just take you through it. So the first section is all the basics. It's all pink. This is all the markings that you're going to see on a commercial pattern. I don't know, I don't quite know why they're there, because aren't you just making your own pattern? But there's ones you could put on your pattern, I suppose, there. Yeah. So the, Anno uh, the annotations. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, we've got the basics. Here we go. So these are now. We've got one of those. Oh, well, this is slightly different to that one today. We've got a curved ruler today. We haven't got that one in stock at the moment. I haven't seen one of those in years. I don't know quite why. why there's an icing bag. What's number 12? What's number 12? Right. A pattern drill. Oh, it's not an icing bag, it's a pattern drill. To put little holes in your pattern. Tracing wheel, meter stick, set square, tape measure. Number five is a tailor's all, isn't it? Anyway, garment construction equipment, scissors, pins. You see, they've put rotary cutters in. I didn't have rotary cutters when I changed. No. Marking tools, pressing tools. There's your clapper there. Uh, using a sewing machine, different feet. Then you've got fundamentals of a garment. Brilliant, because you've got different types of seams here. Plain seam, edged raw, uh, uh, edge, sorry, edge stitch seam, under stitching, uh, sewing a corner, sewing a curve. So you've got all of that welt seams and where you'd mm. use the welt seam. Uh, it's just got absolutely everything. Then we're on to darts. Now, who thought, who knew there were so many different darts? You know what I mean? They, look, that's for pages on darts, look. Basic, contour, trimming, curved, shaped, tucks, reinforced. They want to fabric considerations like your um, boning, your shoulder pads, your interfacings, uh, grain. That's very important as well. So the whole book <coughs> takes you through every single um, bit that you're going to need, the order of making and if that. We're still in basics. This is still your basic section. Then we're into drafting, which goes into the pale green. Uh, cutting your measurements. Uh, no, <coughs> not taking measurements, not cutting measurements, sorry. Um, all that. Now, uh, my little trick is always tie a piece of elastic or a tape measure around your waist, because your waist is not where you, excuse me, where you think your waist is. Making basic blocks. Oh, do you know what? The reason we've been dithering a little bit is that's not your final price. Uh, no, it's, it's supposed to be 15 99 It says on the back. Okay, 30% off, please. Blimey, that's quite a lot. For a brand new book. £11.19 makes it even sweeter, doesn't it? Makes it even sweeter. Uh, basic blocks there. Now, I don't know about you, I hate the dart here. The only time yeah, I put a dart shoulder. in there... Yeah is when I'm doing a period garment and I'm going to turn it into a seam, which we'll talk about yeah. later on. I don't like a dart there. If I'm going to use a dart at all, I'm going to use it at the side here. But I'm sure it must tell you how to move them. Yeah, it does. It oh, does. it does. But I, does. Would, I would move it as well. Uh, culottes from a skirt block. That's clever, isn't it? Uh, checking the run of a pattern. What does that mean? 
Right. Oh, okay. The run. Make the, the make sure the pattern piece all fit together. Didn't know it was called that. Seam. Now you see, you see. I was asked tonight. Oh, you got a seam allowance on. That's because when I draw up a pattern, the pattern doesn't have seam allowance on. You need to add it on afterwards. Mm. So it, it's got all about that. Oh, here you go. Moving the dart, lowering yeah. the necklines, dart manipulate. Look. Oh, you're a job at this rate. I know. Yeah. I know. <coughs> Look at this. <coughs> dart so manipulation. So underarm dart, shoulder to armhole, shoulder to neckline, shoulder to centre front, French dart. What's a French dart? The French dart goes down, goes from your from your bus point. Yeah. Down down to the. Oh, is that what the, it's called? The side, yeah. I never it knew usually, that. It usually goes over your um, your waist and your hip. Yes, yeah. It gives it slight shaping. Yeah, yeah. Didn't know. I knew know the dart. Just didn't you know that that's what it was called. Okay. Um, anyways, look at this. All of these. All of these. Mm. Uh, got a price comparison here. Uh, Waterstones is fifteen ninety nine, which is how much it's meant to be. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, easy fit garment or over garment. So it's got ideas in here. It just doesn't have any pattern patterns. You know what I mean? There's no actual paper patterns, but it tells you how to draw up. There you go. I always say make a twelve, don't I? Yeah. Fitting principles, pattern adjustment. Uh, beautiful. Look at all of these. There's so much now. Uh, he go to his problems fitting. Tight armholes, large armholes, gaping armholes, incorrect tolerance, not enough crown height, too much crown height, uh, large arm, too much. I mean, oh my Slides. word. This is my whole training in one book, this. Yeah. Because yeah. normally on a pattern book, it then doesn't tell you about the fit and how to then change it if the fit's no. wrong, does it? No. Uh, now, rub off pattern drafting. So, although it's not wildly publicised, rub off pattern drafting, which is pattern tracing, tracing. So, you're tracing around a, an original. Oh, pattern. right. I've got a funny story to tell you about this, right? We were given, I didn't know it was called rub off pattern. No, but I, I, that feels like an American yes, term yeah. to me. Oh, they're in Bath, though. Is it? Anyway. They're in Bath, I know. Uh, so, when we're in our second year at Wimbledon School of Art, no, no, it must have been our first year. I could just visualise in the room we're in. And uh, we were given costumes from the v and and they said, you? you know, so real proper, proper costumes from their archives. Wow. Uh, take a pattern from these original costumes, you see. So we were all given, like, Edwardian and Victoria. They won't have been their best ones. They'll have been ones they had in the back room, yeah. I think. So we all sat there, and we all did our, went very quiet for the whole day, drawing up our patterns. And what you do is you overlay whatever you're going to measure and things like that. You don't touch the garment. At the end of the day, there's a girl called Gillian. And she went to the front and she said, so what do I do with all these bits now? She'd only taken a whole uh, Edwardian waterfall walking skirt to pieces, traced around it with a tracing wheel for her pattern pieces, and then had this Edwardian skirt in pieces. <laughs> That's exactly what the teacher did. The teacher was like, how? <coughs> Didn't she spot her before she no. took the whole thing apart? No, I know. She's too busy at the front having a fang. <laughs> so that was the kind of time. God. Anyway, draping method. Uh, just for, this is a. Br Can I just say I hadn't looked through this properly because we hadn't got one here for me to take home and look at. This is brilliant. This book is absolutely. Yeah. I have. Do you agree? This is one of the best. I, I, I really like this book. Books I, of this ilk. Absolutely. Of drawing up yeah. your own patterns and it's things like so that. It's so good. It is fantastic because then you get to pattern development. And you've got all the things you might need to talk about. Volume, gathering, pleats, sleeves, collars, waistband, cuffs. In fact, somebody, I did a, 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 a live sew along on my, uh, my platform show last week with Sandy Chocolate Chip Cookie. And we said during it, well, if you um, can think of anything you'd like us to do, and the amount of people that said waistbands and cuffs, um, the trouble is we'd have to, well, I suppose I could use this book and we could draw our own pattern, do pat one pattern. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Um, how brilliant is that? And I'm not even, I don't think I'm even halfway through the book yet. I'm going to no. um, skip forward now because obviously Rebecca's here to, to uh, show us how to do different things. But look, this is just, oh, that's nice. Cape with full fluted hem. That's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Um, there's so much in here. I mean, so much. This is really, this is like my two years training in one book. We didn't do zips though. Can't do a zip to save my life. No, well, no. I can now, but I couldn't then. No, I don't like them either. No. no. Well, it, if you think of period costumes, 
Most yeah. period clothing didn't have zips in them. No. And you'd never, ever, ever use a zip for a quick change. Because if you're doing a quick change with an action, you pull the zip up like they caught, and you cut the, caught the skin of their, their flesh. Yes, exactly. And the zip, they've got to then do a whole scene with their skin stuck in a zip, haven't they? Yeah. And there'll be blood everywhere. Um, linings, facings, finishings. The, I, I, I'm, I'm not just saying this for you to buy the book, but if you're interested... Julie Vaughan, you'd love this book. Oh, my word. There's, uh, even simple patch pockets look... They take it to patch pocket, lined patch pocket, curved patch pocket, patch pocket with flap, and then you move to the pockets in the side seams. It's got, I, there's, there's going to be very little that you'll need after having this book. Mm. That is fantastic. Oh. I think they're obviously lecturers. Yes, I think they must be at the back, it says that they, um, you know, Oh, thank, thank yous to their colleagues at yes. Bath Spa University in the city of Bath College. So that is probably why it's so well done. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's obviously that, done. Yes, you can it's really see, can't done you? by somebody who knows exactly yeah. what they're talking about. Yeah. Just a shame it doesn't give us any information on them. I know it? it would be nice, wouldn't it? And then, of course, a in bit your of content a background. or your index at the back, everything you could possibly eat and collars, a large abdomen, large armholes, large arm. That's all me. Uh, but do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. It is. I need James to message in, tell us all about him, really, about the two people, don't we? Anyway, that's the book, Eleven Ninety Nine, meant to be fifteen ninety nine. We've launched it at eleven nine. No, not eleven ninety nine. Eleven nineteen. Sorry, eleven nineteen. That's brilliant. That's Supposed to be fifteen ninety nine. It is fifteen ninety nine at Waterstone. Thanks, Dan. Uh, that is a brilliant, 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 brilliant price. I would say it's brilliant. Oh, I was thinking the same thing, John. Uh, oh, so you know Joe Barnfield. Uh, Julie Vaughan, who I just said this would be brilliant for her, she said Joe Barnfield books are, are brilliant, so maybe there's other... Oh, so she's got... She's got so I think it's a girl Joe, because there's no yes. E on the end no. of the show. So it must be a girl Joe and a boy, Andrew, I'm presuming. I know you can't make up presumptions. Uh, Gemma's mum's watching in Torquay. Hello, Pauline. Right, so that's the book. That's the book. Let me just tell you what else I've got here, and then we'll go over to you and do that, if that's right. Mm -hmm. You need calico for a twirl. You definitely need calico for a twirl. Say that again. Okay, so I've got the bolt. I've got the bolt here. Uh, £24.50, you're saving. It's £124.99. It's on two-way split pay. You're getting... 25 metres in it. Now, I know you're thinking, well, I'll never get through 25 metres. Once you start making <laughs> twirls, once you start using it to back your wall hangings, once you start using it for cross-stitch, once you start hanging it for dyeing and printing and everything, you will get to it. And it's not this width. It's twice this width. It's twice... Oh, hang on, let me get in the shot. Twice that width, because it's a fold there. Fold there. I love calico. A calico is so versatile, I can't tell you. You can make dresses out of it and everything if you wanted to. It dyes up beautifully as well. Uh, 124.99. You're saving 24 pound 50. Split pay 62.49. They're already selling. They're already going. However, we haven't had this for a while. Uh, calico by the half meter. So now this is the same calico as on the bolt. But if you don't want to buy 25 meters of it, uh, it is more affordable. It works out. I think it's 2.49. Uh, why is this 2.99? I thought calico was 3.49 now. Mm, thought so. Oh, it's lovely. I love the smell. Anyway, two ninety nine for half a metre. That one works out, I think, at two forty nine and a half metre, something like that. But it's more affordable to buy it on the bolt. If you, not everyone wants. No one's got the room for twenty five metres, have they? So this is two ninety nine for half a metre. You buy it if you buy five metres. You buy ten units. Loads. Of, I, I'm sure it's meant to be more expensive than that. I'm sure it's supposed to be more expensive than that. No, no, it's not, it's not, uh, it's not Ben, it's not Ben, it's not Ben. He does what he's told, most of the time. Two, nine, let me hold it up for you. I love calico. It's because it, it, it brings back, so, look how wide it is, 60 inches wide. Brings back so many memories. In fact, it's really weird. Something happened yesterday. I must have heard a tune on the radio or something like that. Oh, no, I know what it was. This morning when I left the house, I picked my bag up and I suddenly realised that it was the same bag, not the same bag, but the same, exactly the same style and colour bag, that when I left Wimbledon and moved back home, uh, I, there was a story that I'd left it on a... Uh, anyway, it's exact, and I suddenly thought, blimey, that was 1983. 
Oh. I know, it's 2024 now, and it's like, kind of like, oh my goodness. And I just, basically, I was leaving to go. My brother came to pick me up in a van. We packed the van. And as I was leaving, I just happened to look back through the bay windows. Nobody had left in the house. The house was completely empty. And um, I was going to slam the door and leave. And my bag was still on the floor in the lounge. So if I hadn't looked back, I'd have locked myself out. <laughs> then all my stuff would have been left in the house. Oh. But I remember this green bag being on the floor in the lounge of the Polly's house and everything. And it was just like, oh, that was 1983. Where's the time Where's gone? Where's the time gone? I was young and had it all to come then. Now I'm old and still got it all to come. Two ninety nine. Oh, right, now you'll need one of these, a curve ruler. <laughs> this is lovely. Are we going to use... Oh, have you, no, you've got the different one. No, I've got... I've, this is my one. Yeah, but, well, that's um, one that but I that, I think that one's brilliant. Oh, OK, brilliant. I've Actually. got that one that you've got there. Uh, yeah. Uh, nine ninety nine. That's only nine ninety nine. It's in inches and in centimetres... Because I still work in inches. It's really funny, isn't it? Nine ninety nine. Uh, oh, uh, Joe Barnfield is a technical illustrator and professional designer and constructionist. Oh, there you go. Uh, jo yeah, this is, this is from. Uh, um, it's on the it's on the Search Press website. This Joe has worked in higher education for many years and shared her expertise as a lecturer in fashion design at Bath Spa University before teaching in a current role at the University of West of England. Ooh, where's that? Joe has worked for Yasmin Demilo, Neurotica, and HFH Clothing, and has co-authored two books. Yeah. Thank you. That's, that's in University of West of England. Is in Bristol. It's my daughter's there. Oh, is she? At the moment. Doing fashion design. No, acting and creative writing. Oh, <sighs> she enjoying it? Yes, yeah, she she's start, where no, are we? No, she finishes to? soon. Oh my word! How old is she then? She'll be uh, twenty-two in July. <gasps> You've got a 22-year-old child. Nearly, yeah, 21, yeah. Frightening. Very frightening. <laughs> anyway, uh, I've got chalk, old-fashioned chalk. There you go. We get three pieces in there, red, white, and blue. Three ninety-nine. £3.99. Lovely. Then we've got something that I couldn't live without, my tracing wheel. Mine's a little bit different. Mine and mine. Yeah, mine's identical to yours, yeah. Lethal. £2.49, tracing wheel. Uh, now, we haven't got the old-fashioned carbon paper. We have got the char copy paper today, uh, which is the same thing. But it was, this was uh, made for um, Sashko originally, the char copy paper. You get blue, green, red, white, yellow, so you can tra trace on, use your tracing wheel to trace all your markings onto your fabric. Three nine ten. Oh, I'm very sniffly today. I do apologise. Do you want a tissue? I've got the hanky here. When we go over to you now, I'm going to give my nose a good blow and then I'll be all right. Right, now, somebody messaged me about these the other day and said, should I buy them? And I said, yes, buy them. And they bought them and they loved them. I could remember, wish I could remember the name. Right, this is the one I would go for. This is the size I would go for. The, this is the Mundal 10-inch. This is the Mundal 10-inch. Only because... I'm going to blow my nose while you're looking at it, sorry. Makes out. <laughs> there you go. Um, only, I'd only say that because I, I've got the 12-inch ones as well, but if you're using them every single day, then I think the 10-inch one, if you're not... If, and if you're a tailor in Savile Row, then you get these, right, the 12-inch ones. But if you're every day, I would always say go for these, 54 99 Now, I know it seems a lot of money for a pair of scissors, I bought my, my equivalent of these, mine aren't Mundal, but mine are Wilkinson Sword Drive. 1981 I bought mine, and they're still going strong. And when did you get yours? Have you got some heavy? Um, I, no, I, well, I haven't... Um, Not brought them with you today? No, I've got my Friscard. Friscard, oh, you see, well, Friscards are Friscards. Wilkinson Sword. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I've had those a while. These are like, you, when you first pick them up, you think, oh, mm. these are too heavy. I'm not going to cut, I'm going to cut with these. The balance is brilliant. The cut is brilliant. Look after them. Keep the box. Keep them in the box. Don't throw the box away. Don't just throw them in your drawer. Do not let anybody else touch these scissors. And I also I say that because if you people cut string or paper with them, they're going to blunt them. But you know what? When Dulcie and I worked together, we didn't touch each other's cutting shears because I could tell 
if she'd been, even if she was cutting fabric with it, they get used to your gait, don't they? I yeah. call it the gait, I don't know if that's the right word for it. They get used to your hand and the way you cut. And if as soon as someone else uses them, they go, ooh, this is, ooh, this is a bit weird. Yeah. And you can tell, you can tell. These are fantastic. Now, if somebody's buying them for you as a present, you're thinking, what's such an expensive present? Okay, go to the supermarket, right? What was it recently? Mother's Day recently, right? How, Mother and Mother and Sunday, how much were the flowers in a supermarket? How much were those little ch ch um, pink champagne truffles? Delicious. Champagne truffles will last a day. Actually, actually, I bought four Easter eggs for my four, my godchildren, right? That's how much they've cost me. Just, just a little bit less than that. And they weren't anything posh. They weren't anything posh. They were just from Tesco's. They were just from Tesco's, yeah. right? And, and that's scissors. how much I paid for four each. Just a little bit less than that, but only a little bit for four decent. I didn't buy your cheap two ninety nine ones, but I bought nice ones. But not the not the ones on the top shelf, not the top of the range one. I nearly picked one off for me, right? They had so this was in Tesco's in Waitrose. They had soya milk ones, uh, Easter really? eggs, soya milk. They were like sixteen pounds or something. I was like, wow. oh, I can't treat myself to that. But anyway, that's <coughs> what I'm saying is, how much would it cost if you bought somebody a gift? If you club together and buy somebody a present, flowers, chocolates, and a little scarf, you'll pay way more than fifty four ninety nine easily. That's the ten inch. They do come in the twelve inch as well. And then we'll get on with a bit of a demo. Oh no, I've got Taylor's hams here. Sorry, I forgot those. There's your twelve incher. Only buy these. I'm just. I don't. I'm not being negative. But only buy these if you're a serious... I'd buy them if you're a serious dressmaker or, it, or if it was your profession. I wouldn't buy those on a whim. Try the 10-inch ones first, but then move to the 12-inch if you want them. They cut beautifully, but I, even I still, after all these years, prefer my 10-inch to my 12-inch. 59.99. 59.99. Oh, Trudels. Morning, John, Rebecca and team. Has Rebecca considered doing a pattern-making book herself? Oh, <gasps> Trudels. Don't open that can of worms. Do not open that can of worms. Love your shirt. Yes. Great show. Love Trudel. <laughs> what day is it? No, it's all right. It's not Trudel's birthday yet. I've been warned when it's her birthday. I think it's Thursday. Is it your birthday on Thursday, Trudel? Oh, Friday. Oh, I can't remember now. Anyway, <laughs> Taylor's ham. It's good Friday on Friday. Yes. Did you? Oh, I'll teach you. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, really early this year. Really early this year. Uh, 11 99 for your Taylor's ham. This is a must-have, this is. It is. Uh, Adam Brooks was in the other day and he brought his own version in. And it was the one with the blue tartan. I was like, you can't wear that. Use that. And then I worked with Sandy last week. She brought exactly the same blue tartan. Oh, really? Right what is, is that? Uh, I don't know what make it was. No. I made them put it away. Anyway, 11 99 That's your Taylor's ham. And then your Taylor's sausage. Your Taylor's roll. Oh, it's Friday. Good Friday. Trudy's birthday's Friday. Ben got married on Good Friday to his uh, first wife. Oh. <laughs> what are you laughing bringing, about? Why are you bringing that up? He's, he mentioned Oh, he me. said it. Right. I wouldn't mention it otherwise, no. <laughs> anyway, 8 99 How could you break up before the wedding? Beautiful. John, I've got the Wilkins scissors. They must be at least 20 years old and still going strong, says Shirley. See, Shirley? My, 1981, I bought mine. And it was, I remember my mum and dad, when I went to women's school, like, so I've got to buy these, to buy you Janet Arnold, yeah. and, and a pair of scissors. And then even in those days, they were about 30 pounds. And my mum and dad were like, that's not even a week shopping. Uh, Dulcie and I used to go to the Safeways yeah. when I was at Wimbledon. And I'd buy my, my whole week's food shopping and it never went above seven pounds. I, I, I and I used to smoke in those days. That included my cigarettes. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Anyway, uh, let's get on. Couldn't resist the book. I've already got lots of books, but this seems more thorough and I can't wait to get it, says Christine. Christine, it is a fantastic book. I, yeah. Right. You okay. won't regret it. Shall we get on? So what, what, did we, what would we learn from this book then? Okay. So, what, well, the, f the first thing is about the measurements and, and the diagram of the measurements, I just think is, is really well done right. compared to other books yep. that I've seen. Um, the only thing is, I don't know why they never have a uh, nape to waist on the front. How weird! No, I don't. I don't know any books that do they. They do it for the back, but not the front. Yeah, yeah, really but we important. we should do a book. We should do a collaboration. Yes, we should. Um, because um, 
I think your, your oh, I'm sorry to keep going on about my thing, but I think your um, Meet the Designer came out this week because everybody's saying, we, we need to go to angels and look around angels. We need yeah. to see some of the costumes you both made and things yeah. like that. Um, but that's another thing, that's another thing. I think to do the basic block that I learned how to do, because when we learned how to do basic blocks, it's like a mathematical equation it, thing, it isn't is, it? Yeah. And we needed that measurement to actually be able to draw the block. But obviously yeah. you don't need it on this one. Yeah. Or any. Well, any I, I, I mean, I just think, it's a good thing to do. You're doing your nape to waist on your back, on the back, on here. So just just do it at the front. So as well. if, if you measure nape to waist is obvious at the back because you've got the nape of your neck there to your natural yeah, waistline. Yeah. How would you do the nape to front waist? Then? So so your nape is so on your uh, on your neck here. The bit that goes in, you'll be able. Oh, hang to on, you just look at Rebecca, not me. Yeah. There you go. Don't uh, don't obviously poke there. But you're, there's a li there's a little. It's a little bit there that goes, just dips in. Yeah. So if you place your tape measure there. Watch your microphone. Should I will. So if you place your your tape measure there and go down to your weight, your weight, your natural waist. Right. Okay. Like John was saying, put put a piece of elastic or a piece of ribbon or something around your waist. Um, so make sure that you only measure down to that yeah. point. So so when I waist. say that, you put a piece of elastic around your waist and you knot it. Then don't measure straight away. Move around, go make yourself a cup of tea, yeah. do something. The, the, the elastic will find your natural waistline yeah. and it won't be where you think it is because we wear trousers and dresses and skirts and everything completely our off hits, our natural waistlines now. Yeah. Also, you'll be shocked because uh, if I buy a pair of jeans, mm. I buy 36 inch waist jeans, right? My waist, my natural waist is something like 43 because it's not where you think it's going to be. But, and don't be shocked by it, don't be frightened because you think, oh, I'm only a 36 way, I'm only a 36 way. Yeah. The manu fashion manufacturers, it's the way to sell more, isn't it? Going, oh, you're only 36, actually. For, but where we wear things now, nobody wears anything on their work. No. I mean, there's a fashion for girls, again, to wear the high-waisted jeans and things. Yes. That's the only thing I see at the moment that goes to your natural waist. So it's really important yeah. to get your natural waistline. It is, definitely. Um, so yeah, but it's just all these measurements here. And then um, they've placed, so they have in the book, you have these blocks. So you've got your sleeve block, your dress blocks, your skirt block. You see, there. that's all you need, isn't it? Yeah. That's all, once you you've everything got that sorted, that. everything can come Everything from that. From that. So, um, so th these measurements here correspond with these different lines. So you've got, you've, you've got uh, three different colors there, your blue, your red, your orange. And that corresponds with your small, medium, large that they've got in here. Right. So you um, you draft that out, and then obviously then place your measurements onto onto that. So there's there's a section here where you can put in your own measurements. Your own measurements. Oh, photocopy here. that. Don't ruin yeah. your book. Yeah, yeah. Don't ruin your book. Um, but you can you can place that in there, and then the the block. So so as John was saying. There isn't any physical patterns in the back of this. But I think that's a good thing, actually. Yeah. I think that's a good thing to not have those. So what you've, what you've got to do is trace um, these out. So what I would suggest so, is... So do you trace them out to your measurements? Do you trace them out to well, their I would, measurements? Well, I would trace... Personally, yeah. I would trace them to what you have here. So, so find what's nearest, nearest to, you. to your measurement and, um, uh, you know, whatever it fits you the best. And then use that either small, medium or large, trace that out. And then you can go in and alter. And tweak it. And tweak so would it. you go bigger or small? I would go bigger. Yeah. Um, so, so whatever's the biggest point, be that your bust, your waist, your hips, go for, the, go for the, that size. Um, for everything, and then you can start taking in and okay. taking off. So I've got, um, the, I've, I've taken the measurements. So say I'm doing the medium one. Yeah. Uh, hang, what page? What book page? What page are them? So we are on fifty, fifty and fifty-one. Okay, right. So I'll look your, at this now. It's your basic block. Yes. Yeah. The basic block. So I'm going to take the uh, medium, the medium one, right? So I'm going to pretend my bust is thirty-four and a half, my waist is twenty-six and three quarters, and my hip is thirty-one and a half. Yeah. So that's the. Did you say green was green? Uh, the the medium purple. is like a purple. It's right. purple, isn't it? Yeah. So I get my piece of pattern paper now. Sadly, we haven't got any pattern paper today, but also the pattern paper that we use 
we have the plain one. If you can get the dot and cross one, like uh, Rebecca's got, mm. please get the dot and cross one because yeah. that's essential. Not essential, but it will make this even it'll make, easier. Yeah, it'll yeah. make it a bit easier. It's not impossible no, 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 on no. plain um, paper. It's just that it, it gives you a guide so that you know that you've got everything at the, you know, that's a 90 degree angle yeah. and you know that you've got that there. So, so you, you take the purple line here and if I did, uh, you draw your centre back line in, I'm presuming. I don't want to jump in. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so do, do your, so if you're starting with um, your centre back you or your centre no, front no, no. back block, yeah. um, draw, draw in that central line. Yeah, because um, that's going to be the same for everyone. Yeah, that's, that's going to be the same. And then, and then everything is coming off that. Yeah. So then what you do is, so from here, so each square in here is an inch or 2.5 centimetres, whichever you work in inches or yeah. centimetres. So all you've got to do is count... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's if we're doing a medium. Yeah. And then you've got like a quarter of an inch there, a quarter of an inch there. So that makes it up to half. Yeah. I don't know why on here they didn't start it's, it on that line. Yes. Because none of the others are on a line, yeah, aren't they? I don't know why they didn't. They haven't done that. But anyway. Oh, because they started the blue one on the line. If you look at the blue one, the small one. It it's started. Just, the... It's just off, though. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's just off. They're all just off. Oh, okay. Um, but so, so yeah. So if you count how many you need, yeah, and then get you get your tape measure. Oh, do you mean the one going down? Yeah, across here at the hip. Okay, because the one going down's not on the line either. No, right? no, line no, no. That's what I mean. The yeah. centre front. Yeah. I would. I would have. I've put mine on. Oh, so directly on the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so it's so it's a, I don't know if you can see that. So it's a, like a, a bit closer. A tiny Sorry. little bit there. Yeah. Which is is probably a bit easier for us to go right. That's a quarter of an inch. Yes. And that that side is a quarter of an inch. Yeah. But um, so, but but don't don't get fixated on that. No. Because the thing is, once once you've drafted that out and you've cut it out in your calico and you and you you make up your toile it's, it's actually i find it much easier to make my amendments on my toile well, rather than than to do it on here yeah. but but once you've once you've done that and you and you know that you've perhaps got to take in a little bit or you've got to let out a little bit you can then come back to your paper pattern yeah, yeah. and put those in but your calico keep that so once you've made all the amendments keep that um, because you know that, that that fits you perfectly yeah. as you'll go um, to. The other thing is, I say, it makes, if you can get dot and cross paper, because all the marks yeah. on the paper are an inch, like Rebecca said, it's not impossible. All you'll have to do is measure it and go, oh, that's 30 and a half or whatever it is. Yeah. And you just measure 30 and a half. The good thing about dot and cross is sometimes we can have the ruler a little bit off or not quite on a right angle and things like that, which is where the dot and cross is better. But you can do it on, on um, just plain paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it's so it's it's just a matter of counting, counting the squares which you know are going to be your inch. Yeah. Um, and and then plotting everything else. Um, so it 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 it's um. It may seem a little bit daunting if you've never done it before, but honestly, once you get started, um, you'll be away. And then once you've got it all down on your paper. Um, you can see exactly what what you're doing. Yeah. So so once um, once I'd done this uh, shoulder dart here, you can see that I folded. So I went in and just folded that dart over um, because I just wanted to make sure that it corresponded. Did paper all go? Just wanted to make sure that it corresponded over to where I'd started the shoulder on this yes, side. Yeah. And if it doesn't, just go in with your ruler and, um, and just true that up so that when you come to cut it out and make it up, there's no discrepancy there. Yeah. And also, when, when, when you come to cut this out, fold this dart so that when you cut through there, you get the right... So as you can see here, let me move these out of the way so you can see on the table. So if you have a look there, so 
So if you look at the top here, it doesn't just go straight across. Yeah. You've got, you've got this shape, which obviously when you sew this, then all of this is then in that shoulder Yeah, it seam. comes a straight line. Yeah, so if you do that as a straight line, when, when, you, when you do your dart, you're going to have a raw edge that is coming across. Um, so if you want, you know, you want to overlock or, or finish your, the, um, the edges off, you, you're going to have this that's showing. Mm -hmm. So just make sure, and the same with the bottom as well, fold your dart and just make sure that you get that V in there. Yeah. And then everything will sit nicely. Um, and then the other thing to oh, say... Oh, yeah, because you've cut, your, cut yours off at the waist, haven't you? I've done, I've done this one for, at the waist. Yeah. So this is, this is obviously a skirt or a jacket. Um, the other thing to show you is... So when you've traced this off... So in the book, these darts come at, at the bus point. You don't want your dart to finish exactly on your bus point, because otherwise you'll have a nice pointy. Well, you might want a pointy. Yeah, you might want but, a Madonna but, lucky day. But you might, you might want. So, so what I've done here is, if I go over this in black, so this is when, so I've retraced this off and um, cut it off at the waist. So this is, this is um, a bodice now. So that is the original dart there going into there. Yeah. So if I get a red, I mean, you can see where I've, where I've um, done my tracing wheel. So you come in, um, I always come in about an inch. Yes, so that point, that you're, the point that your left hand is pointing at the moment is your actual bus point. That's the bus point, is. yeah. You don't want the dart finish on the nipples, so yeah. you're lifting it slightly. Yeah, so you're lifting. So it's just, it's just so, it's a much smoother um, shape yeah. going, o going over your bust. Um, so yeah, just bring it in um, an inch. And then just uh, draw your dart back in and join it up to the original dart. Mm -hmm. uh, if you, you do that straight away, I mean, actually, I don't. I don't think they say. Do they say that in here? I'm just trying to. Maybe they do. I'm sure they do. <gasps> oh. Oh. Do I fight? Who's on it? Is it Wayne or is it Toby? Oh, yeah, yeah, they have done. They've told you to, to um, move the darts in there, yeah. No one thing they've missed out on this but book. But do it first. Full bust adjustment. Yeah. See, we'd have to have that in ours. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, full bust adjustment is, um, yeah, that's, I mean, that's, yeah. I mean, yeah. We, well, well that's, a, that's a whole show. It's oh, no, 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 exactly. Um, but it's something that I, if yes. I was writing this book, it would have been the first thing. Yes, the first yeah, thing a full in. bust yeah. adjustment yeah. is really... Um, Unless they've got another book called the Full Bust. Well, they might, well, ex yeah, well exactly. They yeah. may have, mightn't they? They may, they may well do. So yeah. it tells you to raise that bust start. So yeah, so raise, so raise that bust start, and also lower this one as well at the waist, if you, um, because obviously you don't want that one going right up to the. So if they got the on the actual well. block, they meet. They meet on so the block. So you've got the one coming from the shoulder going up an inch, and the one yeah. coming up from the waist going down an yeah. inch. Yeah. 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 So they meet. But I, I mean, um, we've already said, haven't we? What I would do is move this dart to... And would you do that side. before you've raised it and lowered it or after you've raised and lowered it? Yeah, yeah no, I'd do, I do it before. So the because full, you do it because at the if full... Because that, if that is your bus point then... Yeah. So because all, all you will do is... So if we move that... So say we're going to have it... Coming out there, maybe a bit lower. So I would, that's, that's my central line there. So what, what you do is very easy. So open, cut down here, open it up. And then you're going to fold this dart. A nice edge. Fold that one over. Yeah. And the other make one automatically opens. Open. So <laughs> make sure you get an, that you you're right at the at the point there. Yeah. And then that one actually opens. So what you've done is this is this is exactly the same measurement 
that is in this shoulder dart. But, but what you're doing there is, so you've got now, you've got no dart coming in here. So this is now your, your shoulder seam here. Yeah. And you will come down and curve. And then this then becomes your dart. So if you put, put it behind... This is a bit of scrap. Paper. Would you Let's move it on that here. dart sideways by an inch now then? Because it's still going to your bust point, isn't it? Yes. So what I would do... So if you put that behind... Um, a piece of paper. Yeah. Stick that down. Yeah. And then you would, yeah, come in an inch from your bust point. Yeah. Like so. And then you would redraw. See, that's moved now. Yeah. <laughs> so you'd, uh, you'd, you'd, you'd stick that down. Yeah, it's moving all it's over. It's moving all the time. You know, but you, you know what I mean. So, um, yeah, let's put that there. Uh, Jean said, I'm enjoying watching today and it's great to see an interest in pattern drafting on the show. Thank you very much, Jean. There we go. So then, then you would just... Oh, it's moving all the time. Uh, but then you would just reposition that dart. Yeah. If I hold on to it, I'm just going to do it by hand. Yeah. And then you just go back in to the original dart. So you, you're taking nothing away from here. Yeah. Um, but you're just bringing that in slightly and then just redrawing those lines. Yeah. And, and, it, and then well, again, fold that dart before you cut this cut out it, yeah. because, again, that is going to be... Um, that's going to have a... Have you... That, yeah, exactly, you'll get the thing. Have yeah. you still got a, a pattern piece there of this, the original on there? Yes. Right, because <laughs> if you're doing a period garment or you want a dress that's like a, like a 1960s thing... You could just turn this into a complete seam. Yes. So you've got this line coming down here. I put, I'd, write, I'd draw notches on it so you know where it matched. This becomes a whole seam yeah. that goes. So this is your side front. And then that becomes. Cut it. Shall we cut it? Go on then. Shall we do it? Go on then. Let's do it. So all you're going to be doing is you're, you're, you're getting rid of, the, of these spaces here that um, would make your dart. Yes. So it turns it into like a Victoriana or I'd start a, I'd also do a um, bodice, like a sweetheart, not a sweetheart neckline, but you know, like a Marilyn, what I'd call a Marilyn Monroe bodice like yeah. this as well. Yeah. So what you'll find when you do this is, can you see, obviously that's got a point. Yeah. You don't want a point. No. So what you will do is just very carefully just round let me use that one, one that, that one that one does not want to work on this table so just very carefully round that off yeah and then whatever you've taken there so that's like a quarter of an inch like i will yeah i will take on this side so you can see that now that is that's gone there i'm going to go up this side but I like John said, put, put notches in before you do this. Yeah. But already, even though what you've done is you're just doing the basic block as it is, but look at your pattern pieces now. Um, this is, so if you were going to do like a Victorian dress or an evening gown with a stomacher or an Elizabethan shape, you've automatically got that central, that central panel there. Yeah. And then you can manipulate... These pieces. So if you wanted to do, because yeah. what's very, very flattering is if you have a seam on this front panel here, if this seam gets narrower, what you could then do is you could take off here and add to here yeah. so that then this central panel here on your body smaller. will go like this. Will go like that, which is very flattering, not yeah. on a ball gown or a wedding dress or something like that. And then it, you've just put what you've taken off there onto your side just panel there. there. You just add it to there. Won't look any different on you, but then you've got that lovely, lovely, really, really flattering. Or you, but you can change anything. Yeah. Like I was saying, if you want to make a bo uh, uh, like a, a Marilyn Monroe bodice, all I would then do is work out where you wanted it to go on there and then that's your pattern pieces there yeah. and this one looks a bit odd because it's kind of shaped there but you can just get rid of all that and then have your body shape yeah, on there as yeah, well couldn't yeah, you yeah that's it and that's the thing the thing is to just have a play around yes if you've got your calico you know draw do just draw that draw trace it out 
and um, and just have a go at putting in a different neckline. Do it in calico. Try it on yourself, and you can see whether you've gone too far, too yeah. low, and then um, you know you can decide how much you're going to bring that in or up or. Um, but if you've padded, also if you've padded your mannequin up to your shape. You try it on yourself, but you can also put it on the mannequin of your shape as well, because so, it's easier to pin it. Yeah. If you're on your own, it's easier to pin it on a mannequin than it is on a thing, uh, uh, on a, a, a person, because you can't really pin it yeah. on yourself. Yeah. And then these, these are the bits in calico. Oh. So there's your there's paper she, gun. There she blows. So what I've done there is I've, done, I've obviously cut it off at the waist, um, and I made the sleeves a little bit shorter. Um, but that's, that's your basic. Turn it around that way. That's your basic um, bodice yeah. to which you can do anything. Have you put the centre front on a fold then? You haven't got the I've put the, front, Yeah, I've put the centre front on, on a fold. Mm -hmm. You don't have to. If you want, you know, if you want to seam down the front, um, you, you know, by all means put a seam down the front. Um, and then there's, there's uh, so there's also the sleeve to... Um, trace out yeah um again small medium and large yeah but it's also got closed fitting cuff and shaped cuff on yeah it as well. yeah so you shape just you, you just you know trace out off whatever you want yeah and then again you can make it shorter like i did um and there's you know there's uh in the book it talks you through um um you know c cutting through making it bigger uh, change, changing the shape, adding fullness in different places. Um, it tells you all how to do that. It's funny, they've kept the sleeve head, apart from when they do a raglan sleeve, they've kept the sleeve head identical on all of them. They, yeah. haven't, done they haven't done a manipulation of a sleeve head, but they've also done a two-piece sleeve, which very few people do sleeves. these things. Yes, I love a two-piece sleeve. No, I do. Well, it's because it's a period. Yeah, there's, to, just, period, there's something about it. Um, now, when you get it. to the skirt one, yeah. they've drawn a completely other pattern piece. Yes. Can you not just take, you know, on your basic block? Yes. Can you not just take your basic block, cut it at the waist? Yeah. And then start your skirt from that, or well, would you, you would you, you draw it up separately? I mean, I mean, I would draw it up separately. You could. The thing I did notice with the um, the skirt block, the um, the the dart doesn't marry up to this. Oh, so if you're making a dress, if you're making it well, so so if you're gonna yes, yeah, so if you're gonna do a dress, I would I would stick with this yes. pattern and just. Drop it down. Because you want your darts to match. If you want your darts. Or if you've turned into a princess scene, you want the princess scene to carry on yeah, down yeah, do. the whole thing. Oh, okay, yeah. so their skirt isn't being made to fit onto their bodice. Yeah. It's because, a separate thing. And because the, also the, the back skirt has got two, two darts. Two little darts, yeah, I noticed that. Um, but again, you could put both those darts into a single one. Yeah, so you, or, so you could, or split that single one into two smaller ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so it, it's about... The thing, the thing with this is, is to is to just have a go because nothing's wrong. No, there's no, no wrong way of doing things. Is to just have a go. You'll find your own way of doing it. Mm -hmm. We've all we've all got our own. Yeah. Little, but when you're first starting, things. you just have to follow. You just have to follow it, yeah. don't you, to learn. And then yeah. as you go on, you'll think, oh, I wonder if I could just add a bit here. I'd like that yeah. to be a different show because yeah. obviously on there. That this basic block has just got your very basic round neck. Yeah. So you can work on any sort of neck. So it's just, you've just got your slight... And also remember, your front neck is always lower than your back neck, like this. Uh, but you can work on different neck shapes yeah. and everything I'm, from that basic block. I think it's really good here that from the basic skirt block, they're showing you how to make it. I mean, here it's culottes. But yeah. potentially, trou you know, it's trousers. Yeah, that, yeah, really? yeah, 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 yeah. So there's a, you know, there's it, there's a there's a really easy guide. Oh, there to make the crotch to, shaping and yeah, everything. Yeah, how to do that, which I just think is such a good idea. Oh, now Kate like that. Kate from Oxford because she always complains that in the books they never cover trousers. Yeah. Whereas yeah. this, you take your skirt block, shows you how to then cut the crotch depth on it and everything yeah. like that. Yeah. And remember, your crotch depth are your back is much bigger than on your front, front as well, because you yeah. need more fullness on your back. So they're never identical no, like that. No, no. That's so it's, brilliant. It's just about, it's just about a get, ha, taking that measurement. You'll need help to take that measurement. 
Which uh, one? Well, you to get the rise, won't you? Well, yes, but... Because you need a back and a front rise. Yeah, but if you make a foil sausage, a crutch sausage... Oh, that's a good idea. Now, that crunch. lovely lady with the names, very strange name... Oh, it'll come to me in a minute. Elisa Lex. Elisa Lex taught me this, right? And I didn't know this at college, because you do that sit-down measure, sit-down yeah. measure. She gets a, a, a roll of kitchen foil and scrunches it all up and then actually squidges it... To, she's got clothes on, squidges it up and round and up again so she can take the shape of her exactly. thing so she can see how much the oh, crotch depth is. That's such a good idea. Isn't it? Better yeah. what you're, I mean, you, but then you, you yeah. have to have friends but to it, measure you normally. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, it's just here, I just think it's really, it, it, it's so good because it tells you where to start doing yes, your yes, curve yeah. and whereabouts that sits. Now, that what they've put in here might not necessarily be you. exactly right for you but if you try this out um and and even if you're going to make trousers just just do it as a as like they've got it here yeah. like collots so you're not using all that calico because you're really all you want to get right is is the rise yeah. on there and then you'll be able to see how it sits on you where it sits and if and if you need to make that rise a bit bigger you need to lower it if mm. you so it's, you know, it's um, all... Yeah, Charlie's just said, Emeo, it's a brilliant book for a beginner. It is a brilliant book for a beginner. But if you did dressmaking, like Christine did dressmaking at college, she's 104 now. Do you know what I mean? She'll have forgotten more than she knew in the first place. But do you know what I mean? It's a brilliant... Because me is. just looking at it going, oh, I've never seen it done that way before. Yeah. I've never seen it called that before. It's a fantastic, yeah. fantastic yeah. book. Just to even start with different shapes and think, oh, I'll just, I'll just have a look at that. I can't remember how I do that. Or if you can't get your armhole to fit, you're thinking, oh, where is it? Where is it to fit it? I, you know what I mean? We're yeah. going to forget it. We're going to yeah, be confused about things. So it's not just a beginner's book. It's a, what it says, an essential guide. So it's yeah. a go-to book oh, to ask yeah. questions, yeah. isn't it? But I love the fact it's got, you know, you've got the curved darts in here. Which probably people wouldn't even no existed. think. Uh, well, no, or, or no. attempt. But it's got it in here, and I love this. That it's got an asymmetrical dart in, because you know. What we page might, you on? I am on uh, sixty-four, sixty-five. Um, but that that is just brilliant because it shows you that a dart doesn't have to be That's the right. way that we think it. Always yes, has exactly. To be, What's you know? an asymmetrical dart then? So so it go it'll go across. So it's going from the bust, but across. Mm. On the bias, mm. which is a like a, it's just a bit a, a little bit of a design. Yeah, feature, yeah, 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 it? yeah. Which I just like a couture, that's couturier. Couture. That's, isn't it? Yeah. But it's just you can throw those sorts of things in. Yeah. And um, yeah, I mean it's yeah. I so, think it's a in fabulous sentence, book. I was going to say in one sentence, sum the book up. It's yeah, a fabulous, it's a fabulous book. book. It really yeah. is. We both said this morning when we were doing prep, yeah. this is one of the best pattern-making books we've ever seen, a apart from the ones we learnt from. But the ones we learnt from were like, had mathematical... Like, to do yeah. a basic block when we... When, if you do it the way we did it, you start off with your centre-back line, and then it says, take a quarter of the cross-back measurement plus one-eighth of an inch plus three-quarters of an inch yeah. plus a third of your bust size. Yeah. It's all complicated. But also, I don't think... I don't remember having books like this. No. It was... It was I, you know, it was my lecturer. We, we had... his head and then I wrote everything. Yeah, no, no, you know? we got a photocopy sheet and I've got yep. it somewhere in my house, can't find it, how to do yep. a basic block. And that was at the front of my work yep. folder. So every project we did, you'd have one for a boy and one for a girl. Yep. And you go back right to the beginning of the project thing. And every costume I made for years and years and years afterwards... You start with you that. don't use commercial patterns in theatre. You'd literally... The actor would come in, you'd measure them, or you'd get the measurements. And the first thing you'd do is you'd do what's in this book. You would draw their basic yeah. block. And then from that basic block, you'd look at the design and go, oh, it needs to have fullness here, or it needs to have this here. And that's when you'd make the calico version. Then they would come in for their first fitting, and you'd put a calico version on them and go, either it doesn't fit or it doesn't look right. And that's when you tweak and everything so or everything that's in this book yeah. is exactly what we did at the beginning there yeah. we've got and to go look at the time oh, have we? I was, no, gonna, no, go I was just gonna say when you've done it and you cut it out in calico and you put it on and you think oh well that's not quite right but don't be disappointed because that's what happens that's what yes that's yeah. what happens you know we go to fittings and we've we've got the measurements and it's and it and, and we've got it, years of experience yeah. and it always needs tweaking nothing fits 
yeah. perfectly. It, yeah. it, it just doesn't. No. So don't go into it thinking that. Also, also nobody's, nobody's but, body is a perfect... No. You're making this to a perfect size, aren't no. you? Nobody's body, because we've all got one bit bigger or lower or yeah. higher or whatever, squidgy. Yeah. We've got to go, we've got to go. You're back in an hour. I We're am. making the lovely pyjamas in an hour. Oh. I can't, can't show them because the pyjama person looks like they're leaving. There it is, there it is. <laughs> uh, now, they, they say on the pattern, they're not just for sleeping in, they're going for a night on the town in as well. Oh, no. Uh, but don't go anywhere. Kim Solomon's up next where we're going to do some demo using all the things we showed you in the nine o'clock hour. That was re brilliant, Rebecca. Thank you very Thank much you. indeed. I'll see you in four minutes from now. Hi, I'm Becky. I'm the soft craft expert for Crafters Companion. Um, I come from London and I've been sewing pretty much all my life. I particularly enjoy doing embroidery. I'm really keen on that, but I've, I've, my background is um, dressmaking and also sort of patchwork and quilting. Um, so I do an awful lot of sewing for all sorts of different things. I suppose once you start sewing, you start doing lots of other kinds of sewing so I particularly like got into needlepoint um, during lockdown but I suppose embroidery is probably my real passion. My mum was a costume designer um, so we were always sort of surrounded by bits of fabric and material and ribbons and that kind of thing and I was always making teddies um, and my dolls clothes as a small child so it was just something that was quite natural and in fact I've got so used to being able to sew um, it's just become a natural sort of part of what I do. Um, I'm always fiddling around with fabric as my husband puts it, um, making something new, um, trying something out. Always measure twice, cut once. Um, I'm a great one for not doing that and I always regret it. And making sure that you've got an iron to hand is really important. I use a tiny little, um, sort of almost like a travel iron that I have right next to my desk when I'm working so it doesn't take up too much space. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. 
whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Kim Suleiman's back. Did you have a nice break? Well, I was going to have a little lie down, but I didn't. A lie down? I've been, I've been fiddling. Oh. Fiddling so, and twiddling. So everything we've got uh, that Kim's played, we had in the last hour, which we're going to be using in this hour to do demos, but we're going to start because we didn't mention a sewing machine in the last hour. So you just wanted to mention the, these two mm. machines today, didn't you? Yes. So this one here is the uh, Brother 2700. Yeah. The NV2700. And this is a combined sewing and embroidery machine. Right. Now you've got a fantastic throat space on here for the sewing side of things. And I'm actually going to be sewing on here. It's very easy to use. You've got this lovely um, display here, which is in full color. Yeah. When you switch the machine on, all you do that, it's automatically reverted to the sewing side of things here. Yeah. Um, but obviously, just cut, oh, there we yeah. so there's, yeah. there are all your, imagine that these are uh, rooms. And every time you press one of the rooms, you walk in, and there is lots of stitches in there. So there's six pages of stitches wow. in that one. Is there also a, it does the top lift up and so I can yes. see a manual, if I don't want to scroll through the pages, exactly. hurry and I go, yeah. I just need a scrolling one. That's right. So where this has got number one here, yeah. on the top cover, you've got number one. Brilliant. It's got the picture as well, and it's got all the stitches. Excellent. And as you go along, each one of these rooms, shall we call them, because yeah. I like to open the doors, then you've got each one has got the picture. Now, the other thing with this particular machine, which is where it, it's, it's into a different league, it is able to sew to the left, to the right, forwards and backwards. Now, traditionally, our machines will only sew, sew forwards and backwards, but effectively, with either a zigzag stitch or a straight stitch, I could sew round a square. So if you are wanting to... What, you can go like that and then it goes sideways? Yeah, let me show you. So we're in door number five. So we'll press door number five there. Yeah. It's going to pop the glasses, glasses on. on. And when you look at door number five, you've got all these pictures. So if we just go on the straight stitch, forwards and backwards, yes, we can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this will sew to the left and to the right. It's easier sometimes if I show you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to get some of this gorgeous... Um, no, I'm going to use the gingham. Yeah, I'm going that's to use gorgeous the, as well. Yes, Don't leave it out. Yeah, I didn't mean that. I meant I'll use the gingham because I know I've got... Um, I'm just trying to work out what thread I've got in there. So I'm going to put double thread, um, double fabric in. Yeah. Whenever you're practising, always have two layers of fabric or some wadding or some interfacing behind yeah. your fabric. So we'll lower the presser foot. Now, first of all... Can you see, before I even start, that this needle is further to the right yeah. than I really would want it to be? Right. And what I was going to do is I'm, I'm going to come back to this. When I turn this machine on, what it's done is it's remembered where the last needle position was. So we'll just open it up there. And can oh, you see, it then. should it should normally default to the centre, yeah. but it hasn't. It's defaulted to the to the um, slightly to the right. Was that because you had it there last time? Whoever had used the machine before had moved the needle. Probably oh. me. Now, if you look across here where the width is, can you see it's black where it's got 3.5? That's yeah. the factory setting, factory setting behind the length. But can you see the left and right shift isn't the factory setting? Right. The tension is. So if I go into there, OK, you can see that the needle has been moved from the centre across because the centre would be 3.5. Yes, yes, yes. Because it's a 7 mil width mm -hmm. there. Now, if I think, oh, goodness gracious, it's not in the factory setting, all I have to do is, can you see that little diamond there? Yeah. If I press that, that will immediately 
go to the oh, centre. Wow. So if you've been fiddling with your machine and you've moved it, this machine is so clever, it will remember those wow. features. But when you turn it back on, if you think they're not all black, just go into there and press that. So, OK. Yeah. So now we'll go back into all of the rooms, go to number five, and then we've got 501, which is going to sew us backwards, and then 502 to the left, to the right, is 503 and 504 is towards us. So okay. let's sort a bit of a Before you say that, just so you know, this isn't your price. How much did it go to, Ben? 2199. 2199. So we're going, five -way split we are going to sew down. Yeah. That's normal. We're used yeah. to that. Yeah. Now, if I'm dealing with a big bit of fabric and I want to now sew to, along this way, I normally have to raise the presser foot and turn it yeah, all the, the way around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay which this machine is fantastic as well. Have you noticed you have got a pivot on here where the needle stays in the down mm -hmm. position automatically and it'll move around. But with this particular function here, I can now press this button here. I'm going to go to the left. And can you see it's sewing to the left? Oh, why did I not know this? It breaks your brain a little bit. So if you were sewing some squares on, doing some applique on a large quilt, yeah. doing, some, doing some quilting and you don't want to be moving it around. Yeah. Now I'm going to sew backwards. So you could press the reverse button. We could argue with that. All yeah, right. no, but you've got to think, your finger on the reverse button yes. to do that. And now, I haven't met that up no, quite right. We're going to sew the to right. the right, which is the 503. Can you see? Simple. I'm using the foot control. You could use... I've never seen the sewing machine do that before. And Well, this is, this is the feed, and this is why this machine is in a league of its own. This has got the features, I'm just trying to get it matched up, <laughs> you know. Um, this has got the features of the thousands, of, I mean, don't get me wrong, this is a lot of money, but this has got the features of the very high yeah, machines yeah, 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 on yeah. there. So we'll take that out. It's got a thread cutter on yeah. there. Take that out. Raise the presser foot. I don't even have to do it. I can do it manually, but there's a button there to button. press it. Take your fabric to the back. And they're not the perfect square. But you can see I've sewn to the left, to the right. And none of the stitches compromised either, are they? You'd think if you had a gimmick like that, yeah. they'd be compromised, yeah. no, wouldn't they? not at all. It's beautiful. So it just means, think of applique, think of quilting. Mm. You know, we could go back to the rulers here, um, which is the, the large and the small hot rule rulers, and sewing around the pentagon. If I was sewing that on a big, um, a big project mm. and, and I didn't want to be moving it, I could actually sew that pentagon in that Yeah, because even though you're going uh, in a different direction, you can still guide it of course you can. along you can, that edge. Yeah, yeah exactly. of course you can. You could sew your hexagons on like that. You could do all sorts. Yeah. Wow. Yes, you see. So that is the sewing side of things. Let's come back to here. Yeah. You've also got lots of decorative stitches, which you can see yeah. on the top. Um, and you've also got a font. Now, I argue with them, but you know, you know me. Yeah. It says we've got five fonts, and we have... But one's a Cyrillic and one's a Hirogena, so unless you're in, you know... Yeah, unless you need those. Yeah, yeah, you need those. But you've got three fabulous fonts. Now, the fonts also are in uppercase and lowercase. Brilliant. And you've got your numbers, yeah. and then you've got all your anthracans, and you've got all your commas, Fantastic. and what, your accents. So that's just the sewing machine side yeah. of things. Then, very easily, you can convert this to an embroidery machine by simply turning the machine off, we weren't going to do this, but I am going to do oh, it. Oh, you are going to do it now. Do you want well, me to pass this Well, just because I can. Turn it off. Remove the accessory tray. And something that we didn't mention with the accessory tray is this is where your feet are kept in here. Yeah. And if you drop your feet... Oh, oh that, that one, was a that's, bobbin. That's a bobbin. But if you drop your feet, they're not going to come out of there. Brilliant. But that's even on the brother... It's FS on the FS250. That's got that in as Rebecca's well. Which going to be using in the next Yeah. Hour. Um, and the FS, so this is your embroidery foot that you would fit. Now, again, this is going to the high-end machines because this actually plugs into the back of the machine. Yeah. So it becomes, it's got a laser on it. Oh, it means it's got a little red light. There's your laser oh on there. So you can you see the laser. The Follow the light. Follow the light. Look but, into the light. But also you can position your fabric exactly where you want it. So you're starting. So if wow. you were wanting to do a bit of embroidery on, on say, the pocket of a dress or... Um, in a, a serviette or, you know, something like that. You can be very specific. We've opened the little door here. You're just going to slide that towards me, please. And this engages into there. Just clicks in. That's it. No yep. effort. Turn it on. 
and then the machine knows automatically, just see we're all right there, knows automatically that we have changed to an embroidery unit. So it won't bring up any of those stitches no, anymore? No, nope, that's them gone. We just, it always tells you to um, keep your hands away, so you need to have all of this nice and free. Yeah. And basically, it's going to calibrate the um, embroidery unit now, and it's ready to start an embroider. Now, you've got a couple of things here. Remember our rooms. Each time we press one of these doors, you then go into another door. So that was one door going into four doors. Right. And then there's 18 pages. What? I've actually brought the book well, your glasses, over. Aren't they? There you go. I brought the book over Brilliant. here. So you have got a wealth of stitches in there, which are in the book. And you've got different you fonts. On there so Sorry, darling. The Sorry. That's right. So you've got all of your embroideries. Am I getting am I here? There you go. All these embroideries here, pages and pages of them. And then you've got other fonts as well. Fonts that are bigger than the seven mil that you can do. You've got your borders, etc. Now, the borders, yeah. this is on this machine and the 330. You can think about, everybody thinks, oh, I can do embroidery machines. I need to embroider flowers. I need to do that. I have used the border on the machine and I have quilted... Oh, wow. And on this one here, I've used the circular border. And I don't know if you can see. And I've just done different size circles on the embroidery machine. Yeah. And I've actually quilted that as well. How brilliant. So don't just think about an embroidery machine as something... As embroidery as, motifs. Yeah, yes, yes, embroidery exactly. motifs. So a message for you. I have this machine. It's fantastic. I'm currently using it whilst watching you. Uh, the embroidery is so good. Ordered the long arm machine today. Happy day from Susan in Cardiff. Well done. Now, could you use, when this was sewing machine wise, yes. you can use this sewing machine on the frame absolutely, from this morning. Absolutely, because you've got that lovely throat space there. Because somebody had asked, I think one of the questions was, would the 1100 fit on? They had a brother 1100, yes. This has got the same throat space. So Brilliant. Yes, it'll fit yeah. on, no problem. It's got a all. nice throat space it's on It's got there, a lovely throat it? space on there. So once you've chosen your embroidery, then you literally would just press that, you would set, and then you can edit, you can resize, you can move it. And the difference with this particular machine is look at the size of the hoops that They're you get. They're huge. So you have got a large embroidery area. So whether you're doing a larger embroidery or think of what I was doing with my quilting, mm -hmm. when I was doing the circles, I put that hoop on and just did a variety of circles, filled the hoop and then, and then moved, moved it along. Across, yeah. yeah. But you get the two hoops included with the but machine. Even the smaller one's a big one. It is a big one. Yeah. Now, the other machine, the um, M330... Which I'll bring in the second. Which we'll yeah. bring in. That is limited to the size of the design area is 10 by 10 centimetres right. or 4 by 4 inches. You can do exactly what you can do on here, but you're restricted with the size. Now, there is an additional hoop that I do know that we have on the show. Oh, no, we've got it for sale. I've got it for I've sale. Hang on, on the trolley, yeah. Have you got it? Um, I had it. Uh, it it's, look, it's laughing at me here. Oh, there it is. John's underneath here. Oh, it's under there. Hang on. So now this will not give you a bigger design area, but what this will allow you to do is to do multiple designs in that area. What size is this frame? Then? This one is bigger. Shall we take it out? Hang on. Is it, I don't need it for this no, machine. No, you've got the two no. big ones. If you, I'll put that there. I'll put it's that there with that machine. It's specifically for the M330. The second, but yeah. don't be fooled. Whatever your maximum design area is on your embroidery machine, and this is something you need to think about, then that is... You can get the biggest hoop in the world, but it'll not do it I, any I bigger yeah, than that. It doesn't yeah. not know, oh, it's got a 12 inch by 12 inch. Yes. If I'll make a 12 inch by 12 no, inch, it's the no, design. No, of it's the design thing. area that's what you're looking take at. This one away so we're going to take that one off. So to it's remove right, oh, it. Oh, I've done it. Yep. It's all right. It's easy. Off. It's a little catch yep. underneath it there. And then I just tend to shut the door and then we'll put the accessory unit back on. Behind you. Which is behind me. And the accessory unit has two compartments it has the front compartment that i showed you earlier on and then it has a back compartment as well so for storage it's absolutely brilliant lovely and it's so, so that's quiet. a combi machine that's the combi machine now if you already have i mean this sewing machine you're never going to outgrow i'll no. be honest with you but if you have a really lovely sewing machine and you're more than happy with it. Would you're going to go back to this yeah, one. Yeah, what yeah. I'm going to do, I'll take this yeah. one out and then we'll come back to this one. Yeah. So you've got enough. So this there. is the M330. Do you want me I to could... take this one out? Or are you going no, to do all right? right. Do it that I'm, way? I'm fine. Okay. Yeah, darling, so, if you're all right. Yep. Yeah. So this is the M330. So the difference with this one is that the embroidery, it's great when you get it. Hang on a second, I'm just going to do it backwards. The embroidery hoop that you get with this 
is this size here and this is will do a design area of four by four now don't forget that you can also buy the additional hoop which will allow you to do multiple so that circle quilt i did earlier on yeah. if you've got this machine here get yourself that hoop and you won't have to be rehooping this is what it's doing it's saving you rehoop lovely i can't remember the size and i should know it off the no, i'm just it hasn't got it written on the it just says large do you want me to yeah. get it out get it out and then we'll have a little look and the reason that you can't interchange the hoops from the M330 and the 2750 is the way they, they sit. These ones are on little lugs. Can you see that? It's double, nearly double the size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. double the size. Yeah. Which means that you're not re-hooping it also. That's great because it's saving your interfacing as well. So it works in exactly the same way. It threads up very easily. The only difference with this one when you're popping the hoop in is you just click it in like that. You have your uh, windows in exactly the same way here. Can you see these are our doors here that we we're talking about before? And if I press one of those, then it opens up another two doors. And if I press that, then I've got a variety of different designs within that unit there. And I've brought the book as well over. That's it. That's the book there. So this particular book here is your embroidery designs for your M330. And this is a great little machine. So you have your alphabets and your fonts this is the and i'll get the bigger pictures what i like about the brother manuals is they are so easy oh, so easy to um use these are all your borders so can you see these different borders here that's what i used for my oh, quilting it's coming in coming closer coming closer so i did the heart one that looked like the blanket stitch yeah without having to do hand blanket stitch and then i did the circles i just did straight the straight line so that was using the borders and we there oh, at last so can you see you've got a lot of designs now what i haven't mentioned with both of these machines is they are wi-fi enabled and brother have an app called art spira which is free you can sit now and download that yeah, art Spira yeah, app. Do, it do it at one o'clock and you can go on there and each month they will provide you with a free magazine it links in with the scan and cut as well yeah. with lots of embroidery designs there is a paid element to that but the majority of the but free ones are free. there you get a free one every month yeah. it's free to download and on that free download there's loads it's oh. not like you're going to open it, it's going to be one goodness design, gracious I, every month i look at it yeah. and every month i find something and what's I want it called to do. again it's art spira which is a r t s p i r e and i could just go and download it from Apps. my app shop. yeah and then i use it on my phone and i use it on the ipad you could use it on your tablet and you can send it from your phone to this you can send it directly because it's Wi-Fi enabled. You literally just play with it um, and then just send it over. And the next time I'm here, I think we'll spend some time on the Art Spira app and oh, yeah, see yeah, how definitely. easy it is to send it over. You also have USBs on both the M330 and the 2750. So if you've worked on the Art Spira app, you may think, oh, I'll send it to my machine. Then I actually want to keep that, download it, save it to, to either your USB machine stick. or the USB stick and put it on a, a little folder on your computer. So both those machines have Wi-Fi, which has just changed it's incredible, life. It's incredible, it? You know, it's amazing. They're absolutely uh, brilliant. 599, 519 pounds at uh, 199.66. We are very limited on this one now. Very, very limited. Beautiful. Right, OK, so let's go with that. So should we get on with our... I'll move this one. Yep. Get on with today's demo. Keep it, keep it not too far away, because I'm going to do a demo with that one. OK, I'll put yeah. it here. Yeah, yeah. It. yeah, I make them work today, you see. Yeah. So earlier in the show, I was showing you how to use the hot rulers. Yeah. And what I did was I did the circle. So all I did was I ironed fabric over one of the circles. And then what I did then was I got some of the repair and bond, which is on the show just to fix it so I don't have pins because often when you you're working with pins it creates little bumps mm -hmm. so I've just well, also you repair. Cut yourself, catch yeah. yourself on oh, the, the amount of times I do yeah. that honestly it does me head in so all I've done is I've got myself a needle yeah put a knot in brought it to the front and then I, I love hand stitching so the the creases that the hot rulers made for me has made that beautiful circle shape and then, now I wouldn't normally be using a navy thread on um, a white um, fabric, but I just wanted to oh, see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but actually it beds in nicely. So what you're doing is you're going underneath, you're just catching the edge of that circle, 
and then because the hot ruler has done the job now this was done in the first show so the creases are still there yeah i can just use my finger or you can use your needle to scoop it under and then just do effectively a stitch that's just catching the edge and work your way around it and this is how i made this the cushion behind you john with all the circles and what i did with that one as I used the Holland and Sherry fabrics, um, I used the small and the medium swatches that we had. Mm -hmm. I've hand stitched all these and had a lovely time. I've used a silk thread just to hand stitch them on. The background is the navy viscose that we also have on the show by the yeah, meter. This is your medium one. So that's the medium one. The medium one will Sorry. do all of them. The small circles can be used with the small. Um, swatch book. There's the small swatch book. And you're getting 39 swatches in each of those swatch books, so you've got lots to play with. Hand stitch those on. The navy viscose, which is by the metre, was the background. I popped a little bit of interfacing just on the back of there. And I've also used... No, I didn't use the navy for the back, that's a lie. But you could use the navy as an envelope back. I've used a yeah, bit of... I've, I've, I keep... It's nice. Yeah, it's, it's suit and fabric, people. Yeah. Well, what happened was, Vlieseline were sent fabrics by Savile Row to test the inter interlinings. Oh. And then they decided to get rid of that workshop and they sent me a lot, which I, I gave 99% away to the refugee groups oh. and to various sewing groups. But there was a couple of bits just, just sneaked yeah. in. This one in the back end of that quilt just, oh, okay. just yeah. sneaked in, yes. Yeah. So, so, yes, so that's using, to achieve that, hot rulers for your shapes, yeah, Holland and Sherry um, charm packs and the navy viscose. Brilliant. Yeah. Navy viscose okay. is what we've got here. Sold by the meter. Might as well just put it in there because yeah. we're talking about So it's 150 it. centimetres wide. Brilliant for dressmaking, don't get me wrong. But it's absolutely gorgeous to sew with. Yeah. And it works with these. Just an absolute treat. Yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's alternative to denims as well. Mm. And, and to navy's really hard to get hold of. Yeah, a good yeah. navy. Yeah, yeah a good navy. Yeah. That's a good navy. So that's that's applique. Now, what you can also do with the hot rulers, these are two I'd prepared earlier on, is you could do a little bit of English paper piecing without the English papers. <laughs> yeah. So it's an American version. Again, I wouldn't necessarily be using a white thread, but pop your two... These are the pentagons, and all mm -hmm. I did was, just to keep them um, together, before I thought about using starch, was I just literally did some big tack and stitches. So I'm going to place those right sides together, and all I'll do there is I'll pop that there. Now, you could put some pins in. If you don't want to use pins, just pop yourself a quilt clip in or whatever you're, you're happy with. I pop a knot in my thread, and this time... I'm just catching the edges. Now, this is this technique I absolutely love when I'm on holiday. Um, if I'm waiting in sur you know, doctor surgeries, hospitals, used to be when the kids were playing football and stuff. Mm -hmm. And all I'm doing here is catching the edge. I don't necessarily do teeny tiny stitches. And as I say, if you use a dark thread, it'll just bed in. But it's just going to give you that finish without having to have the palaver of having to take all the papers mm. out as well. It's an alternative. And you've got all those neat edges. So we'll just do a little bit more stitching there. And then you can see how that's... Just pull that nice and tight. And that's joined that together. Gorgeous. So that's two alter... You know, w without having to use a machine. Mm -hmm. Now, of mm. course, you could use a machine quite simply by... Let's do it. No good talking about it. Let's actually do... Well, so I've anchored that there. Yeah. If you wanted to stitch this by machine, I'm going back in because it was obviously turned off. Yeah. It said a malfunction occurred, so that just means that it's having a little more. Because I unplugged it. Because you took the embroidery unit on. Yeah. We, we took no, the but after I then I unplugged oh, right. it, so it thinks there's been a power so, cut. That's what it is. So what it's done is it said there's a malfunction. It's telling you to turn it off, so we've turned it off. Now it's waking up and it's quite happy mm -hmm. to recalibrate it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open this window here because we can see it. Yeah. Remember that we can go into all of the doors. And I'm thinking, I want a zigzag stitch. I want a stitch that's going to go from right to left. So I've got a variety of different stitches going from number nine all the way up to 14. Mm -hmm. If it's got a dotty line, that's for your stretch fabric okay. as well. And your stretch straight stitch, which is your triple stitch, is number five on this machine. On the FS250 that Rebecca will be using later on, you have all of those stitches as yeah. well. So we're going to go to, I said, number nine. So I'm literally using the arrows along here. Number nine. 
The width of this, which is the swing, is going to be 3.5. The length, which is how much is coming towards you, is 1.4. I can adjust that if I wanted to. I'm going so you to... practice on a piece of calico. If you didn't know the machine, you practice on a piece of calico yeah. to see yeah. the width, right? First. Now, you can use a stitch in the ditch foot, which doesn't come with the machine. Right. The stitch in the ditch foot has a, 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 like a blade, effectively, in the middle. Or I'm just using the J foot, which is your basic utility foot, which is also known as your zigzag stitch foot. Mm -hmm. It has a little groove, which will be very difficult for the we cameras to pick up. Yeah, yeah. But there is a little groove when you're sewing. And all I'm going to do is pop those two together. And I'm going to do a, a zigzag stitch, keeping the centre of the J foot on the gap. And I probably could have had this a little bit closer together. So to get the stitches closer together coming this way, yeah. I could have reduced the length. So I've um, cut it. I'm raising the presser foot, taking it to the back. And what I've done is I've stitched it on the sewing machine. So by using the hot iron rulers, I've got all lovely neat edges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I can just zigzag those together. Brilliant. Okay. Yeah, lovely. Happy with that? I've yeah. got a piece there because that's not on Ben's list. It's not what? I gave Ben a list of demos I would do. With Ben's that, not even there. there, so it doesn't matter. He's oh, well, that's all right. Yeah, well, that's okay then. So that's that's that one. Yeah. Okay, happy with that? Yeah. So next, shall I show you how to do some using the repair and bond? Quotes? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Are those little squares for you? With, with you? Oh, no, they're gone now. No, that's this, this one This one here. Then we'll go on the embroidery machine. You want the embroidery machine? No, not yet. Not no, yet, no, not yet, no, not no. Yet. no I, I saw little squares yes, of... Uh, yes, repair and bond, yeah. If they've flown away, I can just get another one. Don't I don't worry. know where they've gone. Oh, they've don't worry. Away. We'll just get another one, John. It's fine. Hey, well. Oh, man. So, You'll find them when you go home. The repair and bond, which we showed you earlier on, it yep. comes. it's 150 centimetres wide and it's mm -hmm. sold by the metre. I don't know how much it is a metre. I think it's about... It's 599, 5 it? Gosh, you get ever yeah. such a lot. So I was playing around with this, thinking, how can I do a quilt as you go? So what I've done is I've put the navy viscose on the back mm -hmm. and I've popped a piece of um, repair and bond there. I haven't fused it yet. Right. And then I've got some of the Vlieseline R80 here. Yeah. And then I've popped another layer of repair and bond. Right. Because quilt as you go, basically, wants everything pieced together. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as you do your stitches, that's it, you're finished. So what I've done is I've used the medium... Um, swatch, swatch pack. pack which is this one here mm -hmm. and you've got little punch holes on the top and all I do is I pop them together and I trim off this top edge and then I've got a bag and I keep all of these bits I absolutely waste nothing right all right I've got some I prepared earlier she said so these ones have all been cut to the side I have literally just taken off the top edge right and this is a great way, this technique is great also if you are wanting to do some, um, if you had lots of scrap fabrics. Yeah. Which one are you using, the medium or the small? It's the small small one I'm using yeah, for this. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I said the medium, yeah. didn't I? Well, no, I didn't remember there being holes in the medium, that was the, all. The, uh, no, there's no holes in those medium, medium ones. It's, it's, it's the small, small one yeah. and then the large blocks. Oh, yes. No, the yes, blocks yes, of yeah. 10, yeah. they have, I'm going to just see. I'll say I'm not bothered because it's scrappy. But then I, you move things. Yeah, I can do. I'm quite good. I can do reasonably well, scrappy, without thinking about it. I know when I used to have the shop and we used to do a scrappy um, project, there was people just could not. No, no, lots of people scrappy. can't do scrappy. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, because of the technique that I'm using, I've got repair and bond around there. Yeah. And the last thing I want to be doing is really gumming up my iron. Yeah. So I have actually dampened this cloth yeah the iron on yeah. cloth so all i've done because also quite often they like a little bit of steam and wolves love steam though yeah. don't they yeah so all i'm doing is pressing the cloth on press the iron on pressing the iron on on top of the cloth yeah. the iron on cloth yeah iron on right? cloth. Yeah. which is where they've got it from iron on the cloth yeah and then pressing that on and just giving it time to add here i did those ones just so I had a head start. And if you don't use the iron on cloth, it means that these I'm not being over worrying about this edge no. here. Well, no, which is then good. you'd have to get your iron cleaner out. Well then you? I could get the iron cleaner out, but we are trying to, you know, yeah. your, your iron gets mucky without without Doing making purpose, an effort, yeah. yeah. So there, once I've pressed that on. Now if I show you the iron on cloth here, which the remember you get two in a pack. You're right. 
all I'm going to do is peel that off there. Peel that off here. There you are. That gum would have gone onto my onto my iron. Yeah. All right. That's fused down. I'm going to leave it for about 15 to 20 minutes to settle itself oh, down. Yeah. You've got a song to do then. Or well, something. no, I'm going to do this bit. But if I was at home, yeah. I would leave it. All right. Obviously, this little bit of heat has started to go through the back. But what would be a good idea would be to flip it over and press, press the back on. Back. Yeah. So we'll pop the cloth over there. I'm going to pop that down there so we don't have any accidents. Mm hmm and then you've got a choice. You could put some bias binding down here if mm -hmm. you wanted to. You could put other strips of fabric. You could create yourself, um, you know, out of your, your larger blocks. You could create yourself some nice sashing. Mm -hmm. Or you could just use your stitches. Or you could actually, because this hasn't quite fused at the back, just I'll just move this down a wee bit. Flip, flip this over. Just ironed yeah, it, but not you, we did it earlier. You could flip it like that. You could flip it like this. So I'm going to flip it like this. I think I'll do it this way. No, no, I'm not going to. I'll tell you why, because I'll be putting me, me walking foot on. You get yeah. a walking foot with this. I think what I'll do is I'll use a decorative stitch. Now, I'm not going to use the, um, the, the zigzag stitch that I used before. There's a really good stitch, and it's a wavy stitch. And it is in number. Let me have a look. I should know these numbers off the top of my head, but I don't know them all because I use all the machines all the time. What's that one there? It's, oh, no. it's, it's the wavy stitch. Come on, Kim. Where's it gone? It's laughing. What doors it in? Well, I'm coming back to my doors. I'm coming back to yeah. the doors. I thought it was in the basic one. It is in the basic one. Hey, you know There's what no wavy in basic there. No, it's not. So it's in that one. It's in the patchwork and quilting one. Belt oh, yeah. patchwork and quilting. There is, is that 34, it? patchwork and quilting. So this end one here, number 10, has a lot of the stitches in number one. Silly girl. Go to number 10. Now, it's asking us already, yeah. is it okay to cancel that current pattern that we had the last time? Oh, OK. So even if you'd, you'd done something and you didn't want to cancel, if you didn't want to cancel, you press cancel, we'll say OK. And I am going to move this along to 34. You can go forwards and backwards, of course, with this. Just moving those arrows to 34. Uh-huh. Now, again, like the zigzag stitch, you can decide whether you want to increase the width the maximum you could increase it would be seven. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do that because I can. So I'm going to increase that to seven. And I'm going to increase the length so it means that the curve is not going to be as sharp. Right. And I'm going yeah. to increase that to 1.5. All right. I could also move my needle to the right or to the left, but I'm going to keep it in the, the centre, centre just yeah. because of what we're, <coughs> it's what we're doing It's easier to stay on now. the two things we've yeah. got in the centre, isn't it? So then all I'm going to do is... Come down here. Now I haven't popped on the um, walking foot. Yeah. You could put the walking foot on, but can you see it's sewing through um, two layers of fabric? Yeah. And the Bleaslean R80. Yeah. So we'll just come and down there. And by using this technique, this is stitching it all together and quilting. Right. We got what yeah. we got. Do you say Ben? Quilting foot? No, we were walking foot. We were talking walking about foot. You have got a free motion quilting foot that you can do as well. So yeah. there you are. There's the first one in. Let's get rid of these bits. Now, if I'm doing a big project, what I tend to do is turn it round. Okay. Why? Because if you've got everything moving in one direction, the whole thing could shift and get a bit of a Mexican wave. When you're quilting, the rules are that you start in the middle usually and work, work out. out yeah. Or you could start at the top and work down or from a side. And the, the idea is that your wadding and your backing is slightly larger than your quilt yeah. top, and that allows that movement. Or that, that by doing what I'm doing, it'll just mean that as that fabric moved that way, it's going to move this yeah. way, and it's just going to sort itself out. So very quickly... Create yourself a new project. Get yourself a swatch book. Get well, it's yourself a some... cover already, isn't it? Yep. Now, once I've done all of this and they're together, I could then quite easily pop this into the embroidery hoop. Yeah. And embroider some initials. You could embroider sentiment. You could actually em embroider a motif, whatever you wanted to mm -hmm. do. 
Now, if I was popping this into the embroidery hoop, so you can see it's starting to quilt, we'll go this way and you can see it go the other way and you'll get an idea. If I was popping it into the embroidery hoop, I would not use any interlining or interface, no stitch and tear. You don't need to because you've got your wadding in here. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. And yeah. so therefore you don't need any interfacing yeah. as well. Now, you can use the um, wavy stitch, the zigzag stitch, any stitch that's coming forward with your walking foot that's included with this machine. Yeah. You can't use a stitch with your walking foot that's going to go backwards because the walking foot or the junior oh, no. foot can't cope. You make a very loud yeah. clunking noise. Yes. And, of course, you could have used, and we have got a free motion foot, um, which is not included in the FS250, but it is included in this one. Oh, OK. So you don't... Remember, in the cost of this machine, as well as that embroidery unit, you're getting your walking foot and your free motion quilting mm. foot, you're getting your adjustable zipper foot, your quarter inch foot, so you're getting a lot with it. So can you see, we've started, and then on the back, it's all ready, yeah, all ready to, to, to go and quilt as you go. Lovely. Right? Using the repairing bond, the Vliesleen R80, this is your choice here, you could have used the chambray, but we've used the navy viscose and the holland and sherry. Gorgeous, isn't it? Uh, so what we got in at the moment, we've got 10.99. We've got the Wool Savile Row book, the small one. That's this one here. That's what's in the that's, graphics that's what at the moment. That's what we there. Yep. Gorgeous. £10.99. Lovely. Next. What's next on your list then? Of next on the list is, on the bag, I used um, some D-rings. Okay. And included in your... Uh, I'm just finding my feet because it won't be in yours. In what, sorry? Included in your uh, two, se two seven hundred, your, your, this particular machine, yeah. you get an adjustable zipper foot, which is also brilliant if you're putting piping in. Yes. It's absolutely fab. I love this foot. That, by the way, so this is the walking foot that you get included. There you go. On the overhead there, lovely. So that's the walking foot. All right. Fabulous. That comes with it anyway. Comes with the machine. You also get the free motion quilting foot. That comes with the machine. Brilliant. But we do have, what I will say to you is... If, you buy, if you've got the FS250, you won't necessarily have the walking foot. There is a walking foot on the show. We've got a walking foot as well. Sorry, a free no, that's quilting a quilting foot. foot that's a lie, a lie. Foot, yeah. Yeah. Um, but regardless of whether you're buying the FS250, the M330 or the NV2700, get yourself some more bobbins. Yes. Do not get into the habit of... Um, putting one thread on top of another thread because your machines can't cope with it. So yeah. buy extra bobbins. Now, these bobbins come with the little clips. I was going to say they look a bit strange. But they're great because if, you, if for example, you've got um, this machine and you want to fill a number of bobbins up with, say, bobbin fill, yeah. then what I do is I clip all my bobbin fill bobbins so you together. So they know bobbin fill ones. And all their bobbin fills. Um, you could yeah, because when you get the Brother machine, it comes with... Already filled yeah. bobbin fill ones, doesn't it? With the M330, it does. Yeah. It comes with already pre filled yes, ones. Yeah. With this one, you get a bobbin of. Oh, you get a bobbin, whole bobbin of it. Bobbin, yeah. Yeah. Which, yeah, which yeah. goes a long way because yeah, yeah, it's a thinner, yeah, yeah. thinner one. But they come in those ones with the little yes. clips around. They yes. come in the little envelope, don't yes, they? Yes, that's right. Yeah. That's right. So I do highly recommend that you, you invest in some more bobbins because you always need oh, more bobbins. And also, yeah. there's nothing worse than finishing a project thinking I don't need that pink anymore and yeah. you're there like this. What a waste of thread. And wasting it, but just, yeah. it takes forever to unravel Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah. There's always more on you than think you is, actually yeah. think. So, yes. So treat yourself to those. Lovely. And they fit. All of the machines, yeah. all right? So that's that. So the adjustable zipper foot um, comes with the machine. Why do I need that for now, then? What's that to put for? the D-ring in. Oh, OK. We're going to put the D-rings in. And I just thought you can, obviously, if you can use it for zips. You can use it for piping. Um, to, to fit it on, you're going to take this screw off here. OK. Now, this is really important. This is the... Am I in the, where, oh, am I in the right position? Overhead. There you go. This is the ankle. Now, if you lose this, you can't... Sew anything? No. You can use your walking foot and you can use your free motion quilting foot, but that's it. So what I recommend that you do is, regardless of what foot it is, attach it to a foot. Because you're less likely to use, lose Loose. that than you are to yes, lose that. Yeah. All right? So that's just a little Kim tip. Mm -hmm. Now, you wonder why, because I've done it. Yeah. All right? Yeah. The That's how we learn our best tips, yes, isn't it? Because absolutely. something we've done. Yeah. The adjustable zipper foot literally just fits on like that. Absolutely. Tighten the screw by hand and then just give it a little bit of a turn. 
on the side there. Now the back part of this is where there's a screw there and this is going to allow us to move this zipper foot ah. into any position we want. So if we're wanting to put a loop on, what I've done is I've sewn very close to the D-ring. It would be really difficult trying to get this foot close to that D-ring yeah. because of where the needle position is. So I'm going to show you a little. Let's get a little piece Brilliant. here. I'll move that one out of the way. So we'll just get a piece of, in fact, I'll use my rotary cutter. We'll do it all properly. And I will get a ruler, which I've, I've buried under here. What do you need? No, I've got one. Got it. So what I'll do is I'll just cut off on one of the Holland and Sherry, and that's all I used. Um, okay. Oh, need a new blade. We've got new blades on the show. I know. I need a new blade because I used this last week. So this is this first job when I get home is this is getting changed. Yeah. It, that just does my head in quickly. Mm -hmm. And for the sake of changing it, and it's it's. It's so frustrating yeah. when you get those threads. And what happens is if you get a thread, it can create a run across your fabric yeah, exactly. and it just infuriates me. I'm just going to chop off that, but that'll go back in my bag because yeah. I can guarantee to use it. So normally I would make a, um, a tube, but I'm not going to just for the purposes of So this. you fold and fold, you do one, yeah. you do four times, with, turn it in, turn yes. it in and yes. stitch it down. Or, yeah. or what you can do is just cut it slightly wider Fold it like that and then use one of your um, turning tools oh, to, yeah, to yeah, turn it yeah. through. All right, but just for the purposes of this, we'll just do it as a strip. So, remember what I was saying about getting it close? I want it close under here. I'm going to pop this underneath here. Now, can you see how close I can get with my zipper foot? I'm just going to tighten that up there. I've just moved so you, it. you move the zipper foot to wherever. Yeah. So need. I can move this zipper foot if I wanted to. Just, I can move that zipper foot that way. I can undo it and I can get it this way, right the way across. Yeah. So okay. So we'll just and now I can use the zipper foot on the right hand side as well, John, and on the left hand side. But yeah. because I'm wanting to get it as close as possible to oh dear, to there, I'm going to tighten that up there. Hang on a second, she says. Tighten it up. That's it. So it's tight, so it's not moving Lighty now. Tighty Righty tighty. Lefty. So now what you've got to do is I'm going to come back. I need to go back to a straight stitch. Yeah. So I'm going to take it to the straight stitch. It's in the middle. I'm going to move it across to the left. Now, can you see here, if I was to start sewing, the needle would hit that plate there. Yeah. So I'm going to move my needle across. Well, it's as far across as possible. Uh-huh. I could move it that way. Move it that way. Okay, and now I'm just going to adjust this zipper foot because that's as far left as my needle will go with the machine. So I'm just going to adjust that, just check it's okay, which is fine there. Pull those threads to the back, lower the presser foot, and can you see how close I'm going to get? I'm just double checking. I'm just checking that it's not going to move. I'm on a straight stitch. I'm fine. And then I am going to sew right the way across there. So can you see how this is brilliant for piping as well? Yeah. And this foot is included with this machine. Wow. Now I couldn't have achieved that with that I'm one there. there. Brilliant. Sorry, darling. I couldn't have achieved that with there no. because there's my J foot. The closest I could have got to is there. Yeah. You've got all this in your way. The adjustable zipper foot's there. Fantastic, and that comes with the machine. And that comes with the machine. It's so easy now when it comes to, to taking it off, unscrew it. Yeah. Don't take the screw out completely because all of the brother ones have this U shape there. Take the ankle off the foot that's been yeah. looking after it. Pop the ankle back on. Has that got the U thing on it as well? That's got the U thing on, so I'm not having to, to hit the hole. And then get your foot. And then all you do is lower the foot onto the, that and you're back and you're good to go. Yeah. And that's how quick that is. So you can easily change as you're doing the bag, construct the bag, mm -hmm. and then you get a really nice professional finish Gorgeous. on there. Lovely. I'm gonna pop What's that next away. then? E, you're very demanding now. I am? Yes. Well, well why, don't we do some, why, why don't we do some embroidery on that? Oh, you that, that machine? machine? Yeah, of course. Up? Yeah. So. What's this that's appeared on my desk? I don't know. Why did they have a competition yesterday? Is 
So where would you like this then? Where do you want this, Charlie? You want the other way round? We can go the other way. Can and you we'll... see the buttons? Yeah, because I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> did you did you lose a bit of fabric as well? What that fabric? Was, there was a piece of blue fabric on the I top. Knew that, do you know what? When I went looking for the... I saw the little things on it. I could have sworn they were on blue fabric. Yeah, they were. Well, it's all right. We'll just corner that bit. I'm, I haven't dropped it on the way round. Right. Hang on. It's not round here. We'll just cut another piece. It's fine. We'll just. That's weird, isn't it? Yeah, it was there. It's pif paf poofed. <laughs> Is it chambray you use? Yeah, it's all right. I can just use any fabric I like. Yeah, we did have it. It was already already prepared beforehand. Mm. Yeah, what yeah. What we'll just yeah. what we'll do is I'll just pop a piece John of the. John Scott, he'll lose it. Yeah, I can't don't know where it's gone because it's not around here at all. Don't worry, I'll use a sure. piece of the gingham because I've got a square cut. It doesn't matter. But the three what I little, use. little squares of um. Are they Repair and bond, they right? Were on so it all I'm, well. yeah, they were there as well. So I'm going to go and find my repair and bond. This is what you do: you do all the prep, then oh, John Scott comes in and starts throwing I'll it around. It now. now you said that. So all I'm going to do here that. is I'm going. Look, he's, he's now searching. Bless him. I'm going to cut myself a couple of little pieces of repair and bond. Now, if you had them in your little tub. Remember earlier on when I said don't throw anything away? Yeah. Don't throw anything away. Don't throw anything away. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the, the repair and bond in the four corners yeah. of my hoop. In my hoop I have got some stitch and tear. Yeah. Because you need to have interface. Yeah. You? I'm going to get the iron. Yeah. He's still looking for I'm the I'm going to find it. I'm determined to find now, it. Pop the iron on. Pop the fabric on top of there. I'm laughing. Okay. And the heating bond, sorry, the repairing bond is just going to, just going to quickly iron that. And it's going to hold that fabric in position. Now, remember with the, this is the M330. Yeah. And so this will only, your biggest design is going to be, your biggest design area is 10 centimetres by 10 centimetres. So there's the repairing bond doing the job. <laughs> And then you'll go, here, the, here it is. So, now the repairing bond has held that in place. We haven't got, got any too worries. Late now on pink. Yeah, we haven't got any worries. This is the gingham pack. Any worries about this fabric moving, which okay. is great. Which is half the, half the point when you're doing applique in the hoop, um, which you can do on an embroidery machine. Yeah. It's quite difficult. That clicks into there like that. Mm -hmm. I've already threaded it up. And what we're going to do is we are going to wake the machine up. Yeah. And it's going to tell me straight away to take the embroidery hoop off. Why? Because it needs to calibrate. So we'll oh, just press okay. OK there. And it just does that and it calibrates the machine. Okay. And it just means everything's right. This is the right. machine I took home <clears throat> when we very, very first got it. And I thought, I'd, I'd better just look at this for tomorrow. Never got any tea. I ended up doing <coughs> did yeah. a great big J. I did butterflies. Yeah. I did everything. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? <coughs> so I opened the first door and then I've opened that one, which is the Buzzy B. Let me, can I just have a quick, yeah, yeah, yeah. quick look there? So we're going to go back to their one. I want to find that lovely Buzzy B, which is that one there. What you do is you, you choose it and you say set. Now, when you set it, it goes immediately into the centre of the embroidery. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move this up and I'm going to use these buttons on the top here and move that all the way up there. And I say OK and now it's in that position. Now I want to add something else on. Now that could be your initials, it could mm -hmm. be anything else. Mm -hmm. But I happen to be doing a Buzzy Bee Crafty with my WI and so I am going to do another Buzzy Bee. So I'm going to find that one again, add it onto there. It's coming to the centre. Press set. How easy is this? And this time, I'm going to move this one to the Down. bottom of the hoop. All right? Mm -hmm. So I've moved them to the bottom of the hoop. Now, what you could do is if you were doing that on, um, you could do it on a little dress, on a shirt, somewhere specific, you could just move it to exactly where mm -hmm. you want it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once we've done that, we just say OK. Now, we can resize these, so let's, let's do it because we can. I'm going to go uh, edit that. I'm going to go back. No, I don't want to do that. No, you don't go back. I don't want to go back. I want to size it, sorry, size it there. Now here, can you see, you've got the opportunity to decrease it on all four sides, increase on all four sides, or just stretch it one way or the oh, other. Make, uh, make so what fatter. we'll do is we'll just make that one fatter. Yeah. 
then press that one there. You see, I just used my finger to press it. The red box has come around, and everything I'm telling you happens on the 2750 as well. Yeah. And we'll make that one bigger, all right? And then we'll say OK, and then we'll say Edit End. Yeah. And once we say Edit End, we're then going to start embroidering. So over here, you have you see, what you're looking for now. And we just had a text in saying, John, Kim moved it earlier, it's on the table. Oh, grass and knee up, eh? Yeah. Is it under that machine then, do you think? No, because I don't think I picked that machine oh. up. Oh. See, they're determined not to get you blamed. Yeah. Yeah, anyway. People that looking was, after me. Yeah, so. well done. You've got your people who look after yeah. you. Yeah. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So you're not yeah. So we've, we've finished there. So now we'll hit embroidery. Now, because the presser foot is raised, it's yep. not going to allow us to embroider. Yep. So this red light is here. And again, everything I'm telling you happens on the 2750. I've lowered the presser foot and we're green, good to go. And we're starting stitching. Now, does it tell me how long it's going to take? Yes. So on this one here... Can you not put your glasses on? I'll get the glasses on. You might find you a bit of fabric if you put your glasses on. It's got 3,012 stitches. It's going to take eight minutes. Oh, we've only got three left. Well, that's all right. It'll just keep stitching out and I'll stick it on the Facebook page. OK. There you are. And that's it. Easy. That's all it does. I love the way that embroidery machine doesn't go in the order you think it's going to go. Oh, no. So when it was doing my J with flowers around it, it kind of did a bit there, then and it then zips over there, the then side. it does that, then yeah. it does a bit of the flower, yeah. and then it zips back up there again. Yeah. I think it's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. So there you are. It's just sewing. It's going to stitch away beautifully. And change, and change it using your needles, use an embroidery needle. And there's two sizes of embroidery needles, a 75 and a 90. They come with needles? It comes with embroidery needles. It co oh, this particular machine comes... I'm just stopping it there, because that isn't running off as possibly as good as it could. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Um, It comes with um, the embroidery needles. It comes with your pre-filled bobbins. It also comes with the foot on, so you don't have to do anything. Literally, take this particular machine out of the box, plug it in and start... The, the needle was broken, actually, when I came in. Oh, was it? Oh. wasn't me. Somebody had left it with a needle broken. Ah. So we don't have to wind that back on. That's no, why it was just... It just I could it just sit, yeah. If, the, if, it's, if it, the, the thread snapped or you ran out, it would tell you. It would yeah. just stop and tell you. So there you are. Lovely. When are you next, then, Kim? End of, end of April. End of April. It's nearly April now, isn't it? I know. Where's the air going? Hmm? Where is the air going? Oh, no, it's frightening, isn't mm -hmm. it? Uh, ben, do I need to recap anything before I go for a break while that's stitching? No, everything's on the website. Make sure you check out it. The Holland and Sherry wools have been really, really, really popular today. Once you've all checked out, there's only one of these left. And uh, get some of that rose scented buckwheat because it's beautiful. Oh, yes. Uh, and we'll see you at the end see of April. Mm, Thank you so much. Yep. Uh, you'll see me in four minutes, Rebecca. We're doing some very, very fancy pyjamas. Hello, I'm Jane Greenoff and I'm stood in the barn here at Pink's Barn in Gloucestershire, England, which is where I live with my husband, and I stitch. I, st I think I stitch in my sleep. Um, I've certainly been stitching for over 30 years now, and by stitching I'm talking about counted cross-stitch, or counted embroidery in general terms. I also collect old samplers, and I've got one to show you here. Now, if this smashing, it was actually stitched in 1796 by a little girl of eight or nine, and it's absolutely charming. So I collect antiques, I love to draw and create antiques for the future, and look forward to seeing you all on Sewing Street sometime in the future. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with split pay. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? 
Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app, now, Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com, where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website, from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your App Store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Now look, uh, Rebecca, Rebecca Harrison's here, but Rebecca Reed had a competition yesterday, apparently. All you had to do was buy some Liberty, and one of you will win this here. It, I love this. This is gorgeous. No, it wasn't Hannah. It was because it was a Liberty launch. The Liberty launch. Look, this is the one you're going to get. This is the one you will get. Uh, they're 50 weight, 12 large spools, 1,300 metres on each one. Orophil. Liberty Thread Collection. All you had to do was buy some, buy Liberty yesterday. All you had to do was buy some Liberty yesterday. Guess who's won? Go! Pamela Linton. Pamela Linton, this box of thread is on its way to you. Now, I wonder when they took that picture, because those threads are in a completely different order to the ones I've got in my box. Look. So she's got the yellow one down there, hasn't she, and things. And the multi that, that's variegated. That's variegated. They're beautiful. Anyway, well done, Pamela Linton. <coughs> that's... Sorry. On its way to you now. Right, now, get on with this now. These are posh pyjamas. Now, let me read what it says here. It says here, elevate your lounging and sleeping game with the Fran pyjamas, right? Featuring tailored details with a slouchy fit. They look just, just as good in bed... You see, pyjamas don't look good the next morning, do they? They're all scrunched up and going places they shouldn't be going. Uh, or glammed <laughs> up and on the town. The top features a shirt collar, cuff sleeve, back yoke, inverted back pleat, button loop at the neck. The pants feature a straight leg with a slightly paper bagged elastic waist, uh, drawstring, inseam and back pocket. Well, to me, it looks like there's a cuff on there. And it's just because it's this, It's so such a deep seam. Oh, it's not. There's no... I thought there'd yeah. be a turn-up on it. They'd be nice. Yeah, they would be. I suppose a turn-up. 
Anyway, they go from sizes double extra small to 4XL. So that the smallest bust is 31 to 32, largest bust 57 to 60. Nice size range, really lovely size range. Anyway, there's the pattern. 1999. Now, these were very, very popular when they were launched, aren't we, that Adam J. Brooks? Oh, now, they're American, right? So it actually goes from a 4 to a 24 UK sizes. 4, that, that sounded like bigger than 24. But anyway, 4 to 24. So if you're sitting home going, oh, I'm not a 20. 24, it goes up to. Beautiful. Open-toed heel. Open-toed sandal, you mean? <laughs> anyway, with tainted toenails. That's her going out on town. Look, she's got the same nail, lip, and nail. Anyway, nineteen ninety-nine. Nineteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Uh, the fab are the fabric tissue inside. Is yes. It? Not fabric. The paper tissues. Yes, tissue. And I'm not going to open this one. What's the booklet like? Yeah, it's good. It's detailed. Oh, it have to be because it's got so much going on. Yeah, it? yeah. There is a lot going and, uh, on cuff and the yoke and the bleat and the button loop and the yeah. straight leg with loads of pockets loads of pockets anyway 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 1999 the fabric i've got now we've already met we rebecca's already made this <laughs> pair behind me now what size is this in that's an x xl extra large okay you know you get to keep them in a month's time don't you is it in a month? Yeah, my mum's got her eye on that oh is she <laughs> it was her birthday this week wasn't it yeah she's two two days after mine have I missed your birthday? No, you said happy birthday. Did you? Are you sure? You did. Yes, you did. Oh, I can't remember what I've done. Mine, mine, was, done. mine was a week ago today. Yeah. And my mum's was Thursday last I week. Knew, I knew I'd seen it and I meant to comment to it and I forgot. I, yeah. I didn't know it was coffee. Yeah. She was very happy. She, what did she do for the day? She saw lots of pictures. Were they uh, out for the day? I'm talking about Facebook now. Maybe you haven't seen Oh, no, those. That's maybe what you know, I, she doesn't follow you. That's what I put on. Oh, is it? I've yeah. pictured of her. Yeah, I put oh, pictures so of her. Oh, so you put it's my mum's birthday. Yeah. That's it. Anyway, happy yeah. birthday, Susan. Oh. Uh, and you can, have these, you can have these in a month. <laughs> and if I see you swanning round Hereford in your high heel <laughs> shoes and your pearls, we'll know what you're up Le to. Ledbury. Oh, Ledbury, I thought she was a Hereford. No, no, she, they're in Ledbury. Ledbury. That... They wouldn't be allowed. To now, hang on. I Ledbury. think... Ledbury's posh, isn't there? it? I filmed Ledbury's one of the first Poirots there. Yeah. And it's like a place where time, where land oh, is gotten, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And I'm sure uh, Prince Charles, as he was, or didn't he, they live there as well? King Charles now, but didn't they have a house there? There was some oh. royal person that lived there. I'm going back. When did I do Poirot? 1990. Oh, I was going to say it's no, 18, what? I didn't say 18. Right, anyway, there's the pattern, 1999. Let's do some fabric. So the fabric they're already made out of is this. We, just, we haven't done bundles for you. It's by the half metre. So if you want to know how much to get, then just let me know. That's pretty, isn't it? It this is. is a Rose and Hubble cotton. Now, is it a poplin or a lawn? It's poplin. Oh, it's, yeah. it's verging towards lawn. It's lovely to work with. £3.99. £3.99. I'm not even going to say that, Ben. No. It's like little Paul's back in the building. Uh, £3.99. You've got your pink leaves. It's very hot pink, isn't it? You'd need to wear your bright pink lipstick with that and have your toenails done. Beautiful. That's three ninety nine half a meter. Then we've got the same fabric in Le Bleu. See, I quite like the blue one. I like that. Yeah. They'd be very restful, wouldn't they? I think the pink ones might be for going out on the town. The blue ones are for sleeping in. I think. <laughs> but our blue's been more popular on pre-order. At three ninety nine. Okay, so um, Ben's going to buy pink for Alice and blue for him, and he's going to make a pair of pajamas for Alice and a pair of pajamas for him. Is he? Yeah, he say, oh, says this every week and then never does. <laughs> right, then the one you're demoing in, yep. very essence of liberty, this, isn't yes. it? Look at this. This is the one we're going to be using in the demo. The demo. 3 Pastel floral pot, cotton poplin, three ninety nine half a meter. The thing is, you could buy this for summer dresses. You don't have to if you're not going to buy the pajamas. Buy all of these for gorgeous summer dresses, blouses, or anything. It is liberty, essence of liberty. That one. Okay, then I've got one with a darker. Oh, I thought. No, I don't know if it's the same or not. But anyway. 
was just looking if it was the same fabric, but it just in a it. different colour. <coughs> no, it is, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. yeah, it is. Isn't that funny how it's just a completely different colour? looks a completely different design. The only one that looks like this. Floral on denim. It's not real denim. The colour is denim. Oh, it's not on denim. It's on navy blue. I don't know why they've said it's on denim because it's, na it's on dark navy blue. It's the most popular without this one. It's Tuesday. They're not in today. It's day off Tuesday, so no one will hear it. Oh, yeah, Paul was in this morning. Yeah, but then he won't come in on Friday then. He'll go golfing on Friday instead. Oh, it's bank holiday on Friday. Oh, yeah, have you seen on the rotor who's in every single blooming Easter weekend? I'm not doing Saturday. For some reason, I haven't got Saturday. Anyway, then I've got a pink floral on a black background. I don't know. I have no idea why I'm not doing it. It was just the way that... Well, no, it, everybody else will have gone, well, I'm not doing Good Friday and I'm not doing Easter Sunday and I'm not doing Easter Monday. Rebecca Reed will be doing... Well, I presume she'll be doing Easter Monday. I haven't looked. You see, the other thing about our rotor is when Hayley does the rotor... When Hayley does the rotor, she never... So when you go into May, or no, April, she doesn't look at, she doesn't look at March before it. So you've done a whole week the week before. Because it's a new month, she starts again. So you could end up... But I'm not its Bex on Monday. I bet she hasn't realised it's Easter Monday. And remember, the clocks go forward on Saturday night. And remember, none of the shops are open on Sunday. Nothing is open on Sunday. We're open. We're open. But none of the shop shops, even Tesco's and everything, none of them are open on Easter Sunday. I remember going... Um, they all deserve a break. Oh, no, they so do. Though. But I always remember mm. one night when I lived... I was uh, flat sharing, and we decided to go to London cl clubbing. So we all got ready. Amanda Mealing came round. We all got ready and everything like that. Drove into town, and we got there to the club at quarter to midnight. And they went, we well, can come in, but we're shutting in 15 minutes. We were like, what? Unless what? it's Easter Sunday tomorrow. We can't open on Easter Sunday. So we'd driven all, all the, the way, way and everything shut 15 minutes later. So we got all the way there, all glammed up and everything. And so we just turned oh, around and drove. turned around and gone back. We had a party in the garden instead. Hey, there you go. There you go. 3 99 This is a multi-small floral on blue cotton pop. Right, it's not blue. It's not blue. It's not blue. It's white background. Somebody's had a thing with the words today, haven't they? Right, then we've got a peppermint green. Oh, now this feels diff This one feels completely different. Isn't that funny? It's a Rose and Hubble, but it feels much thicker than all the others. Still a poplin, but it's a heavy poplin. It's still work. It'll still work. Green florals. <laughs> okay. Florals. <coughs> green florals on ivory. Oh. Ivory. That's not ivory. Beautiful. Then I've got Jenny Jackson fabrics now. So we've got grey, uh, I don't know what you call this one. Jaguar. Animal print on grey cotton. Beautiful. It's lovely. It's a big print, that one, isn't it? This isn't the one I was thinking of for Jenny Jackson, though. The other next two are Jenny Jackson ones. She's in on um, Sunday, Easter Sunday. I bet she hasn't realised it's Easter Sunday as well. Beautiful. Then I've got the green one. Oh, I quite like that one. I like that. Camouflage pyjamas. I went with find you. <laughs> Animal print khaki. Charlie's acting out his life. Is that Charlie or Ben? Oh, Ben, Ch Ch acting out his life when it, he, he goes back downstairs but he can't sleep, plays PlayStation. Alice is going, get back to bed. She won't be to see him in these. I bet you've got a khaki wall somewhere in your house. <laughs> right? And then we've got black and white. Um, it, if you're going to make a skirt out of it, you might need to double layer it because it's very, very... Uh, a wrap skirt would definitely wouldn't work because you'd be, like, forever chasing the flap around, wouldn't you? Animal print, black... I'm not allowed to say. I'm not allowed to say. 
$3.99, animal print, black and white fabric. I just can't believe it. Then now, I've got some elastic, or elastic, as we say when I was little. It's quite wide, this. Well, it's not one metre wide, it's 40 millimetres wide. One ninety nine, one ninety nine. We've got smile on your facing. Where's this used in the collar? Yes. Yes. And um, down the facings. Okay. Down the centre front. A medium weight iron on interfacing. Three ninety nine. This is normally, isn't it? Three ninety nine. Iron on interfacing. Medium weight metre square. And last but not least, six boutons, les boutons. Now, if I was going to all the, I'm being going to be negative now. If I was going to the, if I was going to make this gorgeous pajamas, I'd want nicer buttons than these. That's all I'm saying. Wouldn't, I'm, I'm being, I'm being serious. Uh, no, no, I'm not. Being, I am being serious, but I'm being honest. That's it. Truthful, truthful. That's what I'm looking for. I'll get told off for saying that. But I think they're, they're fine. They're perfectly serviceable. They're perfectly fine. The, the pattern says three-eighths from three-eighths of an inch. You wouldn't have a button of three-eighths of an inch, would you? It says three-eighths to half an inch. See, so they're virgin on the half inch. And I'd say they were the smallest you'd get away with. And that's it. That's all I've got to show you. So come on, Rebecca, make me a pair of pajamas, please. A pair of pajamas. Which bit are we doing then? Because obviously we're not doing the whole. So lot. no. So let let me just quickly talk about the um, trousers because you can't really see them. No. So let's just quickly talk about those. So there's lots of um, lots of pockets. Even, in the pajamas. Even in your pajamas. Yeah. Are these pins mine or yours? Oh, they're, they're from here, yeah. They are. Um, I'm just going to show you this because they're very designer-esque, look. They've got an elastication, but they've also got a tie on them as a well. A drawstring as well. Now, what, uh, these, what would have been perfect machine to have today? The Wayliner, Laywiner. What was it called, that thing? with Wayliner with Gorgeous George. We had on, these would have been perfect for these, wouldn't they? Anyway, oh, there's another pin there. Right, but they're gorgeous, aren't they? Really, really gorgeous. L very roomy as well. Yeah. And look at the width of the fat, look at the width of the feet. Feet, legs, arms, no, <laughs> what's this called? <laughs> Cuff, no. Ankle, I'll shut up now. <laughs> Go on then, what were you going to say oh, about the trousers? You're so funny. <clears throat> so yeah, so you've got um, um, your side pockets in each. So you put those in In first, your trousers? On the I know. Well. See, I think these are, these are not to go to bed in. No. I want to say. These are to lounge around in. Yeah, 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 yeah. But when in, when in your life do you lounge around in posh pyjamas? Oh, yeah, I might well, be. I, I might... should. I should. But I, li I, I like to, in the early evening, Had your bath. I, just think, I just think, right, I'm not answering the door, if anyone, because I'm not expecting anybody. So I like to be in my... Oh, you'd be very glamorous Jimmy, if you have Jimmy to answer Jimmy the door jams. these. Yeah. I know, exactly, but that would be wonderful. No, 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 they would be fantastic. But if yeah. I was going to wear them as pyjamas, I wouldn't want, because I'd have things in the pocket and then I'd roll over on them. Yeah. Chocolate yeah. or yeah. melt in bed. But d depending on what fabric you did that in, yeah. you could get away. That's trousers and a, sh and a blouse, isn't Oh, it? no, 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 no. I think you, you could quite easily go out in the summer. Could. You could quite easily go out in the Yeah. Quite yeah. easily. Definitely. I mean, it's really versatile. But also, if you've got to, like... um. A satin back crepe or something they can make them in that as well, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so Good that's lovely. the trousers. Yeah. What were you going yeah. to say about the trousers? So, so yeah, so the trousers you've got you've got a side pocket, and then you have um, a back patch pocket. Oh my word! Um, you've done all of them as well on this one. Yeah. Oh, it's because it's your present for your mum, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it because it's how it, tall's your mum? Because it says to do. I know I'm going to have to shorten this. Yeah, just a bit. She's five. What is she? Five, what are your mother? Five, four, five, well, yeah, three. You can make another. You can make her yeah. a bandana and something else out of what's yeah. left. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So you've got your your pocket on the back, and then obviously you you've got your waistband um, that you put together, and then you do um, a couple of buttonholes that you're going to put your drawstring straw string through yeah so obviously 
attach your, your waistband, thread your elastic through, and then thread your drawstring through. You don't have to put the drawstring through if you don't want to. Oh, no, but if, you, if you're making them into evening pants, palazzo pants, I would. Yeah, I think so. So, yeah. So also, you sometimes just... you want to pull the elastic a bit tight or something. If you're a skinny day, you want to pull the elastic a bit tight. Because yeah. the drawstring's a proper work. Oh, yes, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. For, yeah. for oh, show, yeah. is it? Yeah. yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, definitely. So, yes. So, so I mean, just your basic trousers, really. Um, so, to put together. So now we've got the shirt bit. Yeah. Well, pajama top, I should yeah. say, calling it a shirt. So you've got your two facings that have your um, iron-on interfacing um, on there, and you um, attach one of the yokes um, to the shoulder seam. So it doesn't go all the way across. So oh. Don't panic about that because yeah. it's all going to be hidden in the inside. So don't panic about that bit. That's supposed to be like that. Yeah. Don't worry about it. And then you um, sew your collar on. Um, so there's notches all the way. So don't forget to follow uh, and mark in all your notches so you know exactly. Do I make up the collar and then just stitch it round and then overlock it off? Yeah, so not, the collar... Not so a, Not one like one of these that's in a stand or anything. No, no. So, so um, it's got uh, interfacing on one side. Yeah. Um, and then just plain on the other, yeah. and you, then you just. But you sew it in it as one. Together. You don't sew yes. one side in, then bring the other one over and no. hand whip it down. No. 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 no, no. So we've stitched, we've stitched both in there. Yeah. Um, and then you've got your two fronts. Um, so one side you've got um, a pocket on the one side, and then on the other side you've got your little loop, which. Um, is just under the collar. Um, oh, so it's the, the top button. And I thought and it meant it had a loop. loop at the back. You know how some of them have a loop yeah. there? Yeah, no, no, okay. so it's, a, it's like an... I Do you want to see that, Charlie? Extra. Look. A little extra. Oh, hang on, Jimmy. Come on, might as well make the most of you. Thank you, look. So look, it's cute, because on the pattern, I thought there was just that one there. Yeah. There's that one as well, I understand. Yeah. Okay. So you've got that underneath. So um, attach, put, put your pocket on on the flat and obviously attach your little loop yeah. to the flat and then um, attach to your second yoke. So obviously this goes all the way across, this one. Right. So this covers, so this is going to be your outer um, yoke. So I'm just going to stitch across the shoulders there okay. and attach the yoke. We need to say a lot of people, uh, some of these machines went in the last hour and we didn't actually show it to you, but it's the uh, Brother FS250. And it's the machine great, you've got. Great machine. And your mum's got, well, no, your mum's got one that you use. John, you bring that up every time. Every time. But every it's the machine you, you're, you sew every single day of the week, don't you? Um, you use on this, you use this machine. Well, I go, I go between this and my industrial. Oh, well, I know. Yeah. yeah. But as your go-to... Oh, yeah, this is, yeah, this is great. I mean, the, the, I, I've always said, I mean, this is a great little machine, but for the, you know, the buttonholes alone. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Is, and you've uh, got alphabets on it and everything. Yeah. £199, pounds, yeah, you waste split pay, £133. Pounds. Yeah, so, so actually, if you had this machine, you could embroider your initials on the pockets... With that much, oh yeah, with the little, with the with enormous, the, yeah. yeah. I thought you were going to do it, thanks, that does embroidery as well. No, no, with the little yeah, letters, yeah, yeah, yeah. you could, you could do, yeah, you could do that. Make them a bit more personalised. Mm hmm Oh, now, size 12 to 14 pyjamas, I'd actually need to know... What your bust, because it doesn't go, it goes extra, extra small, extra small, small, medium, large, extra large. Um, what size is a 14? Is a 14 37 to 39 bust? So it's, yeah, that's about, is it, yeah, that's about right. So that'd be a medium. Oh, there you go, there you go, there you go. Do you want to screenshot that now? You can have a look. Um, so if I'm saying that that's a 14, uh, if you're doing both of them, you need uh, 5.9 metres, 6 metres. So that's 12 units of the fabric. Because there's a lot of fabric in there. No, it sounds a lot. But it's, it, you think about it, you've got very wide leg trousers, you've got a blousy top, you've got pleats on the top, you've got, you've got cuffs on. What have I done here? 
find for. Have we got a pressing mat at all? Oh yes. Have you not been given one? Oh. I've got my um, mic tangled up in that as well. What have I done there? How big a mat do you need? I've got that. Not one. very. There you go. Oh my goodness. Oh dear look me. At, look at me. Who? Who? Hang on. I I'm don't all... think you should use this. Either. No. You're really? right. Do you want there to you go. It? I was tangled up. I'm going to make you. I'm going to make you use this one. Yeah, shall I have the little? Yeah, I've that's... not got these for sale today, but I'd rather you use that one. That's a cute. Little that one there. Item. I'll give that one to Dan. It needs cleaning. Right, I'll plug you in. Whoops. Take that. Soul. That's a soulmate. A soulmate. That's what they call it. A soulmate. Oh. Which on like that. I could do with one of those. A soulmate. I thought I was your soulmate. Oh, you are my soulmate. Yeah. Right. Anyway, let me. You, you carry on sewing. I'm. <laughs> There's a lot going on There's under this table. On today, right. So I'm just going to give that a little press. I'm back now. Oh, it's got a little light. What? Oh, yes, it's got a light. It, it might not be hot. Is it still pulsating? No. Oh, no, if you're That's not right. pulsating, then you're hot enough. That's fine. Oh, I love that. Little light as you go. Yeah. It is a steam iron as well, but I don't think you've got any water in your, in your iron. Mm. Anyway, what day is it on? Oh, on with me on Sunday with Jenny Jackson. Don't you say Saturday now. Right, let's sell them all today then. <laughs> I haven't got them on my show today, I can't sell them today. <laughs> okay, so. You can make it left press. hand or right hand as well. But you, uh, oh, you, you have to un unscrew a bit and then the wire comes oh out here. the other side, yeah. That's so clever. Oh, the lovely line, everyone that's got them so you're far. you're left-handed, aren't you? No. No. I'm not creative. I got creative. that from. I don't know where you got that from. Where have I got that from then? I thought you were. No. No. Not ambidextrous no. either. Well, that's, but that is very good because left-handed uh, people tend to get left out a bit, Yeah, and they? also, so somebody that's said, really good. it said, uh, oh, no, Janet Clare. She said, you don't, sometimes it's where your plug in your ironing board is. You're not left-handed, but the cable's still on the wrong side. Yeah. So you can swap it over to the other side if you yeah, want to. Yeah, that's it. But so, I'm not going on about it because it's on on Saturday. And I'm OK, on Saturday. all right, we'll stop talking about it. Who's in on Saturday? Oh, she won't know anything about it. Right. <laughs> in fact, I watched somebody doing it the other day and they said something completely <laughs> obscure. <laughs> You're in a funny mood today, you are. I'm in a funny mood. Aren't you? Am I? Better than a miserable mood. I oh, right no. Mood. I was in a right old miserable mood the other day. Oh, were you? Yeah. I was going to say, Somebody's I've never seen... Somebody's mother messaged in saying, what's the matter with John today? I've never seen you miserable. Oh? Eh? I've never seen you miserable. You're always happy. Yeah, I'm always, I'm all right. You're always okay. Well, I've had some very sad news today. I'm not, I'm not allowed to divulge it. You can hear him giggling. Well, I, d I don't know what's going on because I have no. No, you can't. No, 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 no. no they're not saying anything. So because we had some news today that they told me in the break, which I'm not allowed to divulge. And I really, oh. I, I normally, you know, I tell you, but I'm, it's not my place to tell you. Oh, okay. It's not, it's not sad for anyone else. It's just sad for me. Oh. Oh, and oh, tell you, it'll be really sad. No, no. Um, Brian Cox. What's he called? No, not Brian Cox. Brian Cox. Brian May. Yeah. Anyway, carry on. Brian Cox. Keep the making the pajamas, I'll explain later. Right, OK. So what I'm doing here is I'm attaching now... The I'll be gone before you, Charlie. The, the, the fronts of my... Um, of the pajamas to the facing yeah. and the collar. So it all gets attached in one and turned through. It takes a bit of pinning. Right, so I'm just going to make sure that my shoulder seams line up. <clears throat> like so. There 
Okay. What day do we eat our Easter eggs? Is it Sunday? Sunday, it Sunday? isn't it? I thought it was on the Monday. I haven't got any this year, I have to admit. No, I've normally got about ten by now. Ten? Yeah, my friends are very generous. Oh. And they all buy, all buy me those um, free from ones. And so I have to eat, open them early to make sure I like them. But I haven't had any this year. Oh, hint, hint. doesn't matter. No, no, hint. I didn't get a Valentine card either. Do you usually? I, no, no, I got, I got the one from Christine that never arrived. Christine sent me a Valentine card, never arrived. Oh. Something up with the post. It's what? Well, I said something up with the post. Something wrong with the post? Now I've got a lovely postman. <laughs> I'll tell you what I've got a lot of recently. Lots of people knocking on the door trying to sell me charities just recently. And they, they you know, we're very remote where our village is. You yeah. Know where they've come from. You're the star of the village. Do you what? The star of the village. No, I'm not the star of the village. Uh, Kate Watson used to be the star of the village. What was that? Who's Kate? Was in, um, she was in The Brothers, and then she was in Dynasty. Kate oh. O'Mara. She was the star of the village when I Oh, did she used to live there? Yeah. Literally four doors from me. Five doors from me. Oh. Oh, no, she's gone to heaven now. Is she? Oh, is she? Oh. You, you say, you, I'm saying that. You're saying that. You're right. No, I've known right it for now. years, you see, because when um, yeah. I worked at Colchester, we had a studio theatre there and we had a director called Richard Digby Day and he used to do all these one-person one, one, one shows and they'd launch them at, at, at Colchester. We'd make all the costumes, then they'd go on a world tour. So we did Honor Blackman and we did Kate Mara's, and we did all these different people's one-woman shows. Yeah. And then they went off around the world with them and everything. So I already knew her from that. Oh, she has gone to heaven. She, thank goodness. I, did, I, yeah. I thought you said the wrong she, thing. Uh, no, I did then. When you said that, I was like, oh. <laughs> um, but she was ever so funny because if you go to the pop-in shop, if you go in on a Wednesday or a Thursday, you can order your bread for the weekend and you can order, and it's freshly made for you. Now. Right. Oh, lovely. Uh, anyway, she used to go in on a Saturday morning and go, I've ordered two for catchers. So she'd take two for catchers. And, she, and then someone would come in and go, where are my two for catchers? Oh, Kate, Kate said she'd got them. So she used to know every, whatever she used to say on a Saturday, she'd go in and get the nice bread. Bit cheeky. Cheeky. We just get pretty Helen's muffins now. And um, butterfly cakes and things. Nice. So you are the star of the village now. I am the, the celebrity of the village. You are. But then the next village, the posh village, next one along. I live in the farming village. Then there's a designer village next door. Oh. Uh, and there's loads of celebrities live there, like musicians and everything. In what? I couldn't afford a house in the celebrity village. You only have to drive literally over that really, there's a really, really, really high hill like that between me and the next village. The minute you get to the top of that hill, the price is treble oh. to go down there. And there's, so, I don't like it there. You know, some villages you can drive to and go, and I don't really like the atmosphere. Yeah. But we have had a bit of an upset in our village. I'm not oh. sure if I'm supposed to tell oh. you. So behind oh. our, I'm going to tell you anyway, behind <laughs> our house, we've got a field, right? Yeah. Now, when I first moved in, I loved the fact there's this field behind me. And three of us tried to buy the field so that we knew that it wouldn't be <laughs> this, developed. This manky old field was like £160,000. We were like, oh, maybe not, maybe not. Can we extend our gardens into the field? And they, council, the, the people who own the field said, no, you can't do that. Anyway, three of the houses further along from me all extended their garden into the field. And I said, oh. are you sure you're allowed to do that? And they went, yeah, yeah, I've got permission. So I thought, OK, they've got permission, that's fine. <gasps> this week we got a letter from a solicitor saying if they didn't move their gardens back to where they were, they'd be taken to court. So two of them, all two Ooh. of them, have done is just moved their fence further down and just laid a new lawn. One of them has built all sorts in the bit that they've extended, they right? So they've not only down. just got to move their fence back in, they've got to take everything. They've got a two-storey shed in their bit. I know. And they built it on a Sunday in our village. You're not allowed to do DIY on a Sunday. You're not allowed to mow your lawn after midnight, midday on a Sunday. So it's nice and peaceful and quiet. And they were building this two-storey shed every Sunday for weeks. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah, you're not allowed to keep chickens. You're not supposed to have a, um, really? a motorhome in the drive. You've got to get permission to build a shed. 
uh, no noise in the whole village and things like that. Um, there's a few like that. There's a few. Uh, right, what's wrong with a motorhome? Uh, because they look ugly and you drive. I think I think that one has broke. That rule has gone now because somebody, the people, <laughs> the people who move their garden out also put a great big motorhome in there and drive. And somebody looked at the thing, and it was only for 15 years. So the 15-year rule's gone now. Oh. So um, it was only, the, but the, the noise say. one still exists. It's a village. That's for the whole village. See, my my mum worries about that motorhome on the I think is I in the summer. I like the sound of a lawnmower on a Sunday afternoon. That doesn't bother me. What bothers me is if somebody lights a bonfire or has a loud party in the garden. Yes. That annoys me. Yeah. And the people who extended their thing have got a, a thing built into their garden, a karaoke machine built into their garden. Hello. It's up for sale. Good grief. Now, they, if, I'm trying to get my friend Abid. Oh, oh, my friend Abid's daughter made me see little bracelets. I meant to wear them today. They're in my bag. I'll wear them tomorrow. Um, I'm trying to get him and his wife and his kids to buy that one. Are you? Yeah. So they're near to you? Yeah. Well, it's only because he's also my... He's got a company called Biomechanics. So he, deal, he was the one who gave me my laser treatment and my shock treatment on my knee and my hip and things. And does it work? I, oh, yes, brilliant. Oh. Oh, I'll tell you what, modern... It's, it, in, you know, in the old days, if you had to dunk, dodge your knee, they'd have to give you a steroid jab. Yeah. Now it's all done by red lights and this machine that goes... Dub, 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 dub. It, it hurts in a nice way. <laughs> It hurts in a nice way. Oh, and I've not had my tattoo yet, so I don't know. No, I haven't had a chance to have my tattoo. Well, the one, in, one of them's in LA, isn't it? So that won't happen till October. But the other one that I'm having done by the lady around the corner hasn't been done yet either. Are you having a tattoo? Yeah, it's called a fine line. Is it called fine line or single line tattoo? Fine line tattoo. And, and what is that then? It's like, instead of having a big coloured in tattoo, yeah. it's just like done with like, what, it's like if you've got a biro, and it sounds awful now saying it like this, if you've got a biro and just drew it, so my um, Sally from number five, she had like, um, a, like um, a dandelion done on her boob, right? Put, put a picture on it, Facebook, for everyone to see. Because um, it's our friend Helen who lives around the corner who does it. Anyway, right. she's designed one, the same as the copy of my book. So I Where are you going to have that? Well, I thought to have it here. I don't know, really. I hadn't even really thought, because I'd gone, oh, yeah, that'd be lovely, thank you, and then thought I'd never do it. Because you do know I don't w what? when you say that you've had it done. Everybody's going to say, yeah, I'll put show the us then. I'm not going to take my shirt off on air. No. What people throw... Well, I might do. <sighs> Except he's supposed to come today and I've not heard from him. But ooh, even Abid looked at my legs and he went, you've really been working out on your legs. These and I kept, th I kept thinking he said, they're very tanned. And I was going, no, then I've not been on holiday. He went, toned, John, toned. Oh, there you go. <sighs> ah, this bit here, I love this bit here. It's awful, isn't it, really, is that you it, sit and you love your own shoulders? Is this, is this how long has this been? Well, it, well he, he started in the summer, but because of the first few weeks, I saw him like once a week, so there was no difference to it. Yeah. Now I see him about three times a week. But, um... Yeah, yeah. Right, no. so... I was going to make... I've got an ice plunger, right? I was going <gasps> to make it yesterday, because it was a beautiful day the day before, wasn't it? I thought, well, tomorrow, gonna... I'm going to put my garden furniture out, and I'm going to make my ice pod. Chucked it down all day yesterday, didn't I? I thought, I'm not... And then someone said yeah, it was snow due next yesterday. week. So I thought, well, I'm not going to put the garden furniture out of this no. snow. It's not going to be snow. This time last year, it was boiling hot. This time four years ago, do you know it was this, this time four years ago that we, the pandemic happened and it was oh, baking, yeah. baking hot. And I thought, yeah. oh, this will only last for two weeks. So I'll do my housework and then I'll sit in, the, sit in the sunshine. So I spent the first two weeks in the baking. I think room, everybody thought that. Cleaning my house, thinking it'll be all over in two weeks' time. Yeah. Anyway, what are you doing, Soma? So... Um, what I've done is I'm, I've just um, clipped the corners yeah. and um, cut into the, um, the neck so that um, it, the collar will sit nice and flat. Lovely. So now I'm just pressing the seams so that they sit nicely. Why is that facing shorter than the body? Um, because this comes up. Oh, the hem's that big? Yeah, the, so the, the hem comes up and um, it's so, uh, so you haven't got loads of, yeah, 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 you yeah. know, fabric in your... Is it one of those hems that you sew a machine line through and, like, kind of bag it through so it's got a nice, neat corner? It, no, it just... Um, oh, no. It should do, shouldn't it? Yeah. But no, it doesn't. So, because at, at, the, at the sides, you've, yeah. got, you've got these little oh, vents as well. There's so much There's, going on. There is so much in this. There really is. 
that's what I mean. It's not, it, you know, it's not just a pair of pajamas. This yeah. isn't. It's absolute luxury pajamas. This is. Um, so let me just stitch that uh, stitch. Let me just press that down quickly, and then we can move on to the next bit. Obviously, take your time with this. Don't don't rush it like I am. Um, make sure you get it nice and a nice crisp line. So um, we've got lots of people in the building. I was asked to do jewellery maker yesterday. Wayne messaged me to do jewellery and I couldn't do it because I had an appointment with Abby to have my laser. And lots of people put like Daddy Adam's off poorly. It's all people with children, isn't it? Oh, no, Ellie's not got children. Yeah. She shared the gallery with a a Daddy Adam then. Okay. Daddy Adam's all? married. We're not many in any, any aspersions. But lots of people quite poorly in the building at the moment. There's a lot going round, though, isn't there? And they, what have they got? Like a coldy thing? Oh, oh, you see, when I saw Abby just there about my knee, and I said, oh, you're looking really well, you'll start away. And he went, I can't stop being sick, that's why. And I was like, oh, because oh, he still had a mask good. on. And I was like, why have you got a mask on? You know, I'm not got anything. And he said, no, I don't want to give my patients anything. Oh, God. Didn't stop him eating an Easter egg, though, did it? That does not sound good. Okay, right, there we go. So, no, <clears throat> So now we're going to attach um, the back to one of the yokes. Yeah. So the back... So is this where the yoke is funny then? What, what was that bit that was back. sticking out? Oh, no, this is um, this bit here. Oh, it was where the facing... Well done, John. Yeah, where the face. I forgot to do this oh, when, when oh, I did there you the go. first one. So well done. Thank so you. this gets... <laughs> <laughs> this gets um, stitched down. So turn it through. And you're just going to um, stitch that to the shoulder seam. I'm going to do it from the other side, actually, so I can see my stitch line, make sure that I get that in the right place. I saw in next month, Simply Sewing, there's a two page spread all about me in, in Simply Sewing. Uh, they sent me the proof of it yesterday. That's nice. Lots of pictures. Lots of pictures I had to say, you better take that one out. You better change that one. <laughs> I don't like that one. No, it wasn't that. It was, I can't tell you, but it, the one oh. was just, that shouldn't have been there. Anyway, it's all sorted now. Oh, the mind boggles, John. Do what? I said the mind boggles. No, no, nothing. They, they, they just found pictures, pictures that shouldn't on the be internet. there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, hi, John. Could you ask Rebecca, what's the ease in this pattern? I can't see finished garment sizes. Thank you. Oh. No, no, they've not got the finished sizes on them, Charlie. Has it got the finished oh. sizes in the booklet? You, I can look for you if you want to carry on. But Yeah. Do you, shall I do this? It's a massive booklet. It is. It? Well, nice. there's so much. Yeah. See? That's the thing. There is so much. See, I've got finished measurements here. Finished measurements here. Uh, oh, hang on. You're going to need the whole double page look. So who was it just messaged? Ruth, can you see this now? Oh, you're going to have to come a bit closer. Oh, you come closer than that. Oh, that. On the big telly, you'll be able to read that. This side here is the top. That side there is the bottoms. Can you see that all right, Ruth? Jimmy, leave that camera alone. Nineteen ninety nine. This is beautiful. Hope that helps, Ruth. If you couldn't see it, let me know what size you want to, and I'll tell you. So hang on. Oh, actually, I'm going to tell you what the ease is. So if I look at the medium, which is a thirty seven to thirty nine bust, the medium. Oh, it's a lot. There's lots of eases. Forty six and a half finish size. So you've got like six seven inches ease in there in the top. Waist. I'm going to sneeze. Bless you. Right, the waist of the air medium is 30 to 32, and the finish size, oh, you get loads, 46. <coughs> so it's lots and lots of ease in them. 
I wonder why they're called a, Fran. I know. There's a, there's a lovely um, big vent as well. Oh, yeah, of course. The back. Oh, that's what the way there'll be so you, much. Yeah, yeah, to give you so lots inverted of... Is it an inverted box, please? Yeah, so yeah. it gives you lots of um, uh, freedom. Yeah, exactly. You know. Right, so I'm going to attach the back now to one of the yolks. So the outer yolk. Then the thing, when, when I was making this, so you know I always um, overlock my seams, um, everything. But what I found with this is, uh, because it's three seams going into that yolk, yeah. the overlocking, it's left like a ridge. So it would be better not to have... So on this one, I've um, I've left the yolks without any without overlocking. Without but they're over going to be inside. They're going to be inside. Right. You're not going to see them. Um, but yeah, I might I might have to. Go oh, Ruta, there. thank you. You're welcome, Ruth. So I'll just attach that to there. Mm -hmm. We all are, though. Oh, Jimmy's done a great big display of lots of things sitting on easels. Wouldn't it be a shame if someone just threw a, th a reel of spool of <laughs> thread at it? I can't, because that's the winning prize. I can't, <laughs> I can't open that one. It's because cat tidies up all the time, you see. There's nothing left to throw. Just blow on it. I think it's too far, even for me to blow on that, it's too far away. <laughs> oh, I wondered how he got my chocolate biscuits then. It's my trolleys over there. <laughs> you won't like them because they're gluten-free, egg-free, milk-free, taste-free. Why are you having them? Because they're good for you, especially oh. for me, so it's have that. Mm. Is it, though? Oh, yeah. If I had ones with gluten in now, I wouldn't be sitting here chatting to you. No. Oh, no, you have to have gluten-free, yeah. don't you? Yeah. I don't, well... I'm not celiac, so it's not no. like it's not going to make me ill, ill. But I live a gluten-free lifestyle, so if I do go out with my so friend Francesca, you... I can have full-on gluten and not be poorly. But if I have gluten every day, then I'm poorly. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's just an intolerance. It's not a yeah. A, a, you know, I, I pity like Joe Carter's a proper celiac, and she, if she's really and Dulcie is as well. Really ill. Yeah. Man. Mm. Is Dulcie working on anything at the moment? She went. Uh, She's just finished Wicked, right? After oh, two years, yeah, yeah. right? They've just finished. She's packed all her stuff up and everything like that. She's taken her daughter, Sadie, on holiday. And then she texts me from the holiday going, oh, I've been approached about a new job. And I was like, you're not going to take it. She's exhausted. Anyway, she texts the next day again, I've taken it. So I said, who, where, what, where? And she hasn't replied. So I don't, oh. don't know. What, I don't think you can do sewing, Charlie. The thing is... It's one of those things, isn't it? You, you, you don't say no, as you. Oh, one. Well, I know, but the thing is, she was on that she solidly for to, two years. Yeah. Unless it's something amazing that she really. And she really, really wants to do it, and but she. But no, it is. Break. It is that difficult thing because I did it when I worked at the film industry. Yeah. Finish one, going. I'm going to take some time. The only time I did say I'm taking three months off, I took three months off, spent all my money thinking oh, I'll be starting work again next week, and then the film got pushed by six months, and I was suddenly like, oh, I've got nine months off then. So I had to do, do another job in between times, too. I think I did press gang, actually. Oh, did you? Afternoon, John Scott and team, says Gillian. Right. Good afternoon, Gillian. Just we're about to go home. We are. But not right. Charlie's got to stay. I'm going to attempt the burrito, which, right. which I'm never very good at. I'm telling you that now. OK. So I always get it the wrong way round, but I think I've got it the right way round. Right, so I'm just going to roll that up. I'm going to tuck that in. Oh, I'll find out for you. And then... Hello, Sherilyn. I'm all right, thank you. There's the other one. 
The more you do of these, the, the, the easier uh, Yeah, it yeah. No, I mean, other, other people find them, really. I think my brain just doesn't... It's because you're old-fashioned. It's Yeah, you know, my brain just way. doesn't work like this. So I'm going to... I am going to pin it and then... Yeah, yeah, gonna, best way. I'm going to um, have a little look. It's a great method, I have to say. Yeah. It's brilliant. <clears throat> Just looks weird, doesn't it? It just, looks it just, strange, it just, yeah. You just think, how's that gonna fit on there? Yeah. Yeah. How's that gonna work? And how's it gonna pull through? How's or will it, it gonna be twisted? Pull yeah. Exactly. But it probably will be now. Yeah. Still, you know, it's good to get. You know, you have to get things wrong, don't yeah. you? Yeah. I think I overthink it. Yes. Also, you are standing on television with thousands just of people watching. Just doing you. it, yeah. Thanks, John. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Not just sitting in your little lean two doing it. I know. With the my, dirty windows. My cold conservatory. Is it cold? Yeah. Oh. Can be. No, I know. I'm an, I need well, to. Well, now the kids have all left home. You can use their. Well, they haven't. Can't you? They haven't, though. Well, that one's at university. She can't come back. She is coming back. <laughs> And to, to is that you just as a mother? To, no, no, she is coming back. No, 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 no. She's, she's, she's. Um, she needs to get some money behind her, and yeah. she's also, she's got big plans. But um, you need, you need money, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so my middle live, one. Live with mother of bank, bank yeah. of mother. My, um, my middle one will be going off to uni. Oh, we'll just September. make them. Make, you can make the older one go into the middle one's bedroom then. Yeah. And you could turn the, the older one's bedroom and then, into the workroom. Oh, well, my youngest has got her eye on my son's bedroom. Right. Because he's got a bigger bedroom. Oh, God. So you know, she's moved into this house as well. She's got, she's got her eye on that room. Oh. Does he know that yet? Oh, oh yeah. They have many a discussion. Wow. Heated discussion yeah. about it. Yes, many. Oh. You've got a dining room or is it in your... Uh, no, it's in, it's in the kitchen. Oh. It's, it, it's quite a small house. Well, you've got three downed, kids and you in there. I downsized massively. Oh, listen to you. Um, but it's fine. When it's just me and the dog. Yeah. Be rattling around. Yeah. You're getting a dog, aren't you? Where did that come from? <laughs> I can't get a dog, not with my two cats. They'd terrorise it. Oh, yeah, they would, wouldn't they? Yours are... Like, mm. They're like panthers, aren't they, your they two? Are. Lisa's obviously been in another fight and he's got a, I see. his nose is like kind of a little bit malformed now like that. I thought it was just a spot, but it's obviously a different shaped nose. Oh my God. And he loves, he's still going up the chimney. And I've put a, up the chimney? Up the chimney. And I put a fire guard in front of The only reason I knew he was up there is I was sitting, uh, there kept being all these paw prints over the hearth, you know, the, like, the, the yeah. marble hearth. And I kept thinking, I don't know what that is. And he was still watching the telly and there was this like loud <laughs> and he just fell down the chimney, right? And then I realised he goes up there quite a lot. So I put a fire guard in front of it. God. And now he just pushes the fire guard to one side. And goes, but he, when I was in the shower the other morning, he knocked on the window. I was in the shower and he was like this, like banging <laughs> on the window. Then of course I opened the shower door and he realised there was water there and he ran him yeah. up. Scarfed. And then the other day when the personal trainer was there, they were being really, really skittish and chasing each other around. And Luther chased Ghost up a tree. And I've, I've seen them go up the tree, but this high. And we, he went right to the top of this tree. And I was like, we're going to have to get a ladder. And How get are you going to get down? So after the session, we just sat and watched him and work. And he did, did he it. Did he do it? Oh, gosh, yeah. Well, a Vivian who lives opposite me sent me a picture one day of, of Ghost on her roof, just sitting on the roof like this, look, looking at... The rest of the village. My right, go on God. then. Right, here we go. Did you check it with your pins? I didn't. I just, oh, said, I just, I just saying it, but I shouldn't have done, should I? Mm. Probably. Oh. Quite a big burrito, that. Oh, one. have I caught? Oh. I don't know if I've caught. I think I have. That's not coming through. Oh, that's bad, isn't it? Sorry about that, guys. I'm going to see where you've caught it. Have I? No, just give it a tug. Oh, it's not coming out. 
This is why we've only got three minutes left. It's not coming out, is it? While you sort that out, while you yes, sort that, let me I'll recap. Sort this let out me recap. You... Let me recap. Yeah. Here's the pattern: oh, nineteen done. pounds and ninety-seven pence. Closet core. Ah, oh, there we go. Pajamas. Fran, number thirty-seven. There we go. There you go. Have faith in yourself, I woman. I caught it. I just, yeah, there we go. There was just a lot in there. There was it? just, there was just a lot in there. So it means it gives you a gorgeous. Have a look now. It gives you a gorgeous yoke. Yeah. With no seam showing. Or anything so that's like that. the inside. Yeah. So it's all, it's all turned through, beautifully turned through. Yeah. Beautiful. Right. The fabric that uh, Rebecca used to make the sample with is this one here. Oh, it's Auntie Pauline. What day is it? Did you make a cake today instead then? Sunday. Easter cake, Sunday. Oh, oh I'm in on Sunday, I'm in on Sunday. Don't put any nuts in it though. No. <laughs> Doesn't simple cake have nuts in no, it? No, I've not been similar. Oh, okay. Um, mini eggs. Oh, perfect. Right, yeah, here's the blue one. It's very it's demanding, isn't it? Bust 42, you'll need for the whole set six metres. Six metres, right. Blue in there, which is 12 units, obviously. Beautiful. Then we've got the one that we've been making it out of. Pauline put on Facebook that she was in on Thursday and she was making a cake specially for everyone on Thursday. And I went, I'm not in Thursday. Was it Thursday? Yeah, I'm not in Thursday. I'm going voting. We have to vote in our village on Thursday. Uh, anyway, so I said, anyway, she realised she's not in on Thursday. So after promising a chocolate cake to everyone, she said, oh, I'm not in Thursday. It went down very well. Not. The oh, the chocolate <laughs> cake did. There it is. <laughs> oh, it was delicious, apparently, Becky. Said. Your mum's been in, Becky, already. Three ninety nine, Beautiful. Then I've got the blue version of that one. Concentrate. Don't let them put you off. Beautiful. Not on denim at all, it's on navy blue. Then we've got the mini multi floral on black. Gorgeous. In fact, I won't do the animal prints, I'll just do the rest of the floral because we're not going to have time. Uh, then we've got the floral on white, which it says it's not on white. It says it's on blue, this one. It's on white. And then we've got the peppermint one. Yeah. Green, it says green floral on ivory. There's no ivory there. Who wrote this rubbish? Right, Rebecca, <laughs> how are you doing? I'm all right. Just to quickly say... One minute. Okay, just very quickly say that the sleeves go in on the flat, which is a nice thing. Oh, okay. Is there any so, ease? So you... Um, yeah, so, so do two rows of... Um, gather. Yep. It's not gathered. You just need to pull, pull it up, up a little bit um, just so you can get it in. But you, you put the cuff on um, Oops, on the see. flat like this. Right. Yeah. Um, and then you um, obviously put it in the in your uh, sleeve and then you'll go up the side seam and down the length of your sleeve like right. that. And then the cuff gets turned back oh, and you just Top stitch round. How funny to put a cuff on the on there, but not on the trousers. I know. When yeah. are you next? When are you next? Um, I, nine days, the fifth of April. Blind. I know. I know. So I'm tomorrow. I will start doing, doing all of that. Yeah. Uh, anyway, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Right. Uh, shall we look at tomorrow's menu? Uh, lighting show.